Oh shit! Yo yo! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back and better than ever. What's good, John? Happy fucking Saturday to everyone. Holy shit, we made it. We fucking made it. We out here pimping. Pimping ain't easy. Let this beat ride a little bit. I like your new music. Thank you. Yeah, man. Created it myself. Dude, you're so skillful. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another fine edition and a fun show. By the way, May is it I fun? Add. It's a fun fucking show, dude. All right, we're having fun. So if you came here not to have fun, you might as well leave now. We're having a fun show today, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another In the Pain podcast. Happy Saturday. Hopefully, everyone's having a great, great weekend thus far. We have a lot to get into today. Things lot are on fucking. The docket. Things are fucking just. I mean, dude, it's it's getting wild out in these streets, bro. It's getting nuts. They've officially added curry powder to the chili pot. <laughs> right. It's getting spicy exactly. out here, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome in to the Sin the Pain podcast. Happy Saturday to everyone. <laughs> Great to see everyone back. We were uh, scheduled to go on for like 11 o'clock, but my computer decided to fucking... Do a scheduled maintenance update And I'm like dude are you serious bro I almost like blew my shit like I almost like lost it Don't punch your computer monitor Welcome into this fun show This fun Saturday show guys We have a lot to get into today Al A lot to get into I can't wait Should we just dive right in what do you think You just wanna just just fuck, fucking, fuck the intro, let's just fucking do it. I'm going to blow my load all over this fucking segment. Now nah, we got to save it. We got to yeah. save it, guys. We got to save we gotta it. got to tease the people. Uh, welcome in, guys. Welcome in. Would you say he went hard in the paint? He went hard in the motherfucking paint. Uh, hopefully everyone is having a good day. It's it's great to see everyone here. Uh, I mean, this has fucking been a, a roller coaster of a week, man. Uh, ever since last Saturday's show, man, we've, uh, you know, have experienced, you know, uh, Lots lots of new endeavors, I guess, so to speak. Uh, and we're going to be diving into all that and more. Obviously, we have our Steel Toe coverage. Uh, I mean, we're very excited to get into that. Hopefully, everyone is out there. I mean, it's, it's a fun show, guys. This has been a very fun show. Very fun show. Very fun week. I got new drops. I mean, it, it's it's going to be a, a great one. We have uh, inside details on why uh, Aaron and, and the Steel Toe crew actually uh, got away from going after Chad Zumach, or as Alex to call him, Chad Zoloft. Zoloft, dude. Makes me happy. Uh, yeah, dudes, right? I mean, imagine, you know, having the name... <laughs> of an antidepressant. Of an antidepressant. Uh, welcome in, guys. Uh, yes, we are back. Take a... Uh, got a new oh, vape, too. Uh, Elf Bar Peach Ice. Pretty fire. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it's pretty good. Don't uh, get popcorn long though. Dude, I, I'm starting to feel it, bro. I, I actually today I woke up and I've been um there goes our smoke oh, alarm. Shit. Hold on, guys. We will be uh we're right back. That here. Peach ice just burning the bill. Yeah, we gotta let that uh die out here. I mean we get crazy in here, dude. I was gonna dude I had this uh hilarious bit. I gotta mute my mics here Hold on for one second. I'm going to a BRB screen. All right, it's off. I had to block it. Make sure the sexy fireman comes to fix it. Dude, uh, so anyway, or I was... fire uh, woman. It's not the first time our fire alarm goes off here. I mean, I, I'd set off smoke machines. Dude, I had this hilarious bit I was going to do, but then I realized it wouldn't be uh, actually obtainable to do it. It's not uh, practical. It's not practical, uh, but I was going to do a, uh, a, a like a send-off, uh, you know, with those like barrel, uh, like a big barrel trash can and light a fire and do this whole funeral bit. But like I realized, you're the Undertaker, like like some Undertaker shit, dude. But I realized I'm like, dude, it's just like not possible to do it. I mean, things could catch on fire. The smoke would it's smell. Smell, yeah. It, yeah, like if nothing else, if it didn't, nothing caught on fire, dude. It would just fucking, it would smell horrible. So we'll just give him a verbal death. Uh, yeah, the verbal death. Is I right. like it. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, guys. So Al, you were mentioning uh, today new endeavors. 
Yeah. So I, I woke up this morning. I'm like, dude, I, I've been wanting to get back into shape. And uh, so I decided, you know, just off a whim here, I'm like, yo, I'm going to fucking start running, dude. I'm going to start fucking stretching. Like I, I got to start doing it. So I think I got a little ahead of myself though, because I, I ran like my whole fucking development here, dude. My legs feel like jello. I'm fucking gas, dude. Like, and speaking about smoking these things, bro, like you don't really realize it as you're smoking it and just like living your daily life. But like, if you try to exercise, bro, it's fucking, you can't breathe, dude. It's like, it's pretty insane. I feel like George Floyd now these days. It's, it's pretty wild shit, dude. <laughs> So, uh, I like your comparison. Well, you know, that. I stick to real set. Like, I'm a uh, 1938, like, World War One general. Just when I run, I'm smoking you're lucky strikes. You're smoking non filtered lucky strikes. As you're running, you're actually smoking. Dude, it's our ancestors before us did it. Right. So, all these uh, electronic vaporizers, it can't be good for you. I'll stick to real man cigarettes. Dude, you said this to me like fucking five know. years ago. It was like five years, so whenever it was. But you always say, dude, it can't be healthy if you're smoking fucking a battery. battery. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's not good, dude. Uh, Radiation. I don't even like getting too close to my microwave, let alone putting a fucking vaporizer <laughs> right. in my mouth. So I'll stick to real bogeys. Yeah, dude, you're on the lucky strike tip, dude. Yeah, lucky strikes, dude. They're cheap and efficient. They are, dude. I, I'm on the new ports and uh, vape. So, I mean, if I don't die of lung cancer uh, within the next five years, I consider myself very You're lucky. You're smoking dude. fiberglass and radiation. Pretty much, man. Speaking about lung cancer, did you see Andrew Tate is actually, it's been, I, I think it's pretty much confirmed, 95% confirmed that Andrew Tate has lung cancer. Jesus, dude. That's from smoking all those cigars. Uh, yeah, dude, it's pretty insane, dude. Welcome in, uh, everyone to, uh, who, who's joining, uh, in the chat here today. Happy Saturday, everyone. Guys, we have such a great show to get into today. I'm just fucking, uh, you know, doing the, uh, top of the show rant here. It's good to see everyone back. We were going to actually go live on Tuesday, but, you know, given the whole steel toe thing, guys, uh, you know, it's just like, you know, there's some streamers out there that are persistently, and, you know, I enjoy what they do, but they're going live every day. It, it, it starts to take away from actually what we're doing. It dilutes it. It dilutes it. You start getting repetitive. But, I mean, on the other flip side of that, so I want to play devil's advocate real quick. See, on the flip side of, of this whole steel tier thing, it's like Aaron streams fucking like 73 times a week. So oh it's like God. there's no lack of, you know, uh, cringeness. There's no lack of uh, bad clips. And we actually find out today that... Aaron's actually probably engaged in breaking YouTube, uh, YouTube's terms of service and actually probably breaking the Minnesota uh, federal law when it comes to gambling and running a lottery in his chat, man. So a, a lot of fucking crazy shit going on with the Steel Toe guys. Uh, I mean, Corey Adam Comedy, there's a lot of shit going on with him. We're going to dive into uh, April. We're going to dive into Johnny. Guys, we have so much uh, good things to get into today uh but without further ado let me just uh introduce uh the man of the hour sir you guys know him he's uh our good friend and yours goes by term McGurkin on the xbox he goes by win by two official on the tiktok and alex clemish everywhere else guys you know him you love him sir alex clemish what's going on bro? yo 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 what is good john what's good my people youtube rumble tiktok twitter where else we at dude instagram everywhere dude. facebook uh Twitter, Twitter's like a porn site now. So Pretty I, much. I don't want to get naked because I'll get banned like I did before, but I'm doing well. I'm ready to dive into this docket. I can't believe Andrew Tate has lung cancer. And did you say that Aaron from Steel Toe is running an illegal gambling that he lottery, is, dude? dude? What? He's running an illegal scam, guys. No Holy fucking shit. way. So I guess the can wasn't working out. The, the old fucking can. I was going to go. Jiggle your can. I was going to go. Yeah, everyone out there, if you guys have a can, uh, now would be a good time to raise your cans and jiggle the can. Oh, there it is, dude. It's our uh, one and only one of one steel toe can. But if you're out there uh, and you have a can, now's the time to jiggle it. But yeah, dude. Uh, Figuratively and literally, guys, jiggle your can. <laughs> <laughs> that should be on a fucking t-shirt. Hell yeah, dude. That's like a mall t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, dude. We find out uh, from from the likes of Patrick Melton from Nobody uh, Likes Onions, dude. Uh, he uncovered uh, some wild shit uh, with them. And I didn't even put two and two together. And I'm kind of pissed that I didn't. But he uncovered that they're uh, potentially running a fucking like a sham in their chat. Like, so what they're doing is, uh, you know, we'll get to it later here on, uh, on the show, 
But essentially what they're doing is they're getting gift cards from their sponsors, Stoney's Bar and Grill uh, in the St. Cloud area. Uh, and what they're doing is, is so Stoney's will give them like a $5 gift certificate, a $50 gift certificate, a $25 gift certificate. And then what they do is they resell it back to their audience in the chat. Uh, I mean, that's pretty illegal shit, dude. And there's no, like, fucking uh, disclosures. There's no warnings. There's no, like, safeguards in place if there's kids getting involved. So it's a lot of shady shit we're actually starting to uncover here. It's not just, like, uh, Steel Toe has a shitty show. It's now getting to the point where he's actually uh, a fucking, you know, uh, a piece of shit, you know? So, uh, and, you know, a scammer at the same time. No fucking way. Yes, dude. He is no better than Sir Logan Paul. So, uh, where's Logan Paul's drop there? Logan Paul, the wrestler or the podcaster? The podcaster. I got you. But uh, you're doing all right, Clem. It's good to see you back and uh, taking second mic, dude. Dude, I'm here. I'm out here. I'm with it. And we are ready to dive into this fucking plethora of just garbage today. I mean, really, what else are we dealing with? Well, we're actually going to find out today. Aaron actually, uh, you know, mentions us in one of his streams. Oh, my God. He mentions how, like, we actually, like, need him and anything he does. We're just trying to clout bite off him. And it's like, you know, I hate the people that say this shit, dude. They're like, oh, man, you got to fucking talk about other people to fucking boost your fucking clout. It's like, guys, forewarning, dude. That's what everybody does. I, and Literally not to, everybody. Not to mention, if we were just looking to clout bite off someone, it would not be the fucking Steel Toe morning show. It wouldn't It wouldn't be, yeah, the fun show the, that is Steel Toe. 200 fucking likes that very they get. Very fun show, very fun week. It's so fucking fun, it's dude. It's so fun. Bro. Oh, my God. Is everyone having fucking fun? Yeah. Are we having fun yet, guys? Like, dude, no. Crazy no. shit, dude. I'm miserable. I'm fucking miserable. I'm not having fun yet. Speaking about miserable, dude, uh, I, I didn't actually know you were that. Uh, Steel Toe actually uh, cured your depression now. They did. Oh, my God. It didn't take long, dude. I just need my daily dose of iron and April's forehead. <laughs> Bitch tits and Mega Mine. Uh, me and Al shot a fucking infomercial. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, it's on our uh, it's on our channel now. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was amazing. So check that out. Uh, hopefully everyone is having a good time uh, thus far. Uh, and, well, let me see. Uh, Anton says, "I'd say uh, what Steel Toe is doing is likely illegal, but to call it a scam is inaccurate. Nobody's losing anything. Stoney's is a hundred percent on board. So Stony. Uh, so okay. I mean, maybe they are. Maybe they aren't." But it, it is legal nonetheless. Uh, I mean, you know, you're running a fucking uh, sham operation. And without any fucking, you know, disclosure, you're not letting your audience know. I mean, why does it take the like of Patrick Melton to uncover this shit? Like, if it was above board, don't you think Aaron would fucking have said, you know, like, this is what we're doing? Like, why is he hiding behind it? And then fucking gas. The amount of gaslighting that goes on in that show, dude, is unfucking believable. I, I like I, I, like I feel like I'm watching like CNN when I'm watching Steel Toe. It's actually fucking unreal. But uh, yeah, can I get some context here? What what happened? So the, every month they do a prize show, right? And essentially, uh, so it's, it's like if you subscribe and you're the hundredth subscriber today, like we'll give you an Xbox. Sort type of, shit. yeah. It, it's sort of like that. But it, essentially, what they do is, uh, you know, they have uh, these giveaways and uh, they do like. Here, we'll give you a $5 uh, gift certificate to Stoney's Bar and Grill. We'll, we'll give you a $25 uh, gift certificate to Stoney's, $50, so on and so forth. But in order for you to get these gift cards, you have to donate to them. Uh, you know, what else is new, right? Fucking, you have to, <laughs> to put it in the can. Support their fucking cause, right? Uh, so you have to donate a certain amount of money. Aaron's going to take that money, and he's getting the gift cards for free, and then he's going to turn around and give those gift cards back to you. Without, so you're paying for a gift card. You're paying for a gift card. Maybe you get a gift card. And Aaron is pocketing the commission mm. off that shit. So that that is really the context. And, you know, you have to, I mean, essentially, we're going to watch it uh, in a little bit here, but essentially they're running like a lottery sham. Uh, and Patrick Melton, uh, you know, uncovers it. And shout out to Patrick, man. Uh, you know, he really fucking did his due diligence on that shit. I, I was kind of floored, like, that not, uh, more people aren't talking about this. I mean, we should highlight this. I mean, we should really call it out at every step of the way. If you're going to do a giveaway, dude, just fucking, you know, uh, just do it above board. Be genuine about it. Don't give me a shitty restaurant 
gift card. Yeah, Maybe like, like I'll just go spend my money at the restaurant. It's like, bro, we're in New Jersey, bro. What if we got the gift card? I'm not gonna fly to Minnesota to go to Stoney's, Stoney's? Bar and Grill. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I don't even want to talk shit on Stoney's because I've never had it. But if they're back in the Steel Toe Morning Show, it obviously they're a bunch of fucking assholes. Uh, Steel Toe Boring Show in the chat. Shout well, for real quick. Hold on, I gotta put this on screen here. Shout out to the fastest growing, most effective. Reddit, channel Reddit ever. in the fucking game ever. And uh, they actually came up with a new logo and is the Camel Toe Morning Show. And I will say, this logo is so spot the fuck on, dude. Like, I would actually, if this was the fucking logo for a show that I was watching, I would actually dive in and actually watch this show. Let me see it with my own two eyes. Here we go. This is courtesy of the Steel Toe. Boring show over on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a grundle. It's a, <laughs> it's a moose knuckle, dude. Oh my goodness. I was expecting something else, like April's fucking forehead. Her dome piece. It's just a fucking tight goddamn gooch in my face. Shout out to the Steel Toe Boring Show here. I'm going to read their chat real quick. That's amazing, let me, dude. Let me pull that up here. Uh, it's illegal in the United States uh, to run a giveaway that requires a purchase or a membership to <laughs> enter. That's why when you uh, read sweepstakes rules, you'll see terms like no purchase necessary. So there you go right there. Uh, and essentially what Aaron's doing is he's getting people to purchase while not purchasing at the same time. So what he's saying is, uh, you know, we could if you guys donate, you're you're getting free stickers. But uh, essentially, that's going to fucking buy you into the fucking like lottery. It doesn't it, none of it fucking adds up. dude. We're going to dive into it. It actually breaks YouTube's. Uh, YouTube's Terms of Service, which we have on uh, our docket today. We're going to be diving into all that, guys. That's and pretty more. sophisticated. Shout, so, one more time. Shout out to the uh, Steel Toe Boring Reddit. They are fucking yeah, clap killing it, it. Clap it up. Give them a subscribe, a follow over on Reddit, dude. They are crushing. It's me. That's an amazing, amazing channel. I don't even use Reddit, and I signed up just to fucking subscribe to that, and it was. It's been hilarious. Yeah, dude. You, to say the least. You've never like really used Reddit. Never. Yeah. And I told you the two Reddits to follow. Fucking gold. The the best, right? So good, bro. And we we find some clips of ourselves on there too, which yeah, is well, great. So, and that's what I wanted to get into. Uh, another thing I wanted to get into is, you know, uh, we've been making the rounds this past week, where we've been featured on the uh, Steel Toe Boring Reddit, which was uh, pretty fucking cool to see. Uh, and then we've been getting hit up uh, to do all these shows, right? And I'm not, you know, we've we've been the the people closest to this fucking situation here. Uh, they've been wanting us to do their show. And, uh, you know, at first I'm like, yeah, man, it might be a good idea to do the show. Like maybe we can get more exposure, maybe more eyes on the channel. And that's my thinking on one end. But then on the other end, it's like, dude, it goes against everything we've ever talked about. Right. It would be very fucking, uh, you know, I guess fake of us to talk shit on the likes of, uh, you know, Kevin Brennan and, you know, uh, Zumach and all these guys. Right. And then go on their show and fucking do like a fucking, you know, a verbal blowjob. You're my favorite guys. comedian, right. so Kevin. While I do appreciate the offer, because no one's got to offer you anything in this business, right? Uh, I do appreciate the offers that do come in. And, uh, you know, um, it, it's it's pretty it, it, it's pretty cool that we're actually starting to reach the yeah. reach that we're getting. Yeah, you know we're, I mean? we're starting to hit that stride for sure. That's mm -hmm. awesome. But we're so punk rock that we're not going to. I'm not. Yeah, we're not in the business to take interviews, guys. Uh, ball washing. The best way, uh, you know, to support the channel and to get more eyes on the channel is to share it with everyone you know. Share it on Twitter. Let people know that we're live. And uh, the Super Chats are there, but, I mean, that's you – know, we don't even fucking uh, promote that half the time. So it's just – you know, uh, we just want people uh, – we're here on a Saturday morning every Saturday – uh, to provide people entertainment and, and to kind of get their minds off of fucking the bullshit that is going on in the real world, man. I mean, that's kind of everything we stand for. And, yeah, we do talk shit on everybody, bro. We, we've said this before. Nobody – we owe no nobody anything in this fucking business, right? We're not trying to pursue anything that's going to – we need to rub elbows with fucking anyone to get ahead. Exactly. And we just keep it real, too. Like, we're not coming after anyone that doesn't deserve it. Exactly. You know, if they put your if they're putting themselves out there as fucking assholes, we're gonna call it out every time. Every time. Every time. And that's really been, uh, you know, since we've been diving into this a uh, little over what's what's it been now? Like a year and a half, two years almost. A little something like that. I mean, that's just how it is, dude. Uh, you know, it started with Brendan Schaub. Uh, what, what I find crazy though is that we're like we're spot on about most of this shit. Dude, like we were saying it yes. early, like about Brendan Schaub. 
And like, what a complete 180 that took. Right. You know what I mean? Right. People were like, you guys are just insensitive. And Brandon Schaub's a comedian making his way through the game. And, blah, 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 blah. and then lo and behold, he's like cheating on his wife and fucking everything else, dude. Just a scumbag. But what about last week, dude? We found out about, uh, I mean, the, the biggest, I guess, uh, quote unquote blowback. I hate using that word because Steel Toe used it. Uh, but the, the biggest blowback we've gotten was the Mark Norman Oh my god! Video, right? That's I mean, we got all our comments were fucking hate comments on that thing, but uh, it it just we were highlighting the the you know how f- not funny Mark is essentially the mediocrity of that podcast, right? With him and Sam Morell, and it sucked, dude. And, and then we find out last week that Mark was fucking fingering and trying to fucking finger bang and and stick his dick in fucking chicks that were passed out, like drunk. So what oh, does that yeah. say about Mark, dude? Like, oh, he's a fucking stand-up guy, bro. He's, right. he's a funny man. We're just the fucking haters, yeah, we, right? Dude, and we're incels. Don't forget it. Mm. And if you're in How our chat, I? you're probably an incel. Ah, oh, well, welcome, but welcome dude. to the club, dude. At least we're not molesters. So yes. you could always be worse off, John, you know? Oh, well, that's what they tell me, dude. That's what I heard. Or like murderers and shit. Yeah, imagine that, dude. Which uh, Or uh, drug addicts. Like imagine uh, being fans of of some of these shows, and now you got to you try to you have to like white knight and try to fucking go to bat for the likes of Chris D'Elia or fucking Steel Toe or fucking like any of these shows that fucking do like some shady shit. Now you find yourself in the position, uh, you know, being a fan of one of these shows, you find yourself in the position like arguing with random people on the internet to try to fucking you know stick up for your fucking podcast host. It's like. At the end of the day, guys, these guys don't care about you. You have to understand that. Like, nobody that podcasts, especially on the level of some of these people, like, they could give two fucks. Exactly. And I'm a firm believer in your actions speak louder than your words. And it's like, why would you want to stick up for someone that's fingering people while they're sleeping, <laughs> right. dude? Like, right. I don't know. Let's get your priorities in check here, folks. You yeah, know? It's call, fucking crazy. Call call me old-fashioned. I guess you know? so, dude. But no sleepy old fashions for me, oh, dude. Man. I prefer my uh, sexual innuendos to be awake. Uh, yeah. Did you ever yeah. see those sleepy pornos? That's like Mark Norman's fetish, I guess. Well, dude, there's actually people out there. You'd be surprised. There's actually people out there that work in like corner's office that try to fuck dead bodies. That's insane, it's, dude. That's necrophilia. It's ne- right, right. <clears throat> it's disgusting. It's like reminds me of The Last of Us. It's pretty wild shit, guys. But yeah, we're gonna call it out every single time we watch these guys. Uh, you know, because you know, I know people don't have the time to watch all the inside fucking shit that's going on and take notes and like actually like see what's happening in front of their eyes instead of being gaslit. And again, it just goes back to like what Steel Toe is doing. You know, uh, like I, I compare Steel Toe, like I said, to the CNN because the amount of gaslight, like CNN, could tell you fucking that. You know, the shit's not fucking on fire outside, and and they'll just run with that, right? They'll say fucking whatever the case is, uh, like the George Floyd thing was, uh, you know, not right or whatever it is, right? I'm I'm fucking blanking here. I've had one too many drinks in me uh, in the morning here, slugging them down. But essentially, that's what Steel Toe does. They do the same exact same exact thing. They're gonna tell you that everything is funny. They do a fun show. Everything's above board. Uh, everyone else is mentally ill. They're fucking fuck, you know, incels in their basements. Like, it's crazy shit, dude. And like, you you start to ask yourself, it's like, you know, are these guys actually being honest with me, right? Because that should be the biggest takeaway for anybody you watch online. Are they actually being honest? And then the things we find out about these guys. Well, it's going to tell you a different story from what Aaron and April are trying to tell you. So that's, no, are you telling me that Steel Toe Morning Show isn't being completely honest? They're not being honest, Clay. No fucking way, dude. I can't believe it. I mean, when I was donating for my Stoney's gift card, I thought that maybe there was a chance that these, you know, these two were on the up and up. Can't have a forehead like that and not have a brain inside. You know what I'm saying, dude? I know exactly what you're saying. Got to hold your morals and your spiritual compass somewhere. Fuck. I guess I'm going to have to look for a new podcast to listen to. Damn it. Uh, hold on, Clems. Uh, the camera is on you. I got to I gotta set something up real quick. It's going to take oh, I'll take you, dude, that you long. Take your time. How All is right, my cool. chat doing? How we doing, guys? Everyone's fired up today on this Saturday morning, dude. They're excited to fucking get into some steel toe, dude. I guess we're having fun. I'm going to need everybody to hit the like button on this video while we have a minute here of sentimentalism. And guys, just remember, we're about $330 away from our <laughs> I knew you were going to fucking do that. 
Listen, if everyone donated $1 by the end of this segment, we would have $53 away from our goal. And we'll do overtime. And we'll do some over- Well, they don't need us to do overtime. Right. Be too full. We'll be wasted by the time this episode's over. Dude, we fucking just, falling asleep. We just, we, dude, we just go. We don't, we're not worried about goals, right? That's a fucking, that's a shit thing to fucking, it's like almost like you're keeping your audience hostage. Like for order for us to do you know, uh, an extra 30 minutes of not great podcasting, you got to donate and hit our goal. It's not your responsibility. It's not the audience's responsibility to hit your goal. I'd rather pay Aaron to stop talking. Just fucking end your show. Yo, that might be something we look into. We should super chat them and, and make a video like, just stop. Just, just leave him alone. Now, that's something I can get behind, Al. He would probably be like, all oh, those win by two. They just come in here and make a spectacle. All right, guy. And then he would gaslight the shit out of you. How much do you think it actually costs to uh, any amount of money or anything we could fucking scrounge up, whether it be materialistic things or money? How much do you think it would actually cost to get him to just, like, not talk for whatever, the whole podcast. Whatever the goal is for that day. 400? 400, 400, it's about 400. Something like that? Yeah. yeah. Be like, dude, I'll give you your whole goal right now if you just shut the fuck up. Please. Please, well, God. Maybe uh, our chat could fucking, the, the next Steel Toe uh, show that there is, maybe we could fucking get into uh, trying to get Aaron to just not talk altogether for a whole show. That would be a spectacle in and of itself. That would be insane. I would love to watch it. That's what happens when you go live five days out of the week like you could only say so much you know Some, what i mean and sometimes twice a day twice jeez dude See, uh, and we, they just take everything off twitter anyway it's regurgitated twitter fucking trends it's dude. crazy dude it, it's regurgitated tri- uh, twitter trends disguised as journalism with no original thought behind none. it either none it's crazy, dude, and it's an insult to everything that makes radio and podcasting entertaining. I know exactly. we said that before, but well, you're absolutely right. It's dude. spot on. Yeah, dude, yeah. it's 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 fucking disgusting. Uh, sometimes, like I'm really watching this. I'm like, dude, you. And what's actually like disgusting, and I always come at you know, like I said, and I, I've kind of touched on this before, but it's like they're fans, bro. They're fans is uh, the people that enable them, right? So, I, I was I was thinking about this the other day, dude. It's like we have to. I think come up with a new approach. Um, if we want Steel Toe to either change his ways or I don't like I, I don't know what you guys specifically want. I don't know if you want Steel Toe to change his ways or if you just want him gone off the internet, which would be kind of funny in and of itself if he just packed up shot. Now I know Chad Zumach has mentioned one or uh, two times that he's not going to stop until Steel Toe shuts down uh, the operation and moves on. Like a true psycho. Like a yeah, speaking like a true <laughs> psycho. God damn. But uh, essentially, man, uh, like the approach that, you know, we're doing right now is like everybody is bombarding his chat. And we said this, I think, like two weeks ago, Uh, you know, you got to be careful of how quickly you attack somebody like this. Right. Because what's ultimately going to happen if you come at somebody for two, three straight weeks, like as hard as you fucking can, they're going to readjust. They're going to rewrite their game plan. And they're going to fucking move on, you know what I mean? And, and act like it doesn't bother them. I mean, we, we all know it bothers them. I mean, we could see the friction in real time between yeah, him and April. If it didn't, they wouldn't say anything about it on their live podcast. Exactly. But now it starts to become a thing where you, you, you like separate their chat and their fans over on one side. And now all of a sudden they find themselves thinking that everyone who's like, and, and the accusations that we're, you know, uh, bringing up here, it's not, like, far-fetched. It's not, like, shit we're just, like, fucking making up. It's things that he's no, done. I mean, let's not forget that they swung first. You know right. what I mean? They took the first They swing. always swing first. Exactly. And, and then they such, play yeah. it like they're the victims. Exactly. So, and I don't play that shit. Fuck that, bro. Right. So that's why we're not uh, targeting them. You know what I mean? Right. Like, fuck out of here, bro. They swung first, so... Fuck them. They always swing first in every situation. But like I said, what you're doing is you're you're cornering their fans and you're pinning them against the people that actually have valid points. And then ultimately what that does is you the, the people that support them, they're just going to think that the people coming after them are just fucking lunatic psychotics. Psychos, exactly. Right, which they're not, but it's just like, you know, you're like that's just what ultimately what happens, right? When you come at somebody like this so fast, now, all of a sudden, uh, Aaron just like is going to play like, yo, dude, I'm done with all this. You guys are the fucking crazy ones. Look how you're coming to me for attention. Right. right? And that's that gaslighting shit. So it's like, you I'm going to go box a 16 year old and get my ass whooped. Right. Thanks, dude. Now, Good look for you, bitch tits. You remember in Spider-Man, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, where Green Goblin like was trying to uh, like fuck with Peter Parker 
And essentially what he did was he didn't go after Peter Parker. He went after the Aunt people. May. Aunt May. And MJ. MJ. And all the people that he loved closely. I'll attack your heart, Peter. Exactly. I remember dude. that, dude. Exactly. I just watched that the other day. It's did so you funny you really? said that, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's essentially what we have to do. We have to, you know, reorganize and readjust and re-strategize here and, uh, you know, go after the people that, you know, support Steel Toe closely, a la Corey Adam Comedy, a la Johnny Crutches, a la April. And then you start getting them to fucking jump ship. Well, now that's all of a sudden going to leave Aaron's ass out and exposed completely and then, then you come in with the fucking big dagger and everything's kind of a wrap. Somebody said we're not going to stop until April and Aaron get a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, I mean, that's kind of like, you know, that's fair, right? That's a fair fucking, uh, you know, point to make. For sure. It's just like the way we have to go about it. Because this can only last so long is what I'm trying to say. You can only fucking, I, while, while I appreciate what the Steel Toe Boring Show on Reddit is doing, appreciate every fucking post, every fucking video that they drop. It's like, after a while, it's just going to be like, it, you know, threats falling on deaf ears. Deaf ears, if that sure, makes sense. Sure, dude. You know what I mean? If you're wrestling around with the flowers, you're going to get the thorns, baby. It's just part of the game, you know? And they know that when they're taking swings, but that's the difference. They're the ones that are trying to clout boost and talk shit, bring some drama onto the channel, and round and round around the circle it goes. They know it gets yeah. people fired up. But now this is different because they're gaslighting. Took a swing at someone... That's how this all started, right? Like this, we weren't the Steel Toe Hate Show. You know what I mean? We just covered a segment about Chad Zumoff. Right. That's all. And how they took a swing at him, and now they tried to walk it back, and then it turned into this whole fucking spectacle. Yes. You know, and that that stems from them clout chasing essentially, and that's how we got to where we are. Yeah. You know, and it's obviously what's what gets the people fired up. I mean, look at our chat. We got people, someone called us the woke police. Like, you couldn't be any fucking fur, like, that's really? the complete opposite of what this fucking channel is. I'm like, it's so funny, dude, that that's, like, where we're at. The woke police. The woke police, essentially, yeah. I mean, get wow. that's insane. That's not even close to our channel. But because you feel a certain kind of way about the way you indulge your content, that's how we come off to you. And that's all well and good because we're not cloud chasing. But make sure uh, if you're watching the show, you're going to want a super chat for $15.99. <laughs> yeah, for an extra 15 minutes of show, uh, you $15. know, definitely uh, hit those uh, goals for us, guys. No, yeah. dude, <laughs> you, you, you bring up a good point, dude. It, it, it's unreal, man. It's because, you know, like I said, time and time again, we've spoken about this. When you come after like some of these guys, right, their fans are so entrenched to who these guys are and they have an idea of who you know, a lot of these guys are, or at least they think they have an idea of who these guys are. And then all of a sudden you have some, uh, a couple outsiders throwing stones and then, it's, you know, you're the fucking asshole for talking shit. Right. But it's like, that's, that's all Aaron's fucking, that's his, that's his whole his shtick. Doing. Exactly. It's his whole shtick. And he's not even good at it either. No, dude. You know? Yeah. It's, it's it, like after a while you start to be like, ah, dude, this is fucking, it's just cringe at the end of the Ugh, day. Cringe, bad, dude. dude. This it is hard. makes the goosebumps on my arms raise. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, so, yeah. oh, I just see Aaron M. Holt, shitty goatee. <laughs> That's great. That is fucking fantastic. We're not giving them oxygen and washing our hands of it. Uh, okay, guys, let let's knock out the goal. Forty dollars gets you a fifty dollars Stony gift card. Two hundred fifty dollars gets you two VIP stickers. I mean, and that's literally the extent of their show, dude. I, I put a clip together the other day, bro, and it was. Uh, remember, guys, it's just a fun show. That was the clip title. You can check it out now. It's on our uh, YouTube channel. Donate two fifty for a pickle jar of April's bath water. Uh, was it someone said that? No, I'm putting that in there. There you go. Ew, dude. But dude, I so I I created this video right, and it's fucking. I'm going through their whole like one of their whole shows. I think it was like Tuesday show, and bro, it's like it's just unreal to me that I think it was they do a four and a half hour show. Like two hours of it is them either. You know, asking for likes and subs, checking the likes and subs, asking people to donate. Like it's that's not a show. That's why they're it's never show. they're never going to grow beyond their small following. Well, they think you they, can't they are. beg people to fucking like your shit. It's like you shouldn't be doing what you're doing as an influencer if you have to resort to begging. Oh well, you better fucking use those words lightly, dude. Influencer, 
Uh, wow. Wow. Podcaster. Wow. Excuse me. There you go. Excuse me. Wanna be podcaster. Wanna be, exactly. Uh I still have this logo up, dude. It's a Look fantastic that logo for, for people who are just joining us now. Uh this is uh the work done by the great Steel Toe Boring Show over on uh Reddit. Obviously, go check them out. Now, uh, I mean, they give you all the inside scoops and all the inside baseball uh, that we kind of try to, uh, you know, bring to you guys in a podcast form. So shout out to those guys. They made this Camel Toe Morning Show design here. And like I said, I, I think I commented this, but if this was the logo of a show uh, that I've seen, like, I would actually watch this fucking show. Dude, that's amazing. I would bro. watch this show. That's amazing. The Camel Toe Morning Show? Sign it. me the fuck up. Dude, it's better than the Steel Toe Morning Blow. That's for sure. But uh yeah guys, we have a lot uh we have a lot of steel toe we're going to be getting into today. Uh this is just like a uh kind of a little appetizer. Little appetizer and we're kind of just fucking catching up with everyone in the chat, which by the way, let's see what people are saying Little here. buffalo chicken nachos to start us off. RP says no stopping until we see April's uh, fur <laughs> burger. <laughs> you guys are so shot, dude. I love it, dude. Fur That's burger amazing. on OnlyFans. That's hilarious. Uh Stuck cluster. April said she was afraid of sharks. Yeah, she, she, isn't that fucking and so? Chad Zumach, for people who may not know, goes by uh, his nickname goes by the uh, nickname of the Mud Shark. So isn't it fucking kind of funny how April actually has a real life fear of sharks? That she's got the Mud Shark on her now tits, <laughs> right? Or Aaron's tits, excuse me. Uh, let me see. This is my first incel cast live. Glad to be here. Well, welcome, Amam. Um, I'm um, uh, I the guy that called us the woke police. Oh, did he? Yeah. Well, welcome. I'm um, um, Well, maybe if you fine. fucking uh, cleaned your ears out, well, you I, could hear the truth. I'm um, 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 I think I'm um, um, I, I I see him uh, in the steel toe chat sometimes, and uh, well, that know, explains a lot. It, it explains it. I mean, guys, you got to remember that we're just doing a fun show. This has been a very fun Dude, show. Just, we're all very having fun. fun show. Baby. Very fun week. Very fun show, guys. Uh, J Dub Productions isn't uh, it the same five six people every day who prop them up and meet their dono goals? Aaron starts bitching about being under the goal, then bans the usual suspects, uh, kicking fifty bucks. Yeah, and that's another thing, dude. Uh, Aaron's been censoring people. Anyb no way, you could block people from commenting. If I wanted to right now, anyone who's talking shit, I could fucking hide them. I could kick them from our chat. That's that. I, mean, I would never do that. But uh, isn't that like violating an amendment? It, the First Amendment the claim. God. The number one amendment Aaron is violating, dude. Of course he is, dude, because he's a fucking sensitive bitch. But you're opening yourself up, dude. I mean, you're doing yeah, a you show. You can't take swings at people and expect no blowback. Exactly. You know? I, mean, well, well, I mean, you can't, like, essentially, you just want to live in a bubble of everyone talking nothing but good things about you. You want no pushback. We embrace that shit, guys. Yeah, if we're doing it, a horrible job, like, I want people to be like, yo, guys, Fucking move Fuck on. You guys. Fuck you guys. Like, we're out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to block you for saying. Now, if no way. The only time I'm blocking anything is if you're sending spam in the chat. That's like, but that's different. I'm not blocking your speech. Exactly. You know I mean? Yeah. It's, we don't want to buy your shitty penis pills. You see, know what I mean? Anton says, uh, no, that's not funny at all. Uh, LOL. Uh, oh, he's talking to someone else. Okay. Uh, yeah, the chat's got a mind of its own. They're just, they're just doing their thing. And we're just here to facilitate it. We are your facilitators. So I'm here for that, though. I think I'm, I'm pretty much, I mean, caught up. Good with that life. Yeah, you good? You Gucci? Uh, Girth Brooks. You got that grundle off your screen? <laughs> yeah. All right, nice, dude. I had me a little sidetracked, too. Girth Brooks, even Patrick and Chad have two moderators from Steel Toe who have been whispering info uh, in the ears of the, of the Toe Empire is crumbling. Yeah, man, we're watching uh, in real time Steel Toe Morning Show. We're watching them in real time fucking just die i mean essentially but again we have to be careful yeah we, ha we have to i think for this is just me now uh i could be totally off by saying this but we have to re-strategize a little bit and we have to come up with a new plan of attack because aaron like i said he's just essentially you're gonna go in the chat you're gonna talk shit he's gonna ban you uh you're gonna post things on twitter he's gonna act like he doesn't see him if he brings up anything on his show he's gonna act like it doesn't bother him right so there there has to be a new strategy if we want to fucking Whatever it is we want to happen. It, now, some lots of people are saying we're not going to stop until Aaron is completely off the fucking YouTube and internet completely. And that's fine. But again, we have to re-strategize. You have to infiltrate from within. Sure. Have you ever read The Art of War? Oh, absolutely. And I actually don't know if that's actually in The Art of War. But I would imagine that 
It might have been. Oh, well, the concept, that, to say the least. Right. Infiltrate from within. Uh, I mean, that's what China's doing. Look with TikTok. And look how fucking great that's working. Well, that's right? what everyone's trying to do with April and Aaron. Right. Trying to separate them at the fucking core. Yeah, but the way they're going about it is, like, it's, they're, and I get it, dude. It's very persistent, and I and I definitely enjoy it. But, again, it's not, after a while, it's not going to hold any fucking weight. You oh, understand no, what I'm saying? Absolutely, bro. And and their reactions aren't any better. Like, if I came on, it, I'm just saying this. If you did a show and I was in your chat every day, a couple other people I brought to the chat with you, and I was just like, yo, you're a fucking moron, you're a fucking scumbag, you're a fucking scammer, this, that, and the third. After a while, you would just learn how to live with that. You know what I mean? And act like it doesn't bother you. Just plow right through it. You'd plow through it. Absolutely. Exactly. And ignore it. So you get to uh, the people closest to him a la April, Johnny, and Corey, and you fucking... What a power crew that is. First first of all, that crew is... They're like, fucking might as well be the Captain Planet crew. Harlem the power fucking, Rangers. Harlem bro. Globetrotters. Jeez, climb. dude. Of podcasting. Here we go. But, yeah, essentially, guys, you separate them from Aaron, and then you leave Aaron exposed, and then you take your dagger shot. Uh, so just, just food for thought, right? Uh, that's all we uh, want to do here is just challenge people to... Think about uh, another point of view and open people's uh, minds to other options that is... Uh, yeah, pick a better podcast. Yeah, well, that that should be... Go- uh, just do yourself without a, saying, a right? favor. You know what I mean? Open your fucking... T- take some dimethyltryptamine. Yes. All right? And sit in your chair with a, some fruit roll-ups and just enjoy it. We're having fun. We're having fun, guys. We're having fucking it's a fun. Here. Fucking fun show. It's been a very fun show. Very fun show. Very fun week. I'm not having fun, Aaron. What do you say to that? Um, so, guys, we have Steel Toe coverage uh, coming up here in just a second, but we do have other topics to uh, get into. That's not, like, regurgitated Twitter shit. It's just things I think uh, I find interesting uh, throughout the uh, week, and I bring it here on the show. It's just a couple small guys, and then we have, uh, obviously, our proverbial This Week in Shop. This Week in Shop. Because Gina, Gino says, go Phils. Go fucking Phils. Let's go, baby. Yeah, dude, Philo, uh, the Philos, <laughs> the Phillies are starting uh, very soon, dude. April's right around the corner. Dude, it's already spring training. I'm pretty ex- fucking excited for that. I can't wait to get out to the ballpark and check out a Did couple Did you games. know they feed baseball players Skittles when they're in the dugout? Really? They, and they have all types of shit, yeah. I didn't know, no, I didn't Yeah, know, dude, they let them eat the whole time. I think baseball's the best sport because you could literally just get drunk as hell and just eat hot dogs and shit and still rip it. Well, are you referring to Babe Ruth? Maybe. <laughs> Just all baseball players. Yeah. Did you know the Phillies had a problem a couple of years ago? They were playing Fortnite in the dugout? No. Yeah, dude. It was like a really bad problem. Like, they were like losing. It was a couple years ago, and uh, they were losing a shit when they sucked, and they were losing a shitload of games. And it was, I don't know who the player was. I forget, but they broke the TV in the clubhouse. They were like, no more fucking Fortnite. This is why we're losing and shit. Yeah, dude. It was a big, wow. big problem. But I was like, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Oh, it's pretty dope. Because I love Fortnite. Yeah, but you can't fucking make a hundred million dollars and play Fortnite. I know, while your dude. Team's losing. And it's when like... they when they finally broke the TV, they started doing way better. Yeah, they were distracted yeah. by Fortnite. I just thought that was crazy. Well, Fortnite is fucking a wild game. Dude. Yeah, I love it. Um. Yeah. So. Uh. Yeah. We have this week in Shab. We're uh, now Brendan Shab this week. Uh, obviously, Brendan Shab. Uh. You know, is the start of our podcast. Essentially, he's like the the OG fucking person of attack that we used to uh, go after. Uh, with the Gringo Poppy and just all his fucking bullshit antics. But we have a lot uh, from Brendan Shop this week. He's uh, found himself making the podcast rounds. He's been on Howie Mandel's podcast. As you know, he does like seven of his own podcasts throughout the week with uh, rapist, alleged rapist Brian Callen. And um, yeah. he was on another podcast too. I forget the name of it. But it, Brendan's been making the rounds. And uh, him and the Mark Harley beef has not, uh, you know, held up at all, man. Um Actually, just I think yesterday or the day before, Brendan actually uh, took away ownership from Mark Harley's podcast, Haters Will Say, and there's documented text messages uh, from Brendan that explained that that was Mark Harley's sole podcast. Like He owned that. That was 100% his, and now Brendan took it away. Uh, so we're going to find out a lot about what's going on with Brendan Schaub, Mark Harley, uh, a little bit of Andrew Schultz. We're actually going to hear from Joey Diaz. Finally, we're going to hear from Joey Diaz. 
And he's going to give the some. The mammoth speaks. The mammoth does speak today on today's show. Oh, my God. He's going to let us uh, in on how he actually feels about Brandon Schaub. And then at the uh, back of the show, when uh, we're getting ready to, to uh, close up shop here, the grand finale of the show is Two Bears, One Cave, uh, live from Daytona. Now, we were going to cover that last week, but the Steel Toe coverage got insane. Everyone was fired up from the Steel Toe coverage, so we just kind of went with it. Uh, but we're gonna try to get for the uh, get to uh, for the grand finale uh, the two bears one cave live from Daytona. We're gonna find out Joe Rogan uh, used to drink his own pee. Uh, and speaking about Joe Rogan, have you guys seen the new comedy club, The Mothership? I have not. I sent it to you, so I'm not. Uh, but I send you a lot of things, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I might have missed that one. But uh, Joe Rogan's opened up. Obviously, uh, you know one of the big reasons why he went to Austin, Texas, in the first place, and not just for podcasting, but to do stand up. And to kind of like create this fucking uh, recreate the uh, L.A. Comedy Club, essentially. Oh, God. And now he's creating his own, uh, you know, comedy space here. And it's called The Mothership. So we're going to check in on Rogan. And obviously, uh, like I said, uh, with the whole Two Bears, One Cave thing. Now, Clem, there was one clip that really took me by surprise. And I found it last night. I sent it to you. It was Tom Segura. Tom Segura uh, is going to be uh, doing like a PSA style video here. And essentially, uh, a couple weeks ago, I made a clip of Tom Segura bashing people who used washcloths, right? And it went viral on YouTube, and it's semi-viral on TikTok. Yeah. So I feel like that clip got to Tom Segura, and now he's publicly addressing people using washcloths. Uh, so we're going to we're gonna check in with Tom here on the back half of the show, guys. We have a lot to get into today. Steel Toe, obviously, is the, the fucking main course here. Uh, but uh, on a, I'm going to come back and take a shot here. But before we do, we have a word from our sponsors, Clem. Okay. Do you know, okay. Do you know we have new sponsors? I did know. I don't want to blow it, though. All right, guys. So uh, you you want to introduce? We're just going to let it roll. Cool. We're well, going to let the clips roll. We got to let the audience know that if they want to donate, they could get a gift card. Yes, they can get a gift card if you donate now. So make sure you help us hit our goal if you want us to do all of that and more. If not, then we're just going to fucking wrap up. Now, um, nah, uh, so guys, yeah, uh, we, we actually landed some new sponsors, so that's pretty fucking cool, and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna roll the clip here of the new sponsors, so guys, uh, settle in, take a drink if you want, we're gonna come back on the other side of this, we have a song to play, and, uh, I'm gonna dive into this gentleman, Jack, here, but this is a word from our new sponsors, Clem. Enjoy, guys. Man, I got all the flavor bitches say I'm delicious. I'ma have all you motherfuckers lay in a ditch. I'ma kill all you rappers. I'ma aim with precision. They was rocking with your ass. Oh, that went by quick. Hold on. Sorry about that. I guess that was the only fucking video. All right, here we go. All the flavor bitches say I'm delicious. I'ma have all you motherfuckers lay in a ditch. I'ma kill all you rappers. I'ma aim with precision. They was rocking with your ass. Fuck. I'm fucking this all up. Hold on one second, guys. I fucked something up here. Now it's our song. Why is my shit fucking doing this? Give me one second here, guys. One second. Dude, our sponsor's not going to appreciate I this. I know, dude. I'm already fucking up. See, my this goodness. is what happens when fucking sponsors start when to When you get to... involved with bitch tits and make a mind. This is what happens. It's all right? going to fall apart on your tits. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go. If you, you found yourself stranded on the side of the road, then the first thing you need to do is call All Care Towing. Serving St. Cloud and the surrounding area, our professionals are courteous and available 24 hours to help with all of your towing needs. We'll get you back on the road in no time. All Care Towing Incorporated. All, all Care Towing, guys. Visit our website now. Check them out. All Care Towing. If you're stuck in a ditch in St. Cloud, fucking Minnesota... Don't hesitate to call fucking all care all care towing. Here we go. We pride ourselves in being professional. We want to be safe, courteous, and take care of your vehicle as best we can. Okay. We've been doing business in the St. Cloud area for 26 years. We do towing, uh, jump starts, door unlocks. We also have heavy duty wreckers to tow semi trucks loaded or empty. If you go off the road, get in the ditch, if it rolls over, we can take care of that too. We also have a heavy-duty flatbed trailer. If you have heavy a duty flatbed chassis truck that needs to be towed on a flatbed, or maybe a limousine, a long bus that needs to be towed uh, where all four wheels are off the ground, we have that equipment to take care of that too. Here at All Care Towing, it's important that we make a customer, not a sale. With a sale, you know, it's a one-time experience. As a customer, 
we'll look forward to seeing you again. At All Care Towing, we're pulling for you. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> They're pulling for us, what guys. What a professional commercial. Wow. That's our proud sponsor. Our proud sponsor, All Care Towing, ladies and gentlemen. Check them out today. If you're stuck in a ditch in the St. Cloud area, do not hesitate to call 1-800-ALL-CARE-TOWING. Steel care blowing. Steel care blowing. Um, <laughs> no, nah, it's fucking hilarious, dude. That's obviously their sponsors, not ours. Uh, but we plug their sponsors, I think, better than they do, actually. Oh, my God. Someone said all care blowing. That's <laughs> hilarious. That's what I said. Great minds think alike. Let's go. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, on the likes of Chad Zumach, guys, we're going to dive into our first drink here. I have to wet the fucking whistle here uh, to top the show off, to start the show. Uh, in the likes of Chad Zumach fucking coming out of this thing victorious the likes of chad zumox now chad i don't know how i feel about chad uh now i might get some shit for this because people are team mud shark all the way uh he's kind of having a resurgence here but you know i uh, i don't know how i feel about chad yet i'm still undecided a lot of fucking shit in his past have has been fucking exposed not the funniest of comedians you know what i mean uh but i will say this fucking song chad zumox uh, you know, stars in. It's called Cleveland Balling, and uh, it's from eight years ago. Uh, it's actually fucking hilarious. I'm not sure if you guys have uh, ever seen it, but we're gonna play it here uh, as our drinking song. Uh, you know, in honor of Chad Zumach defeating the likes of Aaron and Megamind. Would you say he went hard in the paint? He went hard in the motherfucking paint. This has been a very fun show. It's a fun show. Very fun show. Fun very show, fun guys. Week. So this is a part of the show. Uh, if you're drinking with us today, please drink responsibly. Do not drink and drive, all that good stuff. But if you do drink and drive and you find yourself uh, crashing a ditch somewhere, and if you're in the St. Cloud area, even if you're not, make sure to dial 1-800-ALL-CARE-TOWING and uh, tell them in the paint sent you. Uh, but this is Cleveland Balling from Chad Zumach. Now, I seen this song the other day, dude. I was kind of taken away because, you know, it's Chad Zumach. You don't never know what to expect with him, right? You don't well, know. If he it's is multi-talented. Very multi-talented, right? <laughs> uh, so let's check this out. This is Cleveland Balling by Chad Zumach. Uh, guys, pour up a shot if you're drinking with us. And let's have a good show today, man. Let's have a fun fucking show. This and we know very he's show. He very really fun passionate. Show, very fun week. Who, Chad? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He fucking gets fired up, dude. So let's check this out. Cleveland Ballin' by Chad Zumach is our drinking song today, guys. Chad, take it away. Sounds like fucking Fred Durst. Cheers to the mud shark. From the north, from the outlet Every Sunday I'm in shooters Pouring shots down my throat And every now and then Some dude lets me ride on his boat Uh-huh Hey baby, get anything that you choose It's happy hour Appetizers are half price boo But my gift card doesn't cover drinks So booze is on you I hope you got some cash on you To leave for a tip too Let me hear it, Clem we'll head back to my pad Just to see when this chorus drops, let me hear it We'll jump in a cab Or better yet, the rapid I keep it classy in the CLE They say I'm stuck here in Cleveland But I'm living the dream Cause I'm Cleveland Ballin' Ballin' By Cleveland Sanders I can't sing for shit I'm ready I'm just looking up fucking with dread I just don't know how I feel about this I'm trying to decide in my brain Would I rather live in Minnesota Next to Aaron and April's fucking Megamind head Or Cleveland The pit of fucking... Chad Zumach's like existence. Exi yeah, dude. Like I don't know. It's, I'm having a rough choice. I think I'd rather blow my brains out. Chad, would you rather live in Minnesota next to a April and Aaron, or in Ohio next to fucking Chad Zumach? Let us know. Let us know, uh, guys. But Chad Zumach with Cleveland Ballin'. 
Check it out today. I think he dropped like a whole fucking uh, album. You could, it's available on iTunes, so pick that up. And he also, said that's a Cleveland 10. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel. Uh, and if you haven't yet picked up your copy, make sure to pick up Minnesota Love Until Forever by Ashley LaRue. Help support the kids because yeah, we so all know Aaron does not. Support not Steel Toe, but his ex wife. Exactly. We support her, Ashley LaRue. All right, so let's get into it, guys. I'm feeling pretty loose right now. I've taken, like, fucking five shots. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good here. So let's get into it. Uh, we started off the week this past week, obviously, uh, with Kumius Cux and Chad simply taking a victory lap, uh, which was, you know, very well-deserved, man. Chad really, uh, you know, turned this whole thing around, and Aaron is going to spin this whole thing, you know, with... Obviously, you know, he's coming at the ex-wife, he's coming at the kids, he's doxing the kids and all this shit. But that's all bullshit, man, because Chad didn't dox any kids. It, but send us a clip. If you guys see, you know, any uh, evidence of Chad doxing kids, definitely send that our way because we don't want to support somebody who doxes kids, right? But from everything I've gathered, we haven't seen, uh, haven't seen any uh, evidence of Chad doxing kids. Or his ex-wife. Uh, his ex-wife is a published author, author, and uh, you know uh, she's fair game essentially. So I was messaging April. Uh, you slid in her DMs. I slid in April's DMs, dude. No! I did. I did. Uh, you sly dog. And I because, dude, I'm I'm trying to fucking start shit. Like I try to stir the pot. You know what I mean? So I send her DMs. I said uh, I send Chad DMs. I'm like, yo, wh whoever's talking shit about who? Like if Chad's talking shit about April and Steel Toe. I'll fucking, uh, you know, Dude, send. you just got a big crush on April, don't you? Maybe I do. Oh, my God. And her hairpiece. A lot of people do have crushes on April, which is pretty alarming I know. Shit. I could blast a couple people in our chat for that, but I'm not. I'll refrain. I know we kind of talked about it last week, but Al, would you or would you not? No. Wait, hold on. I've never done this, and I think I'm going to do it's it It's the now. hairline for me, dude. It's just a no. How can I do this? Wait. Uh, participants. I want to start a poll. I want to see how many people would actually... Yeah, here we go. Start a poll. <laughs> this is going to be fucking great. This is our Aaron first... Aaron Imholtz, shitty goatee, said April needs a real man in her life, like Wait. the win by two boys. There it is. Yeah, definitely. We'll give her an Eiffel Tower or two, just to say we did. Uh, Bitch, you better leave the Steel Toe Podcast. Wait, how should I How should I word this? I'm start oh, yeah. I I'm starting a poll in our chat here right now. It's our first poll we've ever done. And I, I want to see the audience's fucking... Uh, you know, responses, their response to would they or would they not, or would you smash April? I'll just simply put it that way. Would you smash April? You said with a paper bag. <laughs> All right. We're going to let the poll decide. I like here. your honesty, friend. Yeah. yeah little can... Eiffel Tower. That's what I'm saying, dude. All right. So the, the poll is up now. Would, it's simply, would you smash April? I want to see the audience's. Uh, the audience's response to our poll here. It's oh, my God, dude. It's a hot race. It's starting off hot, but uh, so far we're tied here. I like the honesty. I appreciate Me you too. guys. I, I, I do appreciate the honesty. What a good guy Anton is. T TG, what's good, fella? Why? With it, Anton says, no, because I respect monogamy. monogamy. Yeah, well, dude, what a class. Yeah, I respect you, I like Anton. it, dude. I, I definitely respect that answer. <laughs> oh um, my god, dude! Back door. I'm, are we on Twitter? Oh my god. Uh, Woody says, "Done worse." <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, I'm kind of with you on that, man. I've done way worse than that, huh? Uh, but so far, yes is uh, leading the way here with 58 percent of the votes. Holy shit! So people are fucking, uh, you know, have a soft that's spot. That's why for people watch them, though. I'm convinced. That's what we said in the beginning. Yeah, I'm dude. convinced now, dude. That's because you're not watching Aaron. Like, man, this guy's really got me uh, <laughs> psychologically entertained. Right. Like, no fucking way, dude. I, I heard somebody the other day say that. Uh, you know, sometimes I tune into the Steel Tone Morning Show to uh, get my news from. No way. We, I'm like, imagine getting your news from the Steel yeah, Tone Morning that Show. That sounds fucking ridiculous. We need to do like a science project here. And I know you'll do it, dude, because you're dedicated. So we got to watch every episode of Steel Toe Morning Show and all the episodes that April's not on. Look for the decline, not only in their views, but in their fucking chats as well. Kind of like statistics for like an NFL game, yes. like quarterbacks. And then we'll compare it to 
and like basically prove that the only reason people watch that shit is to look it's at April her, and her right. forehead. And some people just want to smash, and some people just want to look at her big fucking head. Right. Like, oh my god, no, look not, at that head. They're not looking at her big tits. I can no, tell you that. Well, much. Or maybe Aaron's. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, Steel Toe Boring Show in the chat says the smell may change the answer. That, <laughs> and he says I'm on the fence. Yeah, that's fair. That I, you know. It, it, she's from Minnesota. She's a woods girl, dude. She's a woodsman. You know what I mean? So I, I think the smell could change the result. Someone said they'd go flaccid when Aaron's just saying, reach the goal. <laughs> oh, my God. So fucking shot. I could see Aaron into like some cuck porn. You know what I mean? Like having fucking dude. You know what, what he would probably do, bro? If Anthony Cumia, you know, offered to bang uh, April and if he banged April, uh, Steel Toe would have a spot on Compound Media. Oh, he would do it in a he flash. He would do it and do some cuck ass porn oh shit. Oh my god, he's like the guy with tell. the camera and shit. You could tell that's the fucking sort of <laughs> the shit he's into, they bro. Have. Ugh. But uh, dude, the, the the dude, the chat is split with thirty volt. Uh, I can't thirty bo- votes. Oh my god, 50-50. 50, 50 fucking fifty. Dude. Holy shit, fifty two forty eight right now. That's pretty fucking fascinating shit. Wow, I'm actually blown away. I mean, I knew there's a couple of you dirty, dirty boys in the chat, but I didn't know. But this is kind of just validating what we're saying here. That well, we said this uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, like, we were on that shit. Like white nothing, on rice. She ain't nothing, dude. You no, know, dude. Well, some people well, she's are saying in Minnesota eight though. That's the thing. That's true. Well, because there's not too many fucking good things in Minnesota. Slim dude. Pickens in Minnesota. But uh, 50, it's back to fifty fifty again, dude. With thirty two votes, man. Yeah, we said this a few weeks ago, dude. Uh, you know, it, yeah, I, now we're gonna have to compare the analytics. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, I think the Steel Toe Boring Show will do a good job with that because, uh, you know, they just go through everything with a fine tooth comb and they find all of this fucking old shit from the Steel Toe uh, Show. So I think they would do a, a fantastic job at uh, seeing the the decline when April's not on the show. Sure, who's the other guy? Johnny Woodboxers? Johnny Cru- Johnny Woodboxers. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> What's his name? Because he's so forgettable. Johnny Crutches. Johnny Crutches. Is that the guy that said, here we go? I think so. That he's a fucking noodle. I think so. Uh, we got Johnny Crutches and then Corey Adam comedy, which actually Corey Adam has some allegations, uh, you know, that are surfacing now that Steel Toe is, uh, you know, the type of fucking uh, broadcasting YouTube star that he has, he's ever wanted to be. Uh, so the chat is split here, guys. 32 votes, uh, 16 going for yes, 16 going for no. We're going to give it about another minute. We're going to see where it all, all ends up, and it could end up split here. It could end up split. But Y'all cl- are making me sick, dude. I feel like they're just lying, saying, oh, yeah, I want it'll be funnier if we put yes. No one, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't touch dude. her with my own flaccid, co- I wouldn't even fuck her with your flaccid dick, exactly. homie. Well, dude, you know what's actually fucking unreal, bro? Like, you look at pictures from her, like, from five years ago, like, pre-Aaron, and she's actually not that bad. But then you, like, you slowly see the decline from when she uh, met Aaron and then, you know, obviously started podcasting. Started with, losing her hairline, started her, receding. <laughs> yes, dude. Her <laughs> hairline started going back way further than uh, it was comfortable. It's all uh, that stress doing. and anxiety. Yes, dude. You She's know? not built for this shit, bro. And I, she, you and, know, dude, I wouldn't put my baby girl on a podcast. Neither dude. would I, bro. You know, it's the front. You're like you on the front lines of wars, especially taking swings at people. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, at least, like, you know, put her off camera. Like, it, you know, that, yeah, w- like, dude, that was uh, one thing, you know, uh, Red Bar did do uh, a good job of is he kept his wife, Jules, off camera. It's like, you, you know, because you're going after some, you know, some of these high, high profile people, like just a matter of time before someone claps back some blowback dude, and, sure. and the female is the easiest target, you Absolutely. know, Absolutely. But I think it's a it's a mechanism of like him reaching like ah well I know I'll get more reach if I put her yeah, on. Yeah, but that's shit. selfish ass fucking. Of course, shit. dude, and it's not something a honorable spouse would do. Exactly, certainly not. You'd want to protect your family. You know what I'm saying? Not put them out on the front fucking lines. Exactly. Dude. Obviously, she wears the pants though because she was probably. I, I'm having a hard time figuring out. It's like you think she wanted to be on the podcast or she was forced. I think it was a little bit of both. I think she wanted to do it, but I don't think she knew that this was uh, the extent of, like, where Aaron was going to go. Like, every show, like, he was shitting on people. You know what I mean? Like, she wanted to have a, like, for lack of a better term, a fun show. This has been a very fun show. Very fun show. Very fun week. But she didn't know it was going to go this far. This far, right? Shit, bro. I feel bad. No, but uh, it's too late now. They've opened up Pandora's box. I don't really feel bad. And now the internet has completely turned on them, dude. 
it, it's kind of fucking, it, it's really amazing to watch how so many people have like, and bro, they before, cross the line too many times though. Before it gets twisted here, dude, and let's play a clip here first. Before it gets twisted, because um, we're going to end the poll. We're going to end the poll with, uh, uh, does it just disappear? Oh no, here it goes right here. Uh, would you smash April? Uh, 52 percent said yes 47 percent said no you guys are sick in the head that's fair that's a fair fucking, i'm fucking over it it's a fair point you know john voted a thousand times for <laughs> yes to you slippery bastard i didn't vote at all to be honest really because i wouldn't dude so it, like so it, you vote no yeah but it's like you know you I, don't want to let me see what the chat wants influence the chat yes. i got you bro i appreciate that we're gonna watch a clip though uh from Aaron and April, they're going to uh, actually call us out, uh, essentially. I was in their chat the other day on, I think it was the day after, the day before their prize show. And, uh, you know, we find Aaron just coping a lot of the times, uh, you know, washing his hands with everyone, fucking saying everyone else is mentally ill. Yeah, and but saying, you're a racist fucking asshole. Yes. So fuck you. And he made fun of Otaku. Yes. That's irredeemable shit. That's where my line was drawn. And all the shit he said about Otaku, bro, Otaku is way more entertaining than Aaron. I would ra- I would, oh, my God. I would rather watch, guys. Check this out. I would rather watch Wrestling Otaku for the rest of my life than listen to one more minute of the Steel so, Till Morning Show. Dude, me too. He the only is reason, way funnier. The dude. only reason why I listen to Steel Till Morning Show is for the podcast. Is, and the chat, exactly. But we were saying this, Clem, before we go to this clip, we were saying this weeks ago. With before the Reddit was created, before any of the backlash started with Steel Toe, we were saying this all the live long day, where we didn't. The, the two main takeaways were that he was begging on a daily basis on his show, like like there, there's one thing to ask for super chats, but then there's another thing when you fucking beg. Yeah, and it's a pinnacle, like they do it every fucking episode. Every episode. Every episode. Never changes. Uh, so we were we were saying that uh, a couple weeks ago when it came to the begging and when it came to his set. Uh, you know, why is this, like, why does he, you know, make all this money but reinvest nothing back into the set? Like, that was the two main fucking takeaways I had, and that was my two biggest gripes with Steel Tail. Like, that, we're not just jumping on board. Aaron would have you believe that we're just trying to fucking clout fucking bite off Aaron fucking M hole, like which couldn't be yeah, further dude, with from your two thousand subscribers. Right, fuck out of here. You know, it's just like, dude, we we've been saying this all the live long day, and uh, you know, it just so happened that we were saying it, and then the Steel Tail Reddit was born, and then the Chad Zumok thing happened, and now. We were just like, all right, dude, it's fair fucking game, it's, dude. It, we we're out here. Game. Exactly. See, where it got kind of miscon, uh, misconstrued, misconstrued, misconstrued. There it is. Uh, because a couple weeks ago, you know, we played here on the show that he shouted us out. He was playing a clip, not, you know, he, he was playing a clip of our, uh, one of our uh, fucking shorts, YouTube shorts or whatever the fuck. He was playing a clip and he shouted us out our channel, but we find we found out he wasn't actually subscribed and it was in that moment I was like, all right, well, I don't want to fucking completely bash this guy, but I'm going to call out the nonsense where I see it, but it's not going to be a whole fucking show. You know what I mean? Sure. But all all that went out the window, Clem. All that went out the window uh, simply because, you know, fucking, you know, we, we, as time went on and we had information from the Steel Toe Boring Reddit and Chad Zumok and now Patrick Melton from Nobody Likes Onions, we found out actually Aaron is more of a fucking dirtbag than we actually thought in the first place. So he was on our radar back then, but this just fucking blew it wide open. All yeah. this shit. Well, I remember when we first were going to cover him, and I watched some of the clips of Steel Toe. Yeah, I'd send them to you. And I was like, dude, this is... Who watches this shit? Like, well, I can't believe that this even graced our stage. Like, we have to talk about this it's fucking boring. It's the Steel Toe Boring Show. Well, that's where they got their name. Absolutely. And then I watched a little bit of it, and I'm noticing the donation. Like, people are donating. And it's like... Religiously. Religious. It, re- yeah, dude. And it's like, they're making thousands of dollars a week and offering the bare minimum on their show. Yeah. No equipment, no background, no music, no nothing. fucking nothing, bro. Just... There's no substance anywhere affiliated with it. And it's like, if you're going to do this, like, and commit to this as your career, offer me something. Something. Anything. Uh, and I think they just, you know, swing punches 
because that's their way of being entertaining. Because they're not funny. They're not smooth. They're not. Aaron does that stupid radio voice. Yeah. And he sound, he just sounds like he's got Asperger's. You know what I mean? They're and not a, original. Not original. An original thought. Oh, my God. So it's like the only thing they have to do is take swings at other people. And then once you clap back, they they run away. They run away and yeah. gaslight. It's but, like, dude, fuck that. But you have to remember, Al, it is a fun show, right? No, it's not a very fun. fun show. I'm not very having fun, fun dude. Very fun week. So this was, uh, let's pull up this clip first, guys. Uh, this was uh, Steel Toe kind of, uh, you know, calling us out, for lack of a better term. We were in their chat the other day, and Aaron was doing the same old fucking gaslighting fucking garbage, garbage bullshit that he does every other show that we just went over, right? So I'm in the chat. I'm just simply, I said, nice cope, right? Because that's really what he was doing. He was just coping with fucking everything that was going on. So I put nice cope, and then this is what Aaron had to say back. Now, we're going to break this down. It's going to, uh, it's, you know, wait, what am I doing here? Uh, we're going to break this down. Let's check it out. Reality. He's All right. Here we go. This is what I want to. Starting with the Nanas next to him. Mark says, hi, see some of your biggest supporters trashing you in other streams. I guess they do the same to others when they come here. Yeah, it's kind of part of that lame ass pro wrestling thing, which I don't have a part of. If people can. Which no, I don't all right, mind. so let me stop it there because that's his whole fucking thing. What pro wrestling. What's he talking about? He's talking about like, it's like this, like, think about pro wrestling, right? Where like there's like fake beefs essentially, but like right. it's amped up to fucking sell the show. Uh, so he's saying that, oh, I don't have a part of these this pro wrestling fucking thing. When in reality, it's like, bro, that's, that's he's generating it. That's your whole show. It's, that's it's, he's the source. Of besides, that. besides regurgitated Twitter, uh, Twitter fucking trends. That is your whole show. Like, or at least it was until Chad Zumach fucking delivered the yeah, knockout just blow. Fucking hammered you down. I mean, sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail, Aaron. So we're uh, nice a day to remember reference. By yeah, the way, you like but that? I did. Yeah. Uh, we're about 14 seconds in, and Aaron is already gaslighting the fucking audience. Yeah, and he's walking it back, and now I know what's coming next. This is what infuriates me, dude. Is the amount of fucking gaslighting. It's like, bro, like. Stop lying, bro. And it's 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 a habitual problem too. It's every fucking show. It's not like show. he did it once and it's like, all right, we'll let you slide, dude. It's every fucking show. Every show. Can't I can't stand it. And if people can tell the difference between work and shoot, what happened to us is we didn't realize the people we were going here with were mentally ill. Okay, so that's uh, his his next biggest cope is that everyone that fucking is clapping back at him right now are mentally ill. So Al, we're fucking mentally fucking crazy, dude. We're nuts. I don't think so. We deserve to be in a loony bin, bro. I think we're we the realist, and we're just calling this out for the garbage that it is. Now, Chad Zumach, that's a little debatable whether he's a little loony or not, but that's irrelevant, dude. Uh, the only reason why he's saying that is because, obviously, he can't fuck. He has nothing. Nothing else. Nothing else. What's he going to do? No response. What's he going to do? Sorry, this shit really pisses me off. Bro. Yeah, no, you're good, dude. And then he tries to act like he's we're beneath or a, anyone right. he's talking about is beneath him. And it's like, motherfucker, you're not above anyone. Exactly. You're so fucking blows. Psychotic and willing to go to like levels where we're like, oh, no, we don't do that here. I think we'll be uh, checking yeah. people out for further notice. Yeah, we're just kind of like, <laughs> he's going to mention us. At Steel Toe. So we're going to no, no offense. I mean, if, if that's how angry and upset and crazy you get. That you have to go to those levels, I'm just going to go ahead and walk away. All right, so the only reason why people are going to these levels is for instances like this, dude. It's like, again, we if you would just a fucking address it and then move on, it would be different. But the fact that you're, like, acting like everyone else is fucking cr Like, dude, if, if there's multiple people saying the same thing about one person, who's fucking, uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Right in the situation. Is it the person that's saying everyone else is crazy, or is it the people, the crazies, saying everything about you? Exactly. Does that make sense? A hundred percent. And if more people, more than one person, are are saying things, there's probably some truth to it. There's some validity. Just to Just like it, right. with Crystalia, when it's like, all right, he's got exactly. allegations. Now he's got thirty allegations. It's exactly. like, bro, even if you did it, if if some of them are lying, but even more than. Two people you did that to, you're a fucking molester. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. No sympathy for that. None. None. All right, let's keep it moving here. Uh, he's going to address us here in this clip. Let's check Aww, it out. Oh, man. Why God do me like once that? Once you walk away, once we decide, oh, oh my hey, God. guys, this isn't really for us. This isn't, isn't <laughs> what the go, show's about. They it's go just, insane. Their brains break. Their brains break. I don't know break, what happens. And they go insane. 
Yeah, and see, win by two radio says nice scope. He needs <laughs> extra content. He wants us to keep doing. No, it. no. I thought that was a friend. Oh, no, not your no, friend. He's into the pro wrestling. You know what? Stuff. No, 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 no that could be true. Uh, fuck you, dude. With twenty bucks, says, could you so, do like a two inch? Uh, right there, he brings us up because I'm in the chat saying nice scope, and he's uh, you know saying that he he is into the pro wrestling. He needs uh, like meaning me and us need him to fucking keep doing what he's doing in order to fucking run a show. Uh, Aaron, here's a piece of that's advice, That's a broad Aaron. allegation, friend. We've done 174 episodes here on this show, and the last three episodes have been about you, so that means 171 episodes we ha- we've done okay fucking not talking about Steel Toe Morning Show. And we almost didn't even cover it. And we weren't even going to cover it, dude. The only reason why you, uh, you made it on my radar is because— They the- used our clip. They used our clip, number one, and but before that, number two, or I guess this would be number one and that would be number two. But number one, essentially, is because it was popped up in my algorithm and I started watching the show and my two immediate reactions were shitty set and he just seems like a fucking online beggar and doesn't reinvest any of the money back into his set. Yeah, that's fucked And up. that's what pissed me off. It's because it's, and I'll go back to this, why do I have to reinvest or invest at all Fucking uh, an elaborate studio and fucking microphones and cameras and lights and all this shit. We don't fucking, you know, uh, we don't ask and we don't expect our audience to donate whatsoever. Why do we have to do that? <clears throat> and, you know, uh, Aaron is just fucking let off scot free, uh, not fucking reinvesting back into his set. Why? So he's basically just scamming people. Exactly. And I'll answer that question real quick, uh, Al, is because we love what we do. We would be doing this regardless, right? You know, whether there's uh, 85 people here today in today's chat or nobody. You know, there's been streams, uh, you know, in the early days where we were just streaming to fucking absolutely zero people. And that's okay. You have to fucking, uh, you know, you have to go through the motions at first. Uh, But essentially, dude, this is something that we love and we would do regardless, right? Without, uh, you know, viewers funding us or not. So why can't Aaron do that? You know, and he's getting fucking $300 every morning and fucking $200 every night. And he's punching down. He's punching down, exactly. Yeah, that's you can't do that. And Crazy. then not expect any blowback. You know what I mean? So let's uh, let's hear. Uh, he's uh, a fucking asshole. What else he has to say? Sorry. Sticker for hard hats and toolboxes and stuff. I would buy so many if they were that size. You can personally message me, and we can get that ordered for you if yeah. you're willing to pay for it. I mean, we yeah, we'll look into it for sure. We can make anything. KYP says they got shut down. No more con. I know they miss us so much. Uh, I'd rather cope without them than be miserable with content with them. That's that's a great point, Lemmy. Uh, All right, uh, well, real yeah. quick, let me let me pause this. Who is this little Lemmy chick, right? Because uh, she seems to be his fucking right hand fucking moderator. Like anything that he does, uh, she sticks up for him. She- I think, dude, that they go undercover on other platforms. What do you mean? Like, explain. like, they'll make fake accounts on Reddit or YouTube, and then they'll comment on their own shit. Like, this is Wait, so hold amazing. on, real quick, real quick. Sorry, Clem. But someone says, why is it, uh, Anton says, why is this set so important? Why is this set so important? It's because it, it, it it's your product. It's what you're selling. If I'm tuning into a show, like, imagine seeing, if the, imagine if this was the Howard Stern show, and Howard Stern made $500 billion, right? You'd be like, how is he making that much money when there's no effort going back into his set? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a reflection of your product. It's a reflection of your product, and it's a reflection of yourself. Exactly, and how much effort and time you put into this shit. Exactly, dude. Exactly. So if you're not willing to fucking, you know, at least buy a fucking, uh, not even a 4K camera, a 1080p camera, and upgrade from a fucking webcam, if you're not willing to do that, what else aren't you willing to do? You know what I mean? It's like, what else, like, are you trying to hide? Everything. And it's like... You don't have to be good with the technical side of things, but even if you're not, it's like make the aesthetic part of your show shine. Look you know? good. Yeah, look good. The background. Anything. Anything. Give me something. Something. Anything. Like, I mean, he's got two ring lights and a fucking uh, ordered fucking background ordered from Amazon. That never changes. <clears throat> yeah, it never changes. I mean, this is it. The camera doesn't even take up a full frame, and we've talked about this many times here on the show. Yeah, no, no panning cameras. You got two people in one frame that never changes. I thought dude. you were going to say two people in one forehead. <laughs> two two birds, one coop. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, the point remains, dude. It's, it's a reflection it's of yourself. It's just the bare minimum. It's, it's Who the wants ba- to fucking watch that? It's the bare minimum effort. So th- before, like, so now the set's bare minimum. The content's bare minimum. Exactly. They're not funny. They're not entertaining. We're not having fun. 
No fun. What the fuck are we watching? Exactly. That's, Paint dry? That's the one of the first things I picked up on when I first started watching these guys. It's like, all right, let me give these guys a chance because I have no idea who they are. But the first impression I got, and that's like that's the first the first impression people get from you before you even open your mouth is what does your fucking set look like? Right? And the the first impression I got was like we were just talking about, bare fucking minimum, dude. You alright over there? Got like a rash behind my ears. All right. All right, let's keep watching this though, because he's gonna address us. At win by two probably not the best guy to say that seeing as your whole thing is kind of like following us around and no, it's waiting not. for us to do something. No, it's not. Eh, you know what I say? Win by two radio. Sit back. First of all, we don't follow him around. That's a pretty bold fucking statement, yes. dude. It's another lie. Yeah, what? We don't fucking follow you around and make content based off you, dude. This has really only been the past three weeks. Like we've done 171 other episodes that had nothing to do with you. You know what I mean? So it's, for you to uh, say that. clearly some butt hurtness it, well, going on here. It, it's just another example of gaslighting. Wow. You know what I mean? I'm, su I'm surprised that he did that, really. And really talking about us is just bringing people to our direction anyway. Well, th right, right. Which is fucking stupid, dude. Because now people say, oh, they're clout. It's like, dude, I don't want anything to do with Aaron's fucking clout. No. At all. Uh, all right, let's keep watching. Uh, so he's going to say... He's gonna tell. Uh, he's gonna tell the audience why fucking uh, we're doing what we're doing is because we need Aaron for some crazy reason. But then he's gonna, you know, let us in on a little secret that we can actually learn something from this program. Which, what the learning implements, I have no idea. Yeah, I learn nothing. I don't learn anything, dude. It's no, not. It's, it's nothing different than I can't go onto it, Twitter and shit find. Puts me to bed, bro. Whoops, sorry. Did not mean to fucking hit the air horn on you. But yeah, the, the shit does put you to bed, Clem. Probably not the best guy to say that, seeing as your whole thing is kind of like following us around and waiting for us to do something. No, it's not. Eh, you know what I say, Win by Two Radio? Sit back, enjoy the show. You'll learn something. All right, let's make sure we're all caught up. What am I going to learn? You know what I mean? Like, what is. <laughs> learn how to fall asleep. That's it. The only thing I've learned here is that your fucking logo is a boot. Imagine having a logo that's a fucking boot, dude. And has nothing to do with working hard or, like, the army, nothing. Well, if anything, she's worked hard worked, in her life. Right, in she's factory, worked in the factory. Factory queen. But he's done nothing. No, he got beat up by a 16-year-old. Yes. <laughs> and got fired from the radio. Wow. I wonder why. So that was Aaron addressing us, guys. Uh, let me let me see what the chat is yeah, saying. Now, my feel, now I'm going to make a diss track, dude, like Chad Zumoff. Uh, Sandy is, uh, wait, what's that say? Sandy is easy led. I don't know what that's referring to. Uh, feel bad for you, Sandy. Hope, uh, I wake you up one day. All right. Well, somebody's trying to wake somebody up here. I guess we have a steel toe fan, which is not to be, uh, not surprising, obviously. First impression was he's only in, uh, only in it for the money and begging for it. Uh, Sorry, I can't fucking read. Oh, shout out. We got an uh we got a member here. Shout out to Ollie. <laughs> welcome, One's good. Welcome to the stub toe fucking crew here. Stub toe. Uh, Ollie. Uh Subatai Lopez. Fifteen thousand dollars. So I think he's referring to that's how much Aaron makes a month. Yeah, fifteen thousand dollars or fifteen thousand fifteen thousand grand is that's insane. Yeah, boy, fifteen grand is what he fucking makes, but he only pays eight hundred for three kids. That's like a hundred eighty k a year. Is it? Yeah, at fifteen thousand yeah, a, a month. month. Yeah. Wow, your math is pretty spot, dude. Something's got to be. I gotta have something up there. Right now, Steel Toe got hate watchers watching them. After all, uh, wait, I gotta fucking. After all this died down, their number will plummet. They can't live this down. No, they can't, Garth, uh, Garth Brooks. They won't be able to live this down. Uh, imagine having the whole internet fucking completely just turn on you like this and then gaslight your whole audience and saying that everything is fine and okay and keep donating. You can't like, clout chase someone that's not fucking, has, that has no clout. Right. <laughs> like, dude, the one thing I will give Aaron, like, you know, because it's not, I'm not going to just sit here and fucking shit on everything. The one thing I do give him, he does have a fucking giant set of fucking nuts. Because imagine, like, going on air every day, sometimes twice a day, and doing the same routine over and over and over and over again. We know there's a whole fucking hate Reddit based on you. Oh, dude, he does. He I, It's either that or he's just a moron. 
Ollie gifted uh, 20 win by two radio memberships. Oh, I don't even know what the fuck that is, Ollie, but we appreciate you. Uh, and shout out to Ollie, man. We now, love that. Now, guys, we are only uh, 37 memberships away from hitting our membership goal for today's show. So make sure uh, you donate to today's show. Otherwise, we're not going to fucking do any more show. We're just going to cut it here. Like, imagine if we fucking came on air and did this, uh, did that claim. Like, that would be fucking embarrassing. I would fucking, you know what I would do if I was in Aaron Shoes right now, dude? I would fucking rebrand. I would leave the internet and rebrand and fucking, you know, get a makeover and fucking maybe some fucking plastic surgery so I didn't look like Aaron M. Holt anymore and I would do fucking something else, bro, because obviously this isn't working. Someone said you look like a cop from Grinder. I do? Uh, yeah, so I said, how the fuck you know what Grinder's yeah, like? Yeah, how do you know what a cop Undercover. from Grinder looks like? Oh, you, that's an oddly specific dig. Uh, it's his only way he knows how to make money. Well, yeah, he it, right. So, I mean, that kind of puts him in this weird position where, like, he all he's used to is fucking begging for money online. Like he wouldn't know how to make a dime in the real world. And it's a disrespect to anyone who has to wake up fucking, you know, at seven o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, and actually put on their steel toe boots and go out there and grind and actually fucking, you know, earn a fucking dollar in this world. It's a disrespect and a fucking backhand slap to anyone who has to go through that when you call your uh, fucking bullshit fun show steel toe morning show. It's so fun. You know what I mean? Like We're just having fun, brother. Like, dude, Clem, there's people that wake up at the ass crack of dawn to go make fucking 100 bucks a day to support their fucking family and loved ones. And then this motherfucker is going to come on here and call his show Steel Toe Morning Show because he's a blue collared fucking radio podcast. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Pay your child support. Pay your fucking child support. How about you fucking uh, promote Ashley LaRue's book? Why do we have he to would, promote? He would never do that. Why do we have to do it? Because we have class. And Unreal, we care more dude. about Aaron's kids than him, than his. Apparently, his, his, he's the father, and he apparently. doesn't care. That's fucked up. Uh, apparently, we got five new members on today's show, which is Let's fucking go, dope, dude. dude. I, I'm sorry, I'm kind of like not like I'm trying to catch up with the chat, but I don't want to make that the whole fucking show. The chat does have a mind of its own today, which is fucking pretty cool. But uh, yeah, guys, it's 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 just disrespectful, man. It's it's really at the end of the day, it's just disrespectful. You're gonna come on air every day, night in, night out, and beg. And then call yourself Steel Toe. Like, fuck off, dude. And then when somebody says anything back to you, swings back, you walk it back. Not even walk it back, dude. You run the other way. You run the the other way. Exactly, Exactly, bro. Fucked up. Should be called Running Shoes Morning Show. Dude, just fucking turn it off. I don't want (laughs) to... You know what I mean? I don't want to watch that shit. Well, Clem, we have a lot of other clips to get into. I know, So bro. I'm not turning nothing off anytime soon. Oh, my soon. God. So, uh, like I said, before this segment started, because we had to kind of take a left turn, I actually did slide into April's DMs, like, I think it was like a week and a half ago at this point, but she finally got back to me. You sly bastard. And essentially, like I said, I'm just trying to stir the pot up. I'm not trying to fucking play sides here. I'm not trying to fucking be Team Aaron and April and Team Chat. Like, I'm not doing all that. Like, that's that that's beneath me. I'm just trying to stir it up because it makes for good fucking podcasting and good fucking radio. Like, that's what the people want. You sure you're just not trying to riz up April? Hit her with the riz? Uh, riz God? Hit him with the riz. Hit riz him, God, hit him dude? With the, riz. the Rizinator over here? No, I'm definitely not doing that. Mm. So I'm in, I'm in April's DMs, and I'm sending her Chad Zumach clips. I'm like, yo, listen, Chad is talking about you right now. He's like, and not just talking about you. It'd be one thing if you're talking about somebody, but it, it'd be it's a completely different thing when Chad Zumach is out there fucking just like completely calling you a fucking, uh, you know, the shit beneath his shoe, essentially. You know what I mean? Because that's what Chad was doing. He was he was pretty much calling them steel toe, uh, his bitch, some garbage, some garbage, exactly. So I'm on, uh, I'm in April's DMs and I'm like, listen, you got to check this out. Like, this is crazy. I'm, but I'm curious to hear your guys' response. Like, that's always been my remark. Like, I want to hear their response to this whole thing. Cause that's what people want. Like, I'm, I don't like, I speak for everyone when I say that, like sure. we, we want to hear I want a reaction. I want a reaction. Exactly. Al. So, uh, April actually messages me back and we actually find out the reason why Aaron actually watched quote unquote Wash his hands with this whole thing in the first place. It wasn't because he thought people were mentally ill and that was beneath him or he's taking the moral high road. Like, it's not, that's not it at all. That's how they played their that's, hand. That's how they play. But it's it. not the truth. 
So this is a DM from April. Let's expose them. You going to show everyone? I'm exposing today. Oh, my God. Let's go. We're exposing. I don't care, bro. None of your DMs are safe with me. Nah, if, in all fairness, if you guys DM me any like confidential shit, just tell me you don't want your name attached to it, and I won't. But uh, this is nothing like... Uh, derogatory or like defamatory or anything like that. This Are you sh- really, dude? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Should have been. You should have sent her your <laughs> my fucking cock. Your spreadable butt cheeks. My butt cheeks. Yeah, dude. No spreadable butt cheeks on YouTube, guys. So this is what April had to say to me about Chad Zumach. The whole Chad Zumach situation. Hold on. I'm trying to get the screen prepped here. My shit just froze on me. Hold on one second, guys. All right, here we go. So I'm sending her fucking, as you guys could see here on the screen, I'm sending her the past episode of Kumia Cucks, uh, Chad Zumach. Then I made a clip called uh, Chad Zumach versus Steel Toe Round 1. So I sent her a Chad clip and I sent her my clip. And uh, I'm trying to see, what did I say up there? I'm just, pre- I'm pretty much saying up there, I could find the DM if you guys want me to, but I'm pretty much saying like, I'm excited to hear your guys' take on this whole Chad thing. Uh, because he's, you know, he's roasting you pretty hard. So April goes on to say, I know your intent is to help the show. And I thank you for that. But please don't send me anything related to Chad anymore. This stuff has really gotten ugly. And is affecting my life beyond the show. And I want no part in his lies. Again, I know you're a fan. Which couldn't be further from the truth. Not a fan. <laughs> Again, she's like gaslighting me in like private DMs, which is fucking crazy. But uh, I just can't be a part of this. Thank you. Wow. Uh, really right. walking it back there. Walking it back. Uh, so, but, I mean, we find out a lot of interesting things there. Uh, we find out that it's affecting her beyond the show. And she just can't handle this so like sort of thing. stress anxiety? It's stress anxiety. It's causing the hairline to recede fucking five inches than where it was oh, before. No. And this is, she like, you could get, like, dude, I can guarantee after the show wraps up that they're talking about Chad Zumach, she's in fucking Aaron's ear, ear right? She's like, yo, you got to shut this fucking down, dude. I can't, I'm not going to come on the show anymore and talk about Chad Zumach. You know what I mean? <sighs> dude, this is like really exposing them. We're pulling the blanket off the fucking bed here and again, getting to the bottom of this. She, so now we got marital issues at the source of this problem. Yeah. I mean, fuck, dude. Well, yeah, now their their marriage is fucking on the line here. I can't believe that she, like, exposed that to you. That's crazy to me. She says, I know you're... I f- mean, it's bland. Like, you know, it's affecting my life beyond, beyond the, the show. show. So what does that mean? I, the way I took it was, you know, she can't handle this, and she doesn't want to talk about this anymore on the show, and anybody who brings anything to her about Chad Zumach... She's just going to fucking do this, too. You know what I mean? Just shut it down. So Walk it I, back. Shut it down and resend. I come back. Oh, I know you hit her with the quickness. Hold on. I'm trying to find my DM here. Because I didn't send myself my personal DM. I just sent myself <laughs> just her. Just go back to the factory, April. <laughs> Please. <laughs> For the love of God, go back to the factory. So I'm just going to read what I said back to her. And then I'm going to show you, uh, show you guys what she said back to me. So I said, don't mind me, uh, don't mind my asking, but why do you continue to do the show then? Question mark. Uh, I'm not in the business of picking sides, but you had to have known making fun of people was only going to result in nothing good and constant headaches. Uh, like you just, like, like you just can't take shots at people and then be shocked when they respond and duly noted, I won't send anything Chad related. Right. So, but you know, pretty fair, right? Sure. Like, nothing crazy. Yeah. No, you just said the truth. Uh, and, but then she comes back with this. Oh, God. She comes back with... Oh, a paragraph? Excuse me? What? I publicly asked Aaron to stop doing that multiple times because that's not what our show is about. Oh. Well, you would have fooled me because every fucking uh, clip that you guys posted for the last seven months has uh, has been about Chad Zumach or Opie or fucking uh, Stuttering John. Uh, It's all coming together now. Dude, Uh, I'm cringing in my fucking pants here. Wow. Uh, because that's not what our show is about. Uh, and these people are mental. She, so she's really oh, laying okay. it on thick. We're fucking mental. Well, okay. Everyone who makes fun of them are mental. Okay. Anyone no. anyone who tries to expose them or anything like that, you guys are all fucking mental patients. You guys are like fucking Jack Nicholson of One Flew Over the Cougars Next. Yeah, not happening today. You're mental. Yeah, no. Where's my Marlboro Red? 
Here's <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, that does not excuse anyone straying from a fun back and forth and instead of uh, resorting to lies and personal digs on our family. Uh, that is not or that is not excused no matter who you are. Digs on broadcasters for their broadcasting is fine. Not kids and family members. Well, that's pretty funny, April, because I'm pretty sure Aaron used to come at stuttering John's trans kid. Pretty sure fucking Aaron used to come at you know, stuttering John's kids. So why is now all of a sudden the family and the and the kids off limits? I get it, and I get that. If you want the family and kids off limits, fine. This but is all just fabricated bullshit. That's all it is. Oh my god, it's gaslighting. You think she's sitting right next to Aaron? Like, help me respond to this win by two character. No, because because I'll tell you why. Because he was doing the show and I was messaging her. Oh, while. this was on air. No, no, no. He was on air. Oh, she was. She was. Got you. So she goes on, uh, you know, digs on broadcasters for their broadcasting is fine. So we, all right. So she's laying the ground rules. We could fucking make fun of them because of their broadcasting. But it's the the second you bring family and kids into it, which I, I know I do agree with. Like if you're kind of having a, uh, you know, a back and forth with somebody and then somebody, and that's one of our biggest critiques with Chad, bro, was. Yeah, he went too personal. He went real personal real quick, which, and I'll give him the ex-wife, Ashley LaRue. Because she's a published author and she's online and she puts herself out there. But even with the kids, like, he didn't dox the kids. And if anything, he was just saying, like, yo, support the kids. Like, he wasn't, like, saying anything bad about them. Yeah, who who did come at the kids? I don't think anybody. So they're just more blatant lies. It's just more lies. Nah, get the fuck out of here. This is why people can't stand them. Exactly. Yeah, it's crazy. She, so she she's responding to me like I'm fucking, like, uh... Like, like an, an instigator. Like an, no, like a fucking moron. Like a retard. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? Sure. She, she thinks I don't even know. Well, you're a big fan of the show, Johnny. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. Like, fuck you, April, and your goddamn dome piece. <laughs> <laughs> Mega mind. Mega mind. I'm going to bounce your uh, basketball off of that. Yep, yeah, hypothetically. Uh, not kids and family. Uh, no thanks. If it were up to me, so this is where it gets good. If it were up to me, we would never associate it with this person. I don't run the show. I continue to do the show. Be- so she all right, right there, that's pretty important. If it were up to her, she would have never have gone after Chad Zumach, right? But Aaron, like, for some fucking crazy reason in of itself, like, he wanted to fucking poke the Chad Zumach buttons, for lack of a better term. I wonder why. Like, what's the source of that? We got to do some psychological deep diving and yeah. find out. He, be, well, I think it's think because... he aspires to be like Chad? No, I think it was because he looked at Chad as being an easy target. Uh, and then that somebody like Chad wouldn't respond, and even if he did, it wouldn't be... It would be good enough for him, for Aaron, to make a response video back towards i guess right so i like oh he's just gonna brush this off it's an easy target exactly wow and that's the only reason but he wasn't expecting chad Boy. to have this like resurgence Boy, and then now, was he wrong dude and then now all of a sudden he has the backing of reddit and the steel toe boring show on chad's side right you know Which going full force the best content source like yes. i mean it's fire yes. bro I so, think that guy's in here thank you for what you're doing buddy yeah we appreciate hey we salute you salute steel toe. salute boring show uh, so she goes on to say, no thanks. If it were up to me, we would never associate it with the person to begin with. I don't run the show. I continue to do the show because when we avoid mental cases, we do a we do great work together and have had a lot of fun. We're good at it. So she's reiterating that it's what, Clem? Regurgitated bullshit. And a fun show. And, this oh, is not a very Jesus. fun show. Very fun show. Very fun week. So April, <laughs> uh, you know messaging me back letting me know that she didn't want no parts of this whole chad character and as soon as chad clapped back she that's where she drew the line and now she's in aaron's ear like listen do not bring this up anymore i can't you know what i mean like whatever you got to do fucking do it yeah your Be- last 30 shows are about chad zuma exactly fuck you exactly. dude exactly sick, sick of that so it's pretty interesting sit uh shit so when aaron tells you guys that he's done, he's taking the moral high ground, he's washing his hands, and he's all fucking, you know, he's above uh, any of this fucking drama bullshit. When he tells you guys that Chad Zumach is a mental patient or that anybody that makes fun of him is a mental patient, just know that a- uh, April, Miss Megamine, is in his ear telling him certain things are off limits. Hey, we can't talk about this because they're going to get us some blowback and I might have to go back to the factory. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good April, dude. 
I try. I try. Minnesota. Minnesota. Fucking. Oh, my God, dude. It's like watching paint dry. I'm going to start listening to that shit to go to bed because I have insomnia. Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> Subatai Lopez says they thought Sh uh, Chad was an easy target since Carl from Rochester was doing vids on them. And that's another thing, too. Carl from Who Are These Podcasts, dude. I mean, Aaron is just essentially ripping off what Carl is doing. Not that to say Carl is doing anything fucking, you know, good or anything like that, but... It just it proves the point that Aaron can't form an, an original thought for himself. He has to. He's talking about us clout biting. He he's the fucking clout biter in this situation. Oh my god, dude! He's drumming up problems with people just to get fucking views. Exactly. Out of nowhere, too. It's not like they made a comment or came at him and then you know what I mean. Like for us, we only stumbled upon his show because he used our clip and didn't give us any credit. That's how this all fucking started, bro. Yeah. And now we're wrestlers and shit. Like, come on, dude. Some uh, Jay says in the chat, uh, definition of a hole. <laughs> uh, you don't like dry paint? I don't like dry paint. The Steel Toe Boring Show, well, not the Reddit thread, the Steel Toe Morning Show is like watching paint dry, and I'm going to watch it later to cure my insomnia because it puts me to fucking bed. Wait, someone, uh, consider double zero says, based in rumors and hearsay, uh, they sound like they're good with their hands and... Uh, and they lie a lot. Handicaps. Uh, yeah, this I think this yeah, is Aaron on an undercover account. So is that a, a pro Aaron tweet or? Uh, oh, they're pro Aaron. Dude. They're pro Aaron. Yeah, but you know what? We're not gonna block your shit because oh, dude, we're not sweet scared. Yeah, keep dropping that shit talk, buddy. Mister West says I hate the fact I'm so lost on steel toe shit. Oh, uh, we'll <laughs> catch you up, bud. Don't worry about it, <laughs> Mister West, dude. What a fucking. All dude. you need to know is that they're con artists. Mr. Lee, as we like Mr. to call Lee, him. Mr. Lee, my fucking boy. <laughs> Trying to see what uh, other people are saying. I told uh, Softcast says, and uh, Softcast is actually uh, one of the, the bigger hitters in the Steel Toe world. But uh, oh, Softcast oh says, I told Aaron he didn't want any smoke. He said they've been doing smoke for 16 years. Yeah, that's whole, that's, Aaron, <laughs> that's Aaron's whole fucking thing is making fun of people. And we find out on and he does it a poor job of it. It's shitty. Shit. It's lukewarm fucking takes, dude. Um, but yeah, dude, it, it, dude, if you can't handle the fucking heat, get out the kitchen. Uh, Steven C says gay wrist. <laughs> yeah, that's Aaron for you, dude. He's always fucking flanging his wrist around. I couldn't even imitate what a gay wrist looks like. I'd be so embarrassed if I had the wrist like fucking Aaron. Holy shit. Uh, let's see. Vlad the Dragon. Steel Toe decided to get in on to get in on it. Chad saw a weaker target than him and went after them. So you're saying Chad made fun of Steel Toe because Chad thought Steel Toe was the weaker target? I'm confused. I think Chad just got pissed off when he saw like these people are making a committed effort to take him down. Om Om says Steel Toe strong. You fuck yeah. <laughs> See, Om Om's a fucking he's a funny one. Steel Toe is boring. That's what I'm saying, dude. Uh Matthew Mackle says, Do you think they will last? Who? Aaron and April? Do I think they will last? Uh, no, I don't. No, well, I mean, clearly this is already a sh very stressful situation for April. But I'll take care of you, baby girl. It's good. Wait, this is pretty interesting. Woody uh, double uh, double zero twenty four says, "I hate the fact that he canned me almost a year." Conned or conned? Oh, conned me. Okay, that's even better. Conned me for uh, almost a year. I only gave him fifty. Does that say five or yeah, five dollars? <laughs> though. No. that's pretty fucking funny. So he conned you out of five bucks. Five beans, dude. You'll never get that back. I used to, you know, I donated to Steel Toe a few times. I'm not going to fucking hide it, dude. Uh, but the one time was he shouted out our show, and I was like, yo, appreciate the shout out. Here you go. But it was all downhill from there. It was all downhill from there, dude. And it was dude, my whole bit. I, I, I want to do a bit. You remember I said this like fucking two months ago. I was like, I want to do this fucking bit, dude. I want to fucking knock out my, his goal in one fucking donation. I want to give him like four hundred dollars, but I want to tell like, him. Shut the fuck up. Well, I wanted to tell him like, "Yo, upgrade your fucking set, dude. Your shit, your set. Go get like a shit. microphone. Go get well or his, a background. The microphone might be the best thing of the set. It's a Shure SM7B. Okay, there, so there's that's like pretty pro, yeah. But everything else is fucking dog shit. Yeah, dude. dude no, I mean it, it's just a joke. They don't even have fucking like they're going on YouTube to play sound bites. Like, come on, you're streaming on YouTube, kid. Uh, Vlad the Dragon says Aaron M holds shitty goatee. Chad had enough. God bless him. Uh, he picked a good target, too. I've been encouraging him. 
Yeah, dude, this has been really like, you know, if anything else has, uh, if anything has come out of this. It's like Jerry Springer. We've seen the resurgence of Chad Zuma right, in dude. 2023. Like he's like turned a new leaf, you know, which is pretty fucking impressive to see. And it's a wonder that he didn't get a little bit more like hampered down on because he went fucking hard. He was like, she's a fucking bitch right. and he's got mad titties and fucking like he was going off, yeah. dude. Yeah. Like bad. Like I was cringing watching that shit. Like, he's just as bad as they are. Ohm Ohm says, I got a free membership. Well, how'd you do that, bro? What you fucking... He got gifted it. Oh, someone Somebody gifted, gifted him. him. Yeah, okay, yeah. solid, solid. Yeah. Well, welcome to the uh, Stub Toe Members Club. I, I have to update all my fucking, like, me- uh, not memes, my fucking, uh, like, the little Gross emblems. Shit, yeah. All those shits, yeah. And so far, it's just, like, Aaron's forehead and April's forehead. But I got to get into that. Thanks says, uh, Win by Two Radio, uh, is there a place to send images or media for the show? Yeah, so if, what you want to do is, uh, in the description of this podcast here, go into the description, and uh, you could send it, probably you could send it to me, that would be the best way, because I'm, you know, fucking producing all this shit, I got all the tabs up here, or you could send it to Alex, but you'll see uh, the links to our Twitter, you'll see the links to our Instagrams, TikTok, uh, just direct message us, uh, and one of us will fucking, you know, play the things uh, that you send for sure. Yeah, we we can only see so much, so we love when you guys send us stuff to talk about. Yeah, you know it's nearly impossible to fucking have catch to come, everything. Yeah. yeah, but you know that's I I rely heavy on the Steel Toe Boring Show, and I I thank God for them, dude. I really yeah, I mean do. that's an awesome thread. All right, so let's keep playing some videos, guys. We're about two hours in here to the show. We appreciate everyone who has uh, tuned in on today's show. Uh, obviously, th this show is growing and at an astronomical rate, and it's uh hold on it says uh, Aaron M holds shitty goatee says the Zumach network starting soon. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucking hilarious? Out of this whole thing, Chad Zumach is Just like blows the fuck up. The He's next, like the next angry Logan Paul. Yeah, or John, I was gonna say Johnny Carson, but <laughs> I'll Even take better, angry, dude. I'll take angry Logan Paul. 103 is more than Opie. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. You know, uh, Girth Brooks, uh, you were here last week, but Opie was actually in this chat last week. Yeah, that was wicked. Yeah, it's pretty wild. So, dude, this week has been nuts, dude. It's been nuts, it's dude. It's been fucking crazy. I know. Let's we're, go, dude. We're turning down fucking interviews and podcasts left and right. Right. Here. All thanks to Steel Toe. All, yeah, thank, <laughs> thanks. Have you guys seen the commercial that me and Al fucking put together oh, here? I hope so, dude. Should we that's play that? fucking gold. Should yes. we play that, Clem? Yeah, Bob Levy wanted uh, John to go on. Somebody said Bob Levy rules. Yeah, Bob Levy. Yeah, we like him. We were considering that one. Yeah, but that's about it. But even at that, I, I think I had to put a pin in Drew the one. line, yeah. And I was like, I, I can't because it's just, where does it stop? Exactly. You know? Because, then, of, you know, they ask you something like, and you got a ball wash, it, it uh, dilutes. That, and that's not the business I'm in, dude. I'm yes, not sir. fucking sucking no one's dick to fucking get ahead here. Exactly. Fuck know? that, bro. We'll, 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 we'll stick to our own like we've been doing the whole time. Yeah. Um. So, should we, so guys, we put out, me and Al put out a commercial uh, when was it? Thursday now at this point? We filmed it on like Tuesday or Wednesday and then we put it out on Thursday. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen this commercial. Um, but if you have, uh, we're going to play it again here on today's show. So this, uh, and then we're going to get into more steel toe clips, of course. So, uh, yeah, we, we filmed this on our own and, uh, the clip is tired of not having fun. Don't worry. Steel toe has you covered. So for everyone who is not having fun in their lives, or maybe depressed and miserable, just know Steel Toe could change your life. Because Alex was... There's I mean, a way out, guys. There's a way out. Al, and you were depressed, miserable, you were sad, you were fucking going through the motions every day, dude. Drinking alcohol. Drinking alcohol, bro. I mean, you were bad, bro. It was getting really scary. Like, I thought I was going to lose you, bro, as a co-host. And We needed something to <clears throat> lift me up. And I think we found it. Fun is the source of... My recovery. This has been a very fun show. Very fun show. Very fun week. So, uh, it's just fun, dude. It's, it's just a fun fucking it's fun. fun it's thing. just fun. So here, let's play this commercial, guys. Uh, this is something that me and Al shot. I'm gonna go over to the. Uh, I'm gonna fucking stream my computer screen here. But uh, this is a commercial me and Al shot. If you haven't checked it out, we're gonna play for you uh, right now. Uh, and then after, if you guys want to fucking check it out on your own, that would be great too. Give it a like. Uh, it seems to be doing good, though. Uh, almost 300 fucking views, 17 comments. Uh, we want to get this out there, though. We want to let people know that there's a way out for your fucking depression and miserability in life. You don't have to fucking be down in the dumps anymore, man. You just fucking, you know, you tune on, tune into the Steel Toe Morning Show, man. Anything is possible. I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear it, dude. Why don't you show me? Let's check it out. Lay it on me, brother. 
All right, so this is... Are you miserable and depressed? Our clip. Are you tired of not having fun while the world passes you by? Well, now you're in luck. Because thanks to the Steel Toe Morning Show, we can all have fun again. Hey, what do you mean we're not having fun? We're not fun enough for you? With countless hours of regurgitated Twitter trends. So Katy Perry, we're going to start with Katy Perry today. Don Lemon could be gone. Oh, yeah. Constant interruptions to beg and plead to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the like button. Let's get up to 200. Everybody take a, a moment. We're also about 20 subs away from 9,200. All right, everybody hit the thumbs up button. Let's get to 300 by 9 o'clock. And then let's get to 400 by the end of the show. What do you think? Everybody hit that old like button. And of course, how could we forget the infamous can rattling segment? Yes. Good job, Steel oh, Show. Shit. Guess what? There you guys go. You're crushing. Yes. It is time it's about now to fire up the music. Oh, well, here we go. So let's see if we can. Johnny Crutches. We are 145 away from doing overtime today. Uh, 55 bucks away from this morning's goal. Streamlabs, PayPal, Super Chats, memberships. Uh, let's knock that out. We got one hour before we rattle the cans and play the music. Alex never understood truly how to have fun until he found the Steel Toe Morning Show. I never knew there would be a light at the end of my depression until I found the Steel Toe Morning Show. <laughs> now Alex watches Steel Toe Morning Show for nine hours a day and understands the true meaning of fun. Steel Toe taught us to have fun, and he could teach you too. Thanks, Steel Toe! Guys, we're having a fun show. I'm taking a page out of Gino's book. Fun. So that's fun. Uh, it's going to be a really fun show today. We hope fun you show. stick around for it. Uh, we hope you share it. We hope you hit the like button. Like button's fun. Uh, we hope you subscribe to the channel. Got a nice little bump yesterday. We'll talk about that. Not Chaka. Hey. Oh, you are hey. a gay. I'm Aww. shameless. Hey, everybody. I'm fucking shameless. Imagine. Oh. All right, now fucking stop <laughs> it. It's in the 80s and I'm losing my shit. <laughs> Stop it now. You want a drink? We got to 9,100. I'm so happy with that number. That is fantastic to have 9,100. Don't put it back in the 80s like we started there today. He is beat red, you guys. I you am to kill him. full of sweat. You have to resubscribe. If you or a loved one is struggling to have fun, you may find the Steel Toe Morning Show twice a day is right for you. Make sure to consult with your doctor today. Do not watch Steel Toe if you're allergic to fun. Side effects may include nonstop smiling and uncontrollable urges to donate. So ridiculous. Guys, make sure you donate to the channel! Whoa, our music popping up. Donate to the fucking channel, guys. Uh, if you want us to do another 20 minutes of show uh, at the end of the show here, you will fucking donate! But that was uh, me and Al's uh, first commercial we shot, dude, and that was a fucking success. Dude. You need to donate now so me and John can buy Hungarian penis pumps <laughs> so we can pleasure our unhappy lives. Pretty much, dude. Thank you, guys. Uh, $24.99. We will be going for an extra 24 minutes, so let's get it going, buddy. Let's Here go. Oh, I just gave myself an aneurysm, dude. <laughs> I better calm down. It's all that Moderna, bro. Before I get some bitch tits. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, my God. All right, Woo let's move on here. We have more Steel Toe to get into on today's show. I, uh, though, need to take a piss, so I might just fucking play the clip here. Al, I need you maybe to fucking comment and... Uh, I got you, buddy. Do the do your best here. I'm I got you, I'm buddy. I'm debating on whether or not if I should leave it up to you here. Dude, you're good. Are you good? I'm good. We're good, buddy. All right, so let me just set this clip up. This clip we're going to watch, uh, this is Aaron and April. Now, this, again, this is why I love the Steel Toe Boring Reddit is because they, you know, they could dig up clips from Aaron and April's fucking past podcasts, and they could show us a light, you know, that we maybe have never, would have never have seen before. You know what I mean? Put the wool over my eyes, buddy. Uh, you got a show to do, someone says. Yeah, and get a bottle. I know, I know, I know. But it's, dude, I've had like five shots, two cups of fucking coffee, some water. It's a, it's, it's hard for me to concentrate. And it is like a five hour podcast. It's so you five can't hour show. do it without not going to the bathroom. It's just like, of course, there's 110, almost 110 people. We got to get here. you a catheter, boy, because yeah. we can, you can't step away from the microphone. Off the rails. Pause, off the rails. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't want to fucking completely, like, go, I, so we usually do a break, like, halfway through our show here. I don't want to do the break right now because we are flowing pretty nice here. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the clip up. 
Uh, Alex is still going to be here. We're going to play the clip, not on the TV. We're going to play it like how we just played that commercial. And uh, But essentially, here, so let me just set this up. So, uh, Al, this clip was from a couple months ago, and essentially, this is Steel Toe. Uh, they do a good job at holding their audience hostage, and they make their audience feel like it's their job and duty as a fucking, you know, loyal audience member, as if fucking subscribing to the channel and liking the video wasn't enough already. They make it feel like, you know, it's their audience's duty to hit their goal. And if they miss the goal the night before, then they'll put it on the next show uh, and, and make it that audience's fucking job to hit that goal, which is pretty pathetic, right? Because it's not, guys, it's not your job. If you guys are Steel Toe fans in the chat, let me just tell you this now. If you don't hear anything else from today's stream, hear this. It is not your job or responsibility to donate to these guys or feel responsible that they're not hitting their goal. You're there as an audience member. That's enough already, right? Like if they have 400, 500 people in their chat, that should be fucking, you know, the extent of it. That should be enough to them, but it's not. They make their audience feel like shit. They fucking manipulate their audience. So let's watch this clip. This uh, clip was from a couple months ago. This is Aaron and uh, April manipulating their audience into donating because I think they missed a goal on one show. So, Al, I'm going to leave the uh, helms they up to you. They missed their goal? Um, I, I think it's either they missed their goal or they hit their goal. Whatever it was, they're manipulating their audience. Let's see it, dude. So, the mic is still going to be on for you. I'm going to mute my mic. I'm going to play the clip. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it, though. That's the only problem. I, I got it. Okay, you got it right there? Yeah. I got it, buddy. Right, I so, can hear it and see it. All right. I'm going to cut to uh, the clip here. I'm going to take a quick piss, and then uh, we're going to continue on with the show. Al is going to be commentating on this, though. All right. <laughs> no goal, no fun. Let's check it out. <laughs> Dirty Major Woody with five bucks. Thank you very much. That's going to start things off. Uh, to the evening show audience tonight, I have to discuss something very bad with you, and then we'll get on to all the good stuff. The evening show audience last night left you with a giant hole. But don't worry, the morning show audience addressed some of it today. Uh, 335. Okay. The goal right now. There's PayPal in the chat. If you want to uh, contribute there, that's what knocks it down the fastest. Otherwise, super chats and memberships are a great way to do it as well. Uh, there you go. Laying it all on the line for you. 335. The evening shows are behind. Tomorrow night's at 385. We finished uh, 170 behind last night. I... So it was a bit of a rough one, and uh, we're hoping tonight goes a little bit. <laughs> Dirty Major Woody with five bucks. Thank you very much. That's going to start things off. Uh, to the evening show audience tonight, I have to discuss something very bad with you, and then we'll get on to all the good stuff. The evening show audience last night left you with a giant hole. But don't worry, the morning show audience addressed some of it today. Uh, 3.35. Okay. The goal right now. There's PayPal in the chat. If you want to uh, contribute there, that's what knocks it down the fastest. Otherwise, Super Chats and memberships are a great way to do it as well. Uh, there you go. Laying it all on the line for you. 3.35. The evening shows are behind. Tomorrow night's at 3.85. We finished uh, 170 behind last night. So it was a bit of a rough one, and uh, we're hoping tonight goes a little bit. <laughs> Dirty Major Woody with five bucks. Thank you very much. That's going to start things off. Could uh, you imagine begging somebody for $135? And then we'll get on to all the good stuff. I, I could Did not imagine that. Last night, he just admitted, to Aaron, that the night before he was $170 short. Addressed some of it today. And April, she gave a little bit of bomb bombastic expression. She said, well... Which I couldn't believe because they're actually acknowledging the fact that they didn't take money from. They're upset yeah. that they didn't take money from their fucking followers. Yeah. Like they're used to accustomed to it. Bro, that blows my fucking mind. I'd love to take a look at like their house that they live in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Me I mean, too. like, how me are too. they? What's your level of like wealth where you could just sit here, do this to people, not feel bad about it and. Here we are. Dude, you know what I mean? Like, get a fucking job, yeah, bro. Yeah, do something, dude. It's, oh, my God. So, I talked about that earlier. It's bare like, minimum. It's bare minimum shit, and it's like it's a disrespect to people who actually have to get up in the morning and fucking go earn a living, right? It's like, dude, I, I mean, I, I don't know, bro. You shouldn't be relying on your audience, and you shouldn't be making your audience fucking feel uh, like they're obligated. Like shit. Yeah, they make you feel like shit, dude. I mean, what kind of show is that? I don't know, bro. And they take your money, make you feel like shit, and then they walk it back when you call them out for it. 
That's fucked up, man. So we had that clip out. Appreciate you holding that down, dude. You I got mean, it, I brother. just could not. You know what I it mean? It played a couple times. I, I thought it was one clip, but it just played. It was. I, I thought it was two, it. but yeah. yeah, it came through twice. It's just yeah. random. Sorry I about that. No, guys. you're good. Dude. Sorry about that. Guys. Confused me, but we're good. All right, we're back here. Though. We made it. We're 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 pushing through here. All right, so Al, remember I told you earlier uh, how April, um, you know, she looked like, you know, we we had that fucking poll up earlier on if you would smash April or not. Yes. And I think yes. It was a resounding 52% yes. 52% yes, right. Our first Wow. Poll. Blows my mind. Now, I, I should have been more specific. I should have said, would you smash current April or past April? Now, if it was past April, maybe. You might, you ha- you might have me sold here. But uh, present April, I wouldn't, dude. I, I just, I couldn't, dude. It just, she just, ugh. it's just like making me sick to even ugh. think about it. But that we, factory so stank. Check this out, guys. Uh, and I know Melton, Patrick Melton from Nobody Likes Onions, he played this on his show. Uh, he was going through her Instagram. And uh, I had this already lined up before he was fucking playing this uh, or showing the uh, audience his Instagram. But essentially, we're going to just look at a couple pictures from April on how she looks now or how she looked then compared to now. Uh, you know, when she got into this quote unquote podcasting business with bitch tits Aaron. So let's check it out, guys. I mean, we could see here. I mean, she wasn't that bad. Like actually pretty doable. Until the hair started. Receding. Yeah. I mean, let's just you Is know Is that Trevor Lawrence? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, right here? Yeah, dude. It kind of looks like his retarded and, cousin. Yeah, it does, dude. If he had Asperger's. No, this is her ex-boyfriend. Uh, and then she she moved over to the real prince. This guy. Look, look at, at this fucking... Is that when he got beat up by the 15-year-old? I think so. <laughs> That's fucking insane. But uh, even here, bro, I mean, look. Look at the, the joy and, and the smile and just, like, her aura about her. And all these pictures, like she looks like she was happy and like a normal person, and a normal person. Yeah, now bro. she's just like withering, away, withering away in front of our eyes. She's messaging me, telling me fucking not to send her Chad Zuma <laughs> clips anymore, <laughs> dude. You're such a big fan, John. Thanks. But look at her, dude. I mean, the glow in this fucking woman's face, bro. I, now I'm starting to get emotional. Fuck, oh, dude, bro. don't cry, bro. You all right, oh my man? My God, dude. I'll it's be gonna be all right, right. dude. I'll be- I'll be okay. It's going to be okay, Al. She's going to get through it. Why do we do this to people? Hey, dude, when she gets divorced, will that put a smile on your face, bro? Yeah, dude, because you know <laughs> what I'm all about. I'm about that sticky icky. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That stank toe. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, my God. No wonder the boots are fucking background. They got foot fetishes. I mean, a happy fucking go lucky well, chick. You're good in that dress, girl. Damn. From the Midwest. You know what I mean? Like, just... A normal person. It just goes to show you what Aaron M. Holt is capable of. That's what I'm trying to highlight here. From then to now? From then to now. Like, she, he's literally sucked the life out of her. You take, give an inch, take a mile, Aaron. That's what he does, though. No surprises here. This is on Facebook? What, where? This was on Instagram. This oh. is, well, this is on oh, Reddit. Oh, this is the Reddit? Yeah, this is the Reddit. Jesus. Steel Toe Boring Show. Shout out again, man. They're fucking awesome. Spot on. I mean, look, so th- this is just a quick uh, compare and contrast right here, but look at the picture that we're comparing this to. I mean, you could just see it. Miserable. Miserable. Doesn't look very, like very much fun to me. Not fun. Is this a fun, a fun show? show? It's been a very fun show. Very fun show. Very fun week. Well, if you're not having fun, you need to give us your money. Give us your fucking money. And we only need like 40 more bucks, guys, so we hit our goal, and then we're going to podcast for like nine hours. Let's yeah. hit it. Oh, guys. Fuck, man. Um, all right, so we have some other clips from Aaron and Corey. So I, I wanted to dive into a little bit about Corey. Uh Corey Feldman? Is Who? That his name? Corey Feldman? From the Goonies? Corey Richards? Who? What's this guy's last name? What do you guys know about this Corey guy? Uh, Corey Fiduciowitz? What do you guys know about... Uh, wait, hold on. Let me catch up with the chat first. But what do you guys know about Corey here? Uh, these guys... Th- wait. These guys don't have kids. Or if they do, they went to go get some ice cream. Okay, I don't know what that's referring to. Uh, so she was in high school just a few years ago. Well, she is only 28 years old. So yeah, about 10 years ago, she was in high school. 
Uh, let's see. Jay says Saint Larue, Saint Larue, <laughs> Ashley Larue. Pick up a book today. Uh, Love until forever. Out in everywhere you can fucking find a book. No wonder why Aaron's parents disowned them. Yes, uh, Aaron. We we uncovered that last week. Aaron actually doesn't speak to his parents, man. Pretty wild shit. Yeah, he's got daddy issues. That's why. Aged like a motherfucker. <laughs> April is twenty eight. Uh, he, yeah, so uh, people are fucking going nuts over this April thing, dude. But we're going to watch a clip. So, uh, guys, I want to know. All right, here we go. Uh, so, J-Dub Production says, Corey has grabby hands. Well, that's what we're going to find out. There's some allegations right now from Sir Corey M. Comedy. And we're going to try to uncover the truth when it comes to Sir Corey. I'm just trying to see if anyone else. Are you saying he's a Crystalia? Well, you said that last week. I believe it now. The molester stash gave it away, right? Well, I, and you, you had don't no just idea. rock a stash like that, right, dude. Right. Yeah. You had no idea about any of these allegations. Uh, I never even heard of this guy, and I just looked at him and thought, he looks like a molester. Uh, Mr. West said, uh, don't judge me. He said, just a few, a decade, don't judge me. We're not judging here, uh, Mr. West, Mr. Lee West. We ain't judging. You are a buddy. So let's try to find... I can't really read. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's that's all right. You gotta get okay. that hooked on phonics, my boy. Are people looking into the prize show? Yeah, we're gonna be looking into the prize show uh, just here in a second. We're gonna be going over YouTube, uh, YouTube's terms of service. But for now, we're gonna be looking into Corey Adam comedy and seeing what this guy's all about. Because apparently, there's allegations. So let's check it out. Let's see what uh, Corey Adam comedy is all about. Let's let's check it out. I have a feeling right wow. now it's not going to be funny. Really quick, though, guys. Hold on. This is... I just refreshed my <laughs> my Reddit feed here. This is from the Steel Toe Boring Reddit from about an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Coneheads, dude. Oh, my God. April doesn't look any different. That's crazy. Ugh. It was actually making me uncomfortable, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's like... What you're like tripping fuck, on mushrooms, dude? right? Dude, yeah. Ugh. Oh, my... My fucking face. All right, but let's check out this Corey Adam comedy. Sorry, this kind of distracted me here. Yeah, that distracted the shit out of me. All right, so this is Corey Adam and Aaron. So this is just a setup, that, and then we're going to go into his allegations. Uh, and this is uh, from Diligent Historian over on YouTube. It says, all-time great moment in e-begging history. Aaron M. Holt of the Steel Toe Morning Show. So let's see what this is all about. This is him and Corey trying to hit their goal. What else is new? Uh, let's check it out. You do. And for some reason... I do. Uh, 180 away from the goal. Super crazy says, what charity is it for? Uh, Steel Toe Media Incorporated. So I can pay the four people who work for us, uh, pay corporate taxes, which are so much fun, and uh, take a salary for myself. And oh, and pay for the prizes we're going to do on the prize night tonight and everything else. So yes, the uh, contributions, the donations, that is how this show supports itself. Super crazy. Thank you very much, buddy. Uh, the goal is basically the break-even point. Uh, what we do is we take the uh, ad revenue money and stuff like that, and that's the profit. Uh, we just try to make what it takes to run this show uh, from the audience. So if you guys feel like... That's pretty interesting because I feel like just this week even, uh, he's changed his tune since then because he's, he said something to the effect of, uh, you know, we don't make anything off the ad money or anything like that. Oh, he flipped it? He flipped it. And because I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys could find this clip of him saying this, but he says, we don't make any money off the ad money. We rely on the donations, and that's what fucking fuels the show. And we just hear him now. I mean, this was maybe a couple months ago, kind of saying like, okay, uh, the donations are kind of just like pretty much the overhead that we're keeping it because the ad money pays for everything. What, 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 here, let me see. Let me play this back. What did he exactly say? Sounds like some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, but you do. I, for some reason, I do. Uh, right, the raffle is all profit. Goal. Super Crazy says, what charity is it for? Uh, Steel Toe Media Incorporated, so I can pay the four people who work for us, uh, pay corporate taxes, which are so much fun, and uh, take a salary for myself. And Oh, and pay for the prizes we're going to do on the prize night tonight. And everything else. So, yes. The, Sounds like he's uh, just making it up as he's talking. Oh, that is yeah. how this show supports itself. Super crazy. Thank you very well, much, buddy. Uh, the goal is basically... The you don't need any money to support a show that you don't have anything on. Right. You know what I mean? So that's just blatant lies. The break-even point. Yeah, it's uh, like, get a fucking job. Yeah, I mean, like, dude, uh, so you're just going to lie, continue to lie to your audience. And dude, do it. I think the audience is starting to get upset because the, uh, they're giving the money and then they're not putting it back into the show. There's no, yeah, exactly, Clem. You're absolutely right on that, uh, dude. It's like, 
It'd be one thing if if he took. But you the don't money. have to pay to stream on YouTube, bro. No, this is all free. The fuck? The, the money is a bonus. That's it's great. Insane, dude. If you can't fucking make a living off of YouTube, then get a job. And this guy's your fucking co-host. I mean, how much could he be making? Five bucks? No, we actually know. This is a fact. Corey Adam Comedy. Guess how much he makes per stream? He does four and a half hours once a week. Guess how much he makes for four and a half hours worth of streaming? A hundred bucks less. Fifty bucks. Fifty fucking. Oh my god. god. You might as well not take anything. Yeah, I, I mean, dude, I would the fuck if you offered me fucking fifty dollars to do a stream. I'd be like, bro, that's just fucking. Just keep it. That's disrespectful. Yeah, just fucking keep it, dude. I'd be like, yo, put it back into your show. Get right. a new background. Yeah, or or something, dude. Get a fucking a theme song. Get something. Something. A wardrobe change. Anything. anything. Yeah, bro. Something. <laughs> fuck. The audience doesn't, you know, expect much, dude. All we want is a nice-looking fucking set that when we're watching for four and a half hours, uh, you know, it's something uh, nice to look at. And that's really it, dude. I mean, you could talk about all the bullshit you want. Just, I mean, give me just fucking just anything else than this. I mean, look, their camera. Look, look at this shit, dude. I mean, this is before they change it up. But, I mean, imagine they were taking goals and begging for donations at this point. Their cameras are two different sizes. That dude here. looks like he's playing World of Warcraft. He does, yeah, he looks like he's not even paying attention yeah, to anything that's going on. I just wanted to play the beginning of this, and we're going to kind of let this rock because we're trying to introduce Corey Adam Comedy. We want to take a, a closer look into him because, like I said in the beginning, dude, we have to re-strategize, and we have to go after Corey Adam and Johnny Crutches and April, and we separate them from Aaron, and then we attack Aaron, right? Not physically, not harmfully but on psychologically, psychologically. Sure. You, you know what i mean right sure. we're YouTube, attacking the ones he loves if you're listening we're not doing any harm to anybody we're just trying to make this guy quit the internet <laughs> fuck i think we're close all right let's keep watching uh maybe a couple more minutes of this uh what are people saying here gossiping just like aaron did with chad and opie for months keep coping bro jay says uh i don't know if that's referring i guess that's referring to us jay but we're not gossiping. We're just calling out fucking nonsense and lies that Aaron is fucking going through. So, I mean, if that's your cope to Aaron, well, you know, then so be it, I guess. April Zumach, go hard at April. That's his. Oh, April Zumach. I'm like, wait, is that April? That's April? her, dude. Oh no, nah, but that's no. Her, it's April M. Holt. Go Don't get it twisted. You're the fan of her, her show. Go hard at April. That's his weak spot. Exactly, guys. We have to start thinking and re-strategizing and fucking up, uh, coming up with a better plan of attack. Smarter, not harder. Uh, Johnny's a better second mic, but Corey needs to go. Dude, Johnny, I'm, Johnny's terrible, man. I'm weak a, sauce. They all are fucking trash. Chad was uh, severely depressed and... Uh, and in a bad place when Aaron was going... Yeah, exactly. Chad or Chad was in a fucked up uh, spot when Aaron was going after him. That's why Chad didn't respond up until like three weeks ago. Uh, uh, Corey stealing Starvos? What's that say? St uh, Stavros. Whole sleaze. Yeah, well, that's pretty much the conclusion that we've come up to. Uh, shout out to the uh, for the 10 bucks for, uh, from Sir John DiCaprio in the chat. My man! Shout out to Poppy the Cap in the chat. Send the 10. Guys, now we can fucking do it. We can do overtime today, guys. Oh, Fuck yeah. Oh, we're only 40 bucks away from our goal. We can do overtime. Oh, uh, Jay says, no, I was defending you guys against Steel Toe. Okay, all right. That makes sense. Sorry. Sometimes, uh, you know, texts get misconstrued here. Uh, Mr. West says, that's my new phrase. I'm just having fun. Y'all just letting it all hang out in the chat today. Uh, we love it, dude. I do. Well, we're trying to fucking, you know, we're trying to open people's eyes and make people better and expect better from your fucking podcast host. For sure. You got to hold them accountable. All right, let's keep watching. Revenue money and stuff like that. And that's the profit. Uh, we just try to make what it takes to run this show uh, from the audience. So if you guys feel like chipping in, please do. Forgotten Lol Cow says, ban super crazy, please. Okay, I'm interested to hear why. I'm interested to hear why. I, I like this when we get new listeners and they have beefs with other new listeners that come in at the same time. You shouldn't be banning anyone from your chat, That's man. That's crazy, bro. Like, That's censorship, too. Why are you banning someone? Because they're saying something you don't like? This guy's no different than fucking Joe Biden. Grow a fucking sack. Uh, I, I want, I'm really interested now. You've got me sucked in. To this he just super keeps crazy. He's typing drama. romance cat over and over again. Who does? That super crazy guy. 
Super crazy. Keep All right, so our romance. focus is on Corey. Yeah, it's written in like Garth Brooks says communist. Right. Super crazy. Exactly. I haven't noticed it because we were talking about fun shit. Um, fun shit. Are you going to promise that you'll stop writing romance cat for whatever fucking reason? That's yeah, so you've forgotten the low cow romance cat. Okay. Well, I tell you what. For the fans crazy. of Steel Toe. I, I looked at him comment. Like, and the show hasn't upgraded since then. I mean, we, it's the, kind of the same thing. It's even kind of gotten worse, I would say. But imagine tuning into a show like this and then giving them your hard-earned fucking dollar, bro. Like, <laughs> it makes me laugh just thinking about it. Not only that, imagine defending Steel Toe. Oh, the, the ignorance that you have to just exude that level of incompetence to stick up for these fools yeah. is beyond me, bro. Yeah, it's like I kind of want to distance myself from, from anyone. You. Like, dude, uh, six feet apart, COVID-19 yes. stipulations. I don't want to even fucking speak to you. Well, in a way, it's like, thank you for exposing, you know, yourself. So now yeah. I know if I ever see who to, you. Yeah, who I support and who I don't. Exactly. I'm I'm definitely against you because I sure as hell ain't with you. Exactly. Now let's watch. We're, gonna, we're watching Corey Adam comedy because apparently he has allegations. And we're trying to get to the bottom of whether or not the allegations are true, if they're false, if they're fucking blown out of proportion. They couldn't even match up the fucking backdrops. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> look at them, look bro. Look at the cameras, yeah. dude. They're two different fucking sizes. Yeah, bro. They couldn't eat. The boxes aren't even lined up. Look at that. Fucking awful. Man. And on top of that, they're just, it's more bare. Who's that? Is that the Mortal Kombat guy? Where? In the bot on the left, the blue guy? The sub zero? Yeah, like or the guy that makes the game, like when you land the uppercut and he goes, Whoopsie. That guy? Yeah. Like that and he like pops out of the corner. What's his name? Ed Boone? I think. <laughs> Boone. Yeah, like how the fuck that's did that a, get there? That's a deep cut, dude. Right? That's a deep cut. Holy shit. Aaron's just playing 4D chess with us, dude. I'm convinced now. <laughs> and Molester Molester Beard, look at him, dude. Yeah, well, this is what we're trying to do. Again, he just makes me uncomfortable. We're trying to separate and then attack. And, right. Separate. Engage. Attack. Let's do it. Because at, at this present time, as it sits right now, they're all together, and they're banning up. They started their fucking army, and they think everyone that's making fun of them, and, and like even including us, dude, they think that we're psychotic. I guess. So we have to change that. And we're going to change that. Oh, sure. It's not. We're it. just calling. We're real, not psychotic. Someone hit up Corey Adam Comedy for us and tell him we'll pay him $100 to do a show. Just what? shut your life down. You know what I mean? Just, yeah, shut up shop with fucking Aaron. We'll pay you double. Come to the uh, In the Pain podcast every Saturday. Uh, someone with Omo says, believe Steel Toe. Hashtag believe Steel Toe. Yeah, well. Not believing it anytime soon. Let's keep watching. They did. They, they did say stuff about us, consider. They did, yeah. Yeah, he said, I didn't know they said anything about you guys. What episode did that happen on? This was, uh, I think, the day before or the day after the prize show. It was one of the two episodes. We played the clip earlier, so just if you want to rewind the show, it, we pl we go over what Aaron was saying about us, um, and we kind of addressed that at hand. I mean, it was it was kind of weak sauce, but Aaron, Aaron again, gaslights his whole audience into thinking that we need him in order to do fucking what we do. And I said it, dude. You know, we've been doing this way before Aaron, and we'll do it way after Aaron. Right, 147 episodes, not about Steel Toe. 70. 170. Damn. Yep. All right, let's keep watching. We're trying to find out who the fuck this Corey Adam guy is. Like, he, he actually, like, when I noticed it, like, the second or third time, I was like, Time to pay less attention to chat and time to go more into the Ellis shit. Yeah. Uh, Super Crazy says, what did I do? Apparently, you were just writing Romance Cat a bunch, and now our listeners are writing Romance Cat. So, I, yeah, I'm. you know what? I'm glad I was out of the chat for a while. I'll put it yeah, that right? way. Yeah, right? Feels good. All right. Can we get a little late rally going here? Let's see. Let's, uh, 9.53, so we got seven minutes <laughs> left in the show. <laughs> What are you I'm laughing at? up Kurt Schilling. Yeah. It says uh, Kurt Media Outlet. Here you go. All right, that's not us. That's it that. is Hype Media Outlet Blaze TV. That's not All us. All right, you want to fire up the MIDI and rattle the cans and see if we can uh, chop down that oh, goal a little bit today? Hell yeah, chop it down. We're doing right, a guys, fun show get here. To chopping. Here you go. It is Hype Train time, harkening back to the days of Twitch where we started our streaming career. Imagine this, dude. You tune into a Let's show and this is what you get. Let's see if anyone's feeling generous. We stop the show to rattle the cans and do a little beggary. There oh! Go. The can! Wow. We're can buddies. I think your can looks a little nicer. Well, it's, it's the official Steel Toe can. I love it, dude. 
Wow. He started his own hype train. Yeah. Who starts their own fucking hype train, dude? It's like a slow clap. That would be like the Phillies or like any sports team, like starting their own wave. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> How pathetic. Oh my God, dude. I'm cringing over here. I never seen a, I never seen a streamer beg like this in my life. Dude, it's fucking pathetic. It's every five minutes. All right, we got like seven minutes left, guys, and we didn't meet the goal. Yeah, like, dude, no one wants to fucking donate to you. Sorry. Your show sucks. Well, they have a big dono in their chat, dude. It's called, uh, his name's David Chandler. That's another person. That sounds like a fake person. Well, dude, this guy donates like $1,000 a week to steal time. Wow. So w what I'm saying is we have to find out who he is, go after him, and separate him from Steel Toe. Because without David Chandler, they would not be making more, you know, their goals every week. But all right, So let's just keep watching this. We'll watch this for another minute. Then we're going to get into the allegations that Corey Adam Comedy has on him. So let's check this out. $180 away from the goal. Uh... <laughs> Wait, real quick. Imagine actually like being serious, coming on air and a asking for money and like with a real can. Like we do it as a bit to make fun no, of no, them. They're 100 percent for, for real, real, for real, for real. This is gross. And it's for like 30 bucks, too. Like, could you imagine begging someone for fucking 50 bucks? This is no. And I said this last week. This is no different than fucking the homeless person you see in your fucking, you know, big town city. Yeah, like, like at a gas station or at something. At a gas station yeah, in Philadelphia, shit. New York, Chicago. Like anytime you see anybody begging on the corner, like a bum. See, the thing is, I don't have a problem with you asking for money Neither do like, I. while you're entertaining me. And it's like part of the show. But this is like. But not they're, every seven they're minutes. Just, they're not every seven minutes. They're begging for it. They're not offering any source of entertainment or any value. The money's not going back into the set. I just feel like I'm being stolen from. You're and, being scammed. And that's what I don't like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they're not entertaining. So it's like, well, I, I'm going to go donate to a podcast that I feel or, valued from. You or, know what I mean? Here, here's a crazy or concept. get something from. Here's a crazy concept. Concept. Hold on to your fucking money, oh, dude. Oh, well, there you go. Reinvest it into That's yourself. Like the grandmaster hey, shit. Hey, I bet you never hear your podcast host tell you to fucking hold on to your money and reinvest into yourself, Ex no, right? No, not at all, dude. Like, they're always so quick to fucking ask you for a dime. It's like, dude, Oh, uh, yeah. Hold on to that shit, guys. Yeah, just give us your money. If you don't have it, don't donate. I promise you can trust us if you just donate your money. Like, fuck. Let's keep watching uh, this shit, though. He's going to beg, and he's proud. He's a proud, and he, he he tries to own the title. Oh, we're just a filthy e-beggar show. Like, just because you're saying it and you're acknowledging what you're doing doesn't make it right. No, dude. What? It's not right. You're taking advantage of your audience, and they're the people that, it, like, you're supposed to support them and love them. Exactly. Not the other way around, bro. It's fucked up. Let's keep watching. $80 away from the goal. Uh, let's romance cat our way into this 180 there's the paypal link in the chat click it chip in a few bucks if you feel like becoming a vip it's 250 bucks in a week you get all three of our t-shirts hoodie you get entered in a 100 you get Corey's molester month. photos uh, you get every comp that to your account free, and you absolutely get free every one of our <laughs> just shows. drop that 250 so we guys got about five minutes left in today's show what the fuck and we are 180 away from that goal Jesus, Suave Banana. I know what that word means, but it is jarring to see it every time. Woo! There's nothing wrong with it, technically speaking. Uh, thank you, Sandy Squatch, for renewing your membership. That's going to knock us down by five bucks. Every little bit helps. Thank you. And remember, when we get within 50, we do the 30 minutes of overtime on credit. That's the other thing. Oh. If we meet our goal, oh. we give you 30 extra minutes. Oh, how nice. Of show. Thank God. Uh, Dave Dowling says, viewer-driven content by donations is far, far better than poisonous force-fed corporate propaganda for useless swill. Oh, very cool. Thank Wait, you. what did that guy just say? Force fed corporate. Dowling Wait. says, viewer-driven content by donations is far, far better than poisonous force-fed corporate propaganda for useless swill. Oh, very cool. Thank you. Uh, aerodynamics. So he's saying that the person who wrote into the chat is saying that uh, he'd rather donate e -bag, to yeah. e -bag, it will give money to e beggars than actually give money to like big corporations. Sure. It's like, you know, at least big corporations for all the lying that they do, at least they put on a fucking good show. Yeah. Like, at least it has a nice production value, oh, you know? Oh, for sure. Like, I hate CNN and everything it represents and like a, a lot of these news companies, Fox News and all these places, right? But at least they have fucking. 
the nice cameras and the sets and the fucking right, studios. Right, they do it right because they're professional. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, bro. And if, if you're going to donate to an e-beggar, pick one that gives you some kind of fucking substance at the very least. Right. I mean, this is nothing. Well, according to Aaron, dude, uh, he was talking to us directly when he said, stick around, win by two radio. We might learn something. We might learn something. Okay. So I don't know. I'm holding out hope for that. Let's keep watching. Grotem says, I got banned off Twitch when I was watching a car chase and I wrote... Let's all guess what color he is. Well, I'm almost inclined to call one of their sponsors, dude, and let them know what kind of a piece of shit that he actually is. That both of them are actually are. Well, if you sponsored the show, I'm sure you watched it before, right? No, see, I don't think they do. No? See, I think what, uh, you know, a lot of these sponsors do, because we see it time and time again with a lot of the bigger podcasts anyway, like Tom Segura's and fucking the Joe Rogan's, like... These sponsors are quick to dish out sponsorships, but they don't actually tune in to actually what is going on in the so show. They don't know the debauchery that they're supporting. Exactly. All they simply see, like, you know, because there's probably some sort of agreement, like you have to have a certain amount of viewership and, and uh, people watching the show and your analytics have to be like pretty fucking solid to, to even acquire a sponsorship. But that's the extent of it. They're not going to waste their time and watch the fucking what's... Especially, like, if you're doing nine shows a week. Like, they don't have time. How much could you possibly talk about in nine hours? Dude, whatever's trending on Twitter. Yeah, I, it's so, such garbage, though, because most of that's bullshit. But I'm anyway. actually... Uh, wait, someone says, went by two radio. Onions called Stoney's LOL. I did see that. I did see... Uh, yeah, But he kind of, like, he just asked them one question. I want to go all the way. I want to, like, expose Aaron... Uh, to to Stonies or all care towing, and th- this is a, this is something I wanted to do last week, but we we never got the time to. So we actually might call him here uh, in just a second. Let this clip play out. We're going to show you the allegations that Corey Adam Comedy has against him. We're going to decide here live on the air if Corey Adam is uh, a guilty man or if he's an innocent man. We're going to decide that here on air. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about this. I already have my own uh, you know judgments on the guy. I think he's a huge piece of shit, and all the allegations wouldn't surprise me, but I want to hear from the audience. But then I think we're going to call either Stonies or All Care Towing or their fucking whoever they buy their guns off of. Um, Midland Armory. M- Midland Armory, I believe it's called. But let's check it out. Call All Care that's, Towing or Midland. All right, too bad, I'll call buddy. All Care. Uh, right now, we got a few minutes left in this. Uh, Actually, we got a few minutes left in the music. I'll call Midland. Let me get Corey turned up. Let me get this volume settled. I'm going to call Midland Armory here in just a second, and I'm going to tell them, like, what they're doing is actually breaking YouTube's terms of service. And All right. We got Let's that. Go, Thank you. dude. Thank you. Uh, Kmart Ready for giving us the suggestion. Pretty stoked. There we go. We've got the PayPal link in the chat. We're 175 away. Thank you, Sandy, for starting a rally here during this hype train. Uh, we are pretty dry uh, other than that. 175 away from the goal. That's going to put a little bit of pressure on Thursday and Friday. No, why? But let's see. Uh, Nate says Aaron. So that's just more priming to his audience. Oh, it's gonna more put pressure. To our Thursday and Friday audience, that's going to roll over to you guys. So you guys got to pick up the slack. You ever notice no one begs but Aaron either? None of the other co-hosts. Nobody. Not April, not Corey, not Big Big Gay John, none of them. Dude, Big Gay John. I just made that I know, up. I know. I know. <laughs> no hard feelings, Johnny boy. Dude, yeah, you're absolutely right. And I think they actually get repulsed when Aaron does this. We have a clip from Johnny, and like the whole time Aaron is begging, he's like kind of sickened by the whole thing. So that's what I'm saying, guys. And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying this the whole stream. Like that's really the the message of the whole stream. Beat them down. Beat them down. Beat beat down their contemporaries. Aaron's contemporaries. Separate them from Aaron, and then attack. I love it. That's their new strategy. You are tactical, my friend. I'm just like the green guy. I'm like fucking William Defoe in I'll Spider-Man. I'll take your heart and one that's close to see you, Harry. Peter. Peter. <laughs> there Peter. It is. Thank you. All right, let's You're keep watching this, uh, and then we're going to jump into the I'm allegations. Not Let me stop Quality pausing. Your viewers must be raised. Well, Aaron gets 15000 a month in donations, radio, but he still cuts Johnny. Allowed me to bring the people but he still I with with me cut Johnny's and pay. Do this yeah. as a business and, and Johnny has ALS, dude. Johnny's so out here struggling. I got to like him for that. And uh, <laughs> Nate, Paul's they, deep. Nate, no, no, no. Yeah, Paul's deep. All Steve says this Nate, is too. I someone like says it's too far. What they're, we're doing. Here's the thing, Nate. They're shit heels, but they're. We're not attacking anyone's living, guys. First of all, you're, you're putting your information out there. 
attacking people's living because they're scamming people for donations. We're not trying to cancel anybody. This is not nothing like we're, we're like just exposing the truth. We're not this making anything up. up. Yeah, you know what I mean. So uh, we're not trying to cancel anyone's living. We're just trying to let them know. Like, do you guys actually watch the show? Uh, does Midland Armory actually tune into a Steel Toe episode? Do they actually know who's involved? Do, you know what? What their where their money is going to? Essentially, we're not trying to fucking cancel anyone's living. That's not the extent of this, guys. And as far as uh, Corey and Johnny and April go, like that's you know, there's there's got to be a new plan of attack. Absolutely. So yeah, we're not really trying to cancel. You're uh, contacting their sponsors and ratting. We're not. We haven't done any of that yet. So you're kind of just speculating on what you think we're gonna do, and just kind of you know. I mean, in all fairness, the sponsors should have an idea of who they're investing in. Right. What kind of person anyway? Right. So it's like. It's like if they didn't do their own research, they deserve to know, you could argue. Hey, I'm not the one begging on the internet. I'm not the one running scams exactly. here. Exactly. You know what I mean? So you could, could you could flip it both ways. He says yet. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Anton, you'll just have to wait and see. And we appreciate the feedback. And just wait and see. You know, wait to see what we do. And then you can make your judgments all you want. But until that point, uh, you know, we'll just kind of see what we'll happens. We'll cross that bridge we'll cross, when we get exactly. there, Thank friend. You. Thank you. All right, uh, let's just watch like another minute of this, and then let's watch what Corey Adam is up to. Objectively pretty funny. Ooh, yeah. trucker 18-wheeler with 50. Trucker 18-wheeler, we take 35 of that, so no problem. By the way, we take 70% of uh, Super Chats, over 90%. We count 100% of the PayPals. 140 away from our goal, thanks to trucker 18-wheeler. That gave He's a us pretty a pretty excited little dude too. That's yeah. cool. Let's he says, I appreciate your appreciate the, the feedback. That gave us a little shot in the arm here. Let's see. We if appreciate you, the friend. Work. Remember, if we hit the goal, that's funny. That's funny. We do an extra thirty minutes, so this will be an ugly little uh, three four minute session of begging, and then after that, maybe the show continues. Otherwise, we wrap up in two. All right, so I really can't take any more of this, but we get the idea that uh, you know Corey Adam is associating himself with Aaron, and he's really no different than Aaron. Like, he's really no better. He's associating himself with the likes of Aaron and Steel Toe Morning Show. So, therefore, it's like, it's almost like if you get arrested with somebody, even though you had nothing to do with the crime, but you get arrested with them just because you're with them, it's guilt by association. So, on that alone, I would say Corey Adams is a pretty bad guy, right? But then these allegations are now resurfacing on the internet. So let's see what these allegations are all about, Al. What do you say? Yeah, let's dig in. Because I are you already knew before I knew about and you knew before I heard about any allegations that I was suspect of this motherfucker. Yeah, you well, you, dude, you said it last week and you had no idea. You're exactly. Like, this fucking molester. It's the first time I ever seen him. So And to be fair, bruh, uh you don't just get allegations like this, and then now this is reflective of Aaron's character. So not only is he robbing people fucking blind, yes. probably get him arrested, but now he's endorsing molesters. Exactly. Yeah. How much fucking worse does it get? And we still got motherfuckers in this chat. Oh, what are you guys you're doing's wrong? I know. Fuck it's, you. But you no, no, steal no, no, from, no, no, no. It's okay. It's a, I know. I know. Get fired upset. up, dude. Yeah. I get you upset, and I understand that, but. We're not going to ever make an impact if we, if we turn on the people who support them. We look. The, the, yeah, y'all are welcome here. People support them, and people support their it just podcast. Blows my mind. No, I know it. Blow, it blows everyone's mind, right? And and most people are aware of this now, right? So our job is to keep spreading that awareness and not turn anybody away from you know the ultimate end goal, which is just you know exposing everything uh, of Aaron M. Holt's uh, you know existence. And everything he's ever said. Uh, but, you know, uh, we we welcome everyone who, you know, might like Steel Toe and watches Steel Toe on a daily basis. We welcome everybody. And we and we welcome the, you know, uh, your challenging fucking, you know, arguments. Your, you know, op, you know uh, alternate uh, alternate arguments that you guys may have. That's all fine and welcome. But, uh, you know, our job here, like I said, is just to simply show you the other side, show you why everyone is turned. Like, it's not just us saying this, right? So we're not fucking out of pocket for saying any of this shit, dude. It's multiple people now. And it's not made up shit that people are just, like, lying about. You understand no, what I'm saying? this is real life. This is real fucking shit. Like, the, he's dr drug April through the mud, right? Now she's fucking miserable and depressed and messaging me about Chad Zumach, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's got fucking Corey Adam comedy with allegations out the wazoo. 
uh, you know, he does this like lottery scam fucking with his prize night that he does. Begging for money. Begging for money. Uh, you know, doesn't put on a show, doesn't reinvest any money back into his set. I mean, the list Where goes on. Where do you and draw on. the fucking line? When is enough enough? You know what I mean? It, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of fucking unreal. It's, that, it's unbelievable. But let's, uh, let's check out these allegations, Al. And uh, we're going to let the chat decide for themselves. We don't want to give anyone any predetermined, even though I feel like I did a bad job of not giving anyone <laughs> predetermined, uh, you know, thoughts on what they should think or not. But all right. So this is an open letter regarding Corey Adam comedy. And this is from, what is this from? Fairplayminnesota.wordpress.com. Fairplay Minnesota. Some people don't know about these allegations, bro, so we're breaking some news here. Really? This is breaking news? Yeah. Sandy said, wait, what? What allegations are you talking wait, about? Is that the Sandy from who just donated? Remember how he said, Sandy with the 50 bucks? Thank you. Oh, Is fuck, that the same maybe. Sandy? I don't know. That would Sandy be Sasquatch. I, I, I don't know if he didn't say Sasquatch or not. I just said Sandy. But yes, this is uh, an open... Sandy Squatch, excuse me. <laughs> Sandy Sasquatch, he <laughs> My says. bad, dude. <laughs> Jesus. All right, uh, this is an open letter regarding Corey Adam Cobney. This is July 3rd, 2020. Uh, and, and here, I'll, I'll just read this. It says, an open letter to stand-up uh, community regarding Corey Adam. Excuse me. Uh, Fair Play Minnesota has received multiple reports about a stand-up comedian named Corey Adam. Frequently performs and hosts shows in the Twin Cities and St. Cloud area. The allegations in these reports point to a history of verbal and physical harassment. Okay, so he's verbally harassing people and physically harassing people. Uh, sexual assault, online harassment, and abuse of power and manipulation, which that seems to be spot on wow, right there. that's a mother load. At least the last part, right? Yeah, sure, sure. I, uh, sexual assault? Well, I don't know about any of this. But we're going to keep reading and see if we can't come up to uh, come up with a conclusion. But it, the last part, for sure, abuse of power and man manipulation. Essentially, he has radio, he's on the radio because he was Aaron's partner when Aaron was on the radio. So essentially, he's on the radio, he has a little bit of power, and he throws his weight around. Essentially, is what that sa is saying, right? He looks like a fucking creeper. Uh, these reports allege, so they're alleged reports, behaviors that take place over many years and describe behaviors that are ongoing and persuasive. Yes, uh, to our knowledge, these cases have not been brought to a formal court, however. Adam, which is Corey, himself has uh, substan uh, substantiated some of these claims on a personal Facebook page, as well as as well as on the Steel Toe radio show on June 30th, 2020, through Radio 101. While Adam has admitted to some of his problematic behavior, there are many more instances uh, he has not acknowledged. He has not taken any steps to remedy his behavior or remove himself from the community in which he has uh, endangered so many women. And they spelled women wrong, but that's okay. Uh... So he's in okay. So he hasn't taken any steps or removed himself from the community in which he endangered women. So he was, he, even though that there was these allegations of him endangering women, he would continue to put himself in the situations that led him down. You gotta path. have some fucking balls with allegations like that to present yourself online. Yep. Like people aren't gonna find out. So you either gotta have some balls or just be a completely ignorant psycho. Either one, we don't like. No, no, dude. And uh, he just looks like a fucking creeper. Yeah, you were, you've been saying this. Fits though. right in the Steel Toe Morning Show, though, of course. On behalf of uh, the women who reported Corey Adam, we have several asks. So these were demands from the women that were affected by Corey Adam. These were the asks they were asking. Dude, this is like to the community. Real. Yeah, this is real life, bro. Wow. This ain't fucking fake wrestling, Shh. pro wrestling shit, as Aaron likes to call it. This Shh. is real. People might have been hurt in this situation. We don't know. We're, Sounds like it. We're leaving it up to the That's chat. Horrible shit, man. But uh, it says Acme Comedy Club uh, no longer employ uh, Adam. Nor okay, so these are the asks from the uh, the women that were affected by Corey. So they're asking that the Acme Comedy Club is no they will no longer employ Corey nor allow him to perform there. Radio 101 removes his show from their lineup. All other stand-up venues remove him from booking now and in the future. 
and all comedy clubs in Minnesota develop a comprehensive sexual harassment policy with explicit, transparent protocols when reports are made. Uh, and then it goes on to say, we acknowledge that a boycott of Acme Comedy Company would negatively uh, impact many BIPOC performers uh, that perform there. That perform there. Instead, we ask that they remove Corey Adam immediately and institute policies to ensure the safety of their performers and audience members. And then this is the action step that it's uh, going on to say. It says, contact Acme Comedy Company at 612-338-6393. And it says, sample script. I'm calling with concern over multiple allegations made against an Acme performer, Corey Adam. I demand you remove Corey Adam from your booking and no longer book, uh, no longer employ him. I call you to create a transparent policy around sexual harassment and assault that address instances within your venue as well as those perpetrated by your performers and employees. Uh, if you would like to share a report uh, about Corey Adam or any instance, please fill out our report link, which can be uh, completed uh, anonymously. Sincerely, the Fair Play Minnesota leadership. So let's find out real quick. So this, these are big allegations, Al. These are big allegations. And this is Corey Adam comedy. This isn't Joe Rogan, right? The, the, when people go after Corey Adam comedy, Corey Adam comedy has nothing. Like, it's not nothing, like... Nothing, dude. He, he's got millions of dollars to, to be doing, you know, giving out lawsuits. So his reputation's everything if you're going to grow as a comedian. His reputation is everything. And, you know, he uh, isn't... There, people aren't going after him because they want money or they want clout or they want fame. No, it's they're coming after him because it's real. Because it's real shit, and right? And he's a fucking predator. So let's... All right, hold it's, on. It's so corrupt. Uh, and these people have the balls to try to get funded online. Can you believe that? Not only funded, dude. Beg. Beg. Fucking beg. Hold on. I got to figure out if this... What this whole Minnesota company is here before we go any further. But I'm curious to see what you guys have to say in the chat. Maybe, Clem, you could keep me up to date on what they think uh, Corey Adam Comedy is. Is he a good guy? Is he? Uh, are these allegations warranted? Or are these all fucking, you know, uh, fabricated? What's up? What's what's going on? What's everyone's kind of consensus here? They're still talking about the mud shark, dude. <laughs> That's when where they're doubt. at. That's when, where they're at. When in doubt, mud shark out. Did Corey open for Chappelle, someone said? Dave Chappelle or Chappelle Lacey? I think Dave Chappelle. The Fair Play Minnesota. Okay, so let's try this. The Fair Play Minnesota. Uh, the Fair Play leadership team. We got. We have, we have to get to the bottom of this, like kind of right now, dude. That. I mean, if, if there's people fucking, if there if there's women's lives in danger, bro. Leadership team. Let's see what this is about. Meet the leadership team, Sarah. Maybe we call them instead. All right, so let's check this out, Clem. These are the people behind Corey Adam. Well, we're going we're to come up with this right now and see if this is real or not. So it says, meet the leadership team, Sarah. The Fair Play leadership team is made up of five people, uh, five people who volunteer their time to lead and organize uh, the many Fair Play members. Learn about... Or learn more about who they are, uh, who they are by getting to know one of our leaders, Sarah. Sarah is a relatively new uh, addition to our improv comedy or improv community. After returning to the Twin Cities, Sarah has previously experienced in social. Uh, okay, so she has experience. Okay, so this this might be a, a knot to Corey here because Sarah already is in the business of social justice work here and leadership, and she brings a thoughtful and patient per, uh, presence to the team. Is this a whole website about him? No, this is who they are. This is the, the Minnesota Fair Play people. Let's see, contact and report. Maybe we contact them and see what, what's up with Corey. Phone number optional. Okay, wait. No, I'm in his form. No, I don't want to fill out my shit. And what's it say? Fair Play is a group of women who are working to build uh, equity on stage for women trans... Okay, uh, and non-binary comedians. Our goal is to facilitate communication between 
Uh, comedians and theaters identify problems in the community, recommend and implement solutions, and collect stories and data around system um, misogyny and other forms of oppression pr- uh, pr- present in the comedy community. I, I don't know. I, th- this might go in the favor of Corey, to be honest. See, I mean, look, but that's that's the thing, though. We're willing to admit that. I, I just seen this, and I thought, you know, maybe Corey had a lot of allegations. But uh, apparently, this is all the, the fair play organization is just women trying to advocate for other women, trans women, bi- non binary women to have uh, an equal fucking, uh, equal rights to, to get on stage um, when it comes to uh, comedians and theaters, essentially. So th- th- this whole thing might be kind of bullshit, to be honest. But I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't want to say it's bullshit and then Corey Adam be out there fucking Bill Cosby and chicks out there. You know what I mean? That would be the last thing I want. Yeah, I mean, he looks like that. So we're spe- I'm speculating. You're speculating, yes. It's a possibility for sure. Well, I'm curious to hear what chat has to say. And this fucking website's not helping the cause. It's not helping the cause. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it's not, dude. The more and more I'm reading this, I'm like, all right, this kind of could be fabricated. Sure. But, but but shit like this just doesn't come out of thin air, especially right. about people that aren't important at all. So exactly. it's like, you know, well, you got to take it with a grain of salt. Well, because it's like, what would they have to gain? Exactly. This, well, right? we're trying to tear down Steel Toe. Nah. They don't even know who Steel Toe is. You could just say Aaron got beat up by a 15-year-old. That'll That's, fucking, yeah. you know, exactly. that'll do it for you. All right. Um... Exactly. No one would make up allegations about a nobody like Corey. Exactly. So that's where I'm kind of... It, I think it's 50-50. Honestly, I think it could be bullshit, but at the same Maybe time... it looks like a duck. It smells like a duck. It's not a fucking goose. It's a, Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not a dove. It's a fucking duck. Okay, Corey. All right, you want to keep uh, You want to keep on the steel toe train, Clem? Sure. Let's keep that train what's pumping. Our cha- what's our chat thinking here? Do they think Corey's fucking guilty of fucking rape? Or do they think he's a uh, he's off the hook? He seems like a good guy. <laughs> is that what someone's saying? I can't even say say no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying like, do they think he's a, a molester or just a good guy? And I can't even roll that off the tongue without <laughs> laughing. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. just sounds ridiculous, bro. He's not a Imagine good guy. Imagine saying Corey Adam. That's my fucking yo. He's my good guy. He's my favorite comedian, guys. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, dude, he does. Uh, no, someone said Corey's a threat to society. That's dude. That's what I've been hearing, man. Uh, he was run out of Minnesota and had to move to Austin, Texas, because of all the allegations. So you don't just pick up and move your fucking life. Wow! If you're yeah, fucking, I mean, dude, you know, that's, you're if you're running, you're guilty. You're guilty. Jesus, right? So I don't want to say fucking because I do believe in due process. I, I'm not in the business of piling on and trying to fucking get people canceled. canceled. That's not what we're about, guys. right, bro? We're trying to get to the bottom of shit and trying to expose the truth. Yeah, the, we're not about cancel culture or wokeness in any way at all. I despise that. Sh- I spit, yeah, I spit, spit on, on that it, shit, dude. dude. Spit on it. Yeah, we're not about that life. I don't know though, dude. It that could go either way. The whole Corey Adam thing. We'll have to look into that more. I just didn't know. The Minnesota Fair Play Society was a whole ran by a whole bunch of fucking <laughs> blue haired fucking libs, to be quite honest. All right. Someone said Corey's like a guy I'd have around my kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right, dude. If uh, by kids, if you mean uh, 30 uh, year old adults with fucking six packs <laughs> who could fight and mixed martial arts. Yeah, no, nah. no. Nah. All right, let's let's keep the steel toe train running, Clem. I feel like uh, there's only a few more things we have here, and then we're gonna go into we're gonna call Midland Armory, and if they don't answer, we're, we'll have to call Stonies because they're definitely open on a Saturday. Oh yeah, they're gonna be like, "How can I help you today?" Uh, and then we're gonna get to the bottom of this and and try to uh, let them know what kind of person they're sponsoring, and if they want to sponsor anybody, I mean, hey, we're open in hey, the business yo. for sponsorships, right, dude? Hey. Yo, yes, sir. Fuck. Dude. Imagine trying to get sponsored by a company named Stoney's. Stoney's Bar and Grill, dude. They, I wonder what kind of food they make. Apparently chicken wings. Oh, some wings? Yeah. I like wings. But let's uh, keep it rolling, Clem. All right, so this is... Now, we're going to dive into Johnny now. Johnny Crutches. We tackled April. We tackled Corey. We're going to dive into Johnny. And then we're going to get into uh, some of Steel Toes clips, what they last said on Thursday and Friday, which I the, the biggest cope we've seen of them as of recent days. But let's jump into this Johnny character and see what he's all about, Clem. What do you say? Let's do it, buddy. 
All right, so let's play this first. I have this synced up to something here. I have so many steel toe clips, bro. I, I didn't even fucking time code it. But this was... I think this was their cope with Nobody Likes Onions. I could be wrong, though. But let's let's see what uh, Aaron is saying here. Bill Lee's got some skeletons in his closet when it oh, comes no. to drag. Why yeah. does this shit look all blurry? We've got a picture of him dressing in drag back in high school. Now, first of all, I don't see how him dressing in drag as a senior in high school right, here we go. equates to... Oh, so now you got to let five-year-olds look at guys, you know, put tits in their bra and tuck their cock back. Like, I don't understand how one makes the other invalid. However, if you're going to be Mr. Hey, fucking drag, it's disgusting. It's it's not for kids or minors. Granted, I was a minor when I did it. You can't be the guy who voices that opinion. Keep your eyes on Johnny. In this day and age, people will try to pick you apart for that. Uh, as Tennessee moves forward to ban drag, enjoy a high school yearbook picture. Oh, yeah, hold on. First of, of all. Tennessee governor. I think this skipped. He's ahead. looking like he's getting some kind of ironic pleasure from this topic. I think I don't think that was it. I think it just skipped ahead by accident. I think we want to be in the beginning because I think this is where he addresses nobody likes onions. Yeah. Good morning and welcome to the Steel Toe Morning Show. I'm Aaron Immel. Yeah, so this is where he's going to address Patrick Melton from Nobody Likes Onions. Uh, he's going to cope, and this was, I, I thought Aaron was going to fall apart here on this episode. I believe this was on Tuesday. This was on Tuesday. Him and Johnny were uh, on the show, and Patrick from Nobody Likes Onions had been going after Aaron for, like, the better part of four days. And Aaron finally addresses Patrick, but copes in a way I've never seen before. And he starts kind of getting crazy. You could t- You could see that we're getting to him. Our fucking, uh, I won't say our, I'm not going to take credit for it, but the Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit is actually making a fucking It's taking a toll? It's taking a toll. So I knew it would, dude. You don't just make a page like that with that golden content. It doesn't work. Dude, like, I, I've said this, dude. It's the most effective subreddit ever. Ever, dude, ever. Because in the matter great. of- th- And it's unifying people, which yes, is even crazier. It's bringing people together. together. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's th- growing. Yes. That's what we want, dude. Sure. Well, that's Johnny. Hey, how you doing? You don't know when to quit, do you? What do you mean? Fucking dynamite show yesterday, sir. Oh, well, thank you. really risking it all going double or nothing here. You want to keep what's behind door number two, or you want to try another door? Let's try another door. He's going to try another door, Monty. Let's make a deal. (laughs) Dude, it's the wrong show. You ever make a... No. Wait, Anton says, nobody likes onions is at least 20 minutes in. Okay, so on this video you're saying, I'm pretty sure he's only like six minutes in. That was that, that was, was it. Right Not yeah, twenty. Fuck. I think it was like right here. On a banana. I'm gonna controversial banana. No, oh, I'm eight foot it's nine. Like right inches after tall. this. <laughs> I have hands like Andre the Giant. <laughs> Looks like a pit bull's ball sack. I just fucking. Oh, why do they have weird ball sacks? I don't know. Do they keep one from each victim they eat? I think so. That's probably why they're so angry. Yeah. Uh, Mama says they're so angry because they got all them teeth and no toothbrush. Actually, uh, let's go to Ryan, the garbage man, to start the day out. Right, it's like right after this guy. Be reminded, I'm. Uh, thank you for contributing to the. <laughs> if you keep drinking that, t- thank you. It says sight gags for radio. I'm writing this out. Please do. All right. So this man. was the nobody likes onions. Uh, nobody beef right likes here. onions. Says sight gags for radio. Right, Let me back it up. Thanks, mom. Doctor Garbage Man. Uh, nobody likes onions. Says sight gags for radio. I'm writing this out. Please do. I think if if you write down more of the stuff we do, you're gonna have yourself a great time. There's nothing wrong with having a little bit of fun. You can see it, can see it. Oh people, my God. Nothing wrong with having a little bit of fun, right? This is what are you talking show. about? Very fun show, very fun week. Uh, so, Nobody Likes Onions, Patrick Melton's in the chat and he's kind of trolling him. He's like, dude, I'm going to take down notes because you guys obviously know what you're talking about. You have uh, all the insights when it comes to radio and you know how to radio host and you're the professional broadcaster here, right? And, uh, you know, this is Aaron's response. People who can't see it are trying to rush to their phone now to see a, a giant man. Again, these are normal sized bananas. These are normal sized bananas. I have elephantitis in my hands and they never stop growing. Or gig- I have gigantism. He's Andre the Giant's love child. I have toxic toxoplasmosis. I'm actually going to fuck these bananas later. Uh, right. These are full size bananas. Look at those. Look at those tiny little fucks. Don't you get that from handling shit? And my biggest takeaway on this, so yes, they, they Aaron and nobody likes onions right now are like doing this like this big beef or whatever the fuck. I mean, really, Aaron isn't acknowledging it. And 
Patrick from Nobody Likes Onions is uh, kind of going in on him. I would say Patrick is winning. But the biggest takeaway I have on this is, one, look at Johnny this whole time. Johnny's face reeks of fucking cringe. And it's like he, you could tell he's almost fed up with this whole thing. Oh, sure. So, again, it goes back to what I'm saying. It's like, you know, we have to get to this guy right here. First, yeah. He gets and to he'll him. Bring, it will, it'll be like a Mark Harley, Brandon Shaw. Exactly, yeah, dude. Yeah, yes. let's go. Exactly. Where's that? Hey, hey you eat these nuts, bitch. 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 Uh, and then Aaron uh, is going to kind of fall apart here at the seams, and he's starting to break, right? So let's watch both instances take place at the same time. Check it out. Uh, cat piss or cat shit, I can't remember. Rats, too. Rats. Something. Yeah, this Look, he's already sick and it tired of this. all the Brazil... Okay, that's going to get me banned. I <laughs> Think kidding. about this. This kid can barely even walk. He's got ALS. He's got to drive 20 minutes from his house at fucking 5... 15 in the morning... I mean, you know, because Aaron th- likes to think he's, like, doing this, like, professional radio show like Opie and Anthony. Like, Opie and Anthony went on the air at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning. And uh, so Aaron has to, like, emulate his whole fucking thing, his whole fucking persona off Opie and Anthony. But poor Johnny, dude. The kid could barely even walk. He's got crutches. A- ALS, dude. He's fucking handicapped. Aaron makes him drive 20 minutes across Minnesota to come into the studio and do this fucking four and a half hour broadcast, beg for money for two hours. And uh, at the end of the day, Johnny's only getting 50 bucks, right? That's pretty pathetic. It's rough, bro. You're going to make a broad sweeping generalization like about the sexual habits of Brazilian it's men. It's worse than torture. Yeah, that might not you know? be good. Yeah, I feel and like there's no not- monetary gain for him either, so you got to feel bad. Well, I-, I think in his mind, he's just trying to... Uh, f- like assimilate... Well, not as, yeah, I guess, but he, he's trying to further his career. And he's trying to, I guarantee his thought process in this whole thing, because he sees Aaron with 800, you know, people between YouTube and Rumble. Johnny's process, uh, thought process is probably like, yo, if I could pull like five or 10% of the audience members and, and have 100 viewers in my stream at one time and they could donate me and then I could hit my goals every day, I can make a living off this thing. So let me just fucking suck stick it up for around. now, yeah, stick yeah. around. Shut my fucking mouth. Go along with these fucking regurgitated Twitter fucking trends that Aaron disguises as journalism. And, you know, I'll kind of riff off it. And, you know, after the four and a half hours, I'll go home about my day and fucking pick up a uh, McDonald's fucking Big Mac and call, call it a day. day. Hell yeah. Call it a day. That sounds like a, the life. That's his pro. That's his thought process, which is it, it's kind of sick, though, because it's like Aaron is using a, a, a mentally uh, handicapped person. Not not mentally. Right? That's that's the wrong phrase to use. He's using a handicapped person. For sympathy clout? For sympathy clout, My dude. goodness. It doesn't get much lower than that. It's getting bad, dude. So he should just have him wiggle. The, just give him some crutches, stick him out on the fucking freeway, <laughs> give him a sign, hey, I just need a beer, and fucking do it that way. I mean, Jesus I Christ. I just need a beer. I want to go take a shower after watching this shit. And after we just put it in context like that, ugh. Yeah. Fucking see. But make sure you donate to our channel if you want us to talk for an extra 46 minutes. <laughs> Fuck you, Aaron. Oh, shit. At least Anton found that funny. <laughs> <laughs> At least we can make Anton laugh there. Thank you. <laughs> Let's keep watching. Look, Johnny, just keep your eyes on Johnny Crutches here because the whole time here, you can just tell he's like, fucking dude. I don't even know why I'm here. You couldn't, like, I, I couldn't answer you why. I like, I got nothing better else fucking going on right now today, uh, so I'll, I'll show up and make the 50 bucks, because why wouldn't you? You know, uh, it's just added income, I guess, and he could talk and try to fill, fulfill out his dream. This is almost as worse as, like, Make-A-Wish Foundation, right? Oh, for, this is like, for retards. <laughs> for retards. <laughs> this is like if Scott Van Pelt brought on, like, fucking somebody from, like, St. Jude's Hospital who had a fucking <laughs> mental disorder, dude. <laughs> Oh. Right, now tell me about your life. Right. It's like, dude, this oh. is a charity case, bro. Jesus Christ. So Aaron uh, has under his wing a uh, handicapped person, uh, a farm girl, April, Megamind, a.k.a., and uh, a, a, an alleged molester from the, the Minnesota fucking Fair Play group over in St. Cloud. So let's uh, keep watching. Watch Johnny, but uh, specifically we're watching Aaron's response to the NLO NLO drama that has been taking place. Let's check it out. A good place to go. I prefer the only one who uh, Fs up be me. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, We can blame me. I believe that too. (laughs) Uh, Hulk Amasha Baby says, you should stop answering his calls. Just a thought. He's too good of a guy. He's just too good of a guy. I can't. 
I can't help it. Michael B says, I would like to buy some of this man's time. I could use it better. Uh, nobody likes onions. Patrick Melton, who I'd love to have on the show. I don't... I mean, he and Corey, I, I, I've never seen a bigger misunderstanding. Comedians are fucking psychotic. Well, yep. No, I, I no, 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 no. Like comedians. More gaslighting. More gaslighting. Because if you watch anything that uh, Patrick has done over the last week, Patrick has called out every fucking thing that we're pretty much fucking uh, not saying. I mean, we're kind of saying other shit, too. But essentially what I'm trying to say is Patrick is calling out the nonsense that is Steel Toe Morning Show. Sure. And calling Aaron and Corey and, and April fucking pretty much e-beggars, nonsense fucking frauds, right? So for him, Aaron, to say, oh, this is a beef between uh, Patrick and Corey, and they got to settle this out, man. You know, that's just more gaslighting is what I'm trying to tell you, because Patrick doesn't like anything that you guys are doing. You know, it's not a him and Corey thing. It's a him and Steel Toe. I thing. don't think anyone who has a podcast or does radio appreciates what Steel Toe's doing. I don't think so either. Oof. I don't think so either. It's the cringiest shit in the world. All right, let's keep watching. Let's see what he, how he's going to get out of this one. I have to wash my hands of comedians. We are entirely insane. I have done this. How many, how many times have you heard me do this between radio and now? Me going, I have to stop with fucking comics. <laughs> These comics. I'm done yeah, with comics. Real They're quick, Garth Burke says it best. Uh... Love to have on his show. Then, boom, I wash my hands on, uh, of him, and he's mentally unstable. Aaron is such a hypocrite. Exactly, dude. He if, really is. Spot the fuck on. Right spot. There. Uh, it's not. Hold on. Uh, let me try to catch up with the chat here, and then we'll go back right to this. Farm Girl YouTube, someone says, uh, <clears throat> is Johnny funny? Uh, Vlad the Dragon says, no. Uh, we're going to watch a clip from Johnny uh, right after this one. Uh, someone says, uh, if I was Aaron, I would feel so embarrassed to only pay my co-host $50 while I take the other 300 Yeah, dude, that's enough for me to fucking quit the internet right right there. Then, Like, just that instance alone, I would fucking stop fucking broadcasting. If I was resulting to paying my co-host 50 bucks, like, you know what I mean? I would split everything I do. Like, we're going to split everything me and Al do. Like, we just got monetized last week. My fucking intention is... Everything that we make, we're splitting. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. That's it's not, the way you should do it, bro. It's not like, dude, you're getting... If, if I make a thousand bucks... Here's your cut. Here's like, 50. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck, bro. Come on, dude. Do a little better, bro. Uh, Ricky Garcia says, uh, then why watch? Well, because how... It's, it's like watching a car wreck, dude. It's like, how can you not watch it? It's, it's just fucking, uh, fucking coming apart at the seams. No, we have fucking jobs, Ricky. And no way you cut it. Does that make sense? Oh, uh, we got a fifteen thousand dollar monthly uh, allowance, and I'm gonna pay my co-host fifty bucks. Yeah. We're not saying it's gotta go fifty fifty, but if you're a business partner with somebody and you're creating a product, then it should be a little bit more close. I'm sorry, well, dude. It, it shouldn't be fifty bucks. Right? Not 50, if you if you have a fifteen thousand dollar payroll. No, it shouldn't be. It should be at least a respectable wage, at the very least. Dude, the, the rumors out there doesn't have to be 50 50, but clearly, you know, you could make a case for it if you saw where the money was going, if it was going yeah. to improve this, but it's not. It's not. So now it's just going into Aaron's pockets. Probably his meth addiction is probably where it's mostly right. going. Right. And you're going to shit on your fucking co host that has ALS. Right. 50 bucks? 50 bucks. I'll wipe my fucking ass with that, bro. Right. It's crazy. It, it fires me the fuck up. 50 bucks. Yeah. Like, come on, dude. I, like you said earlier, dude. You'd rather take nothing and it's yeah, I'd rather take nothing and now it's like all right well let's look at the content of the show and who's offering what like aaron some kind of fucking uh howard stern s right. amazing radio host and everyone else is just a, no he's a retard again why is everybody turning on aaron it's not because he's a good guy and he's an upstanding citizen that's not it guys blows my fucking mind it's because dude. the shit that he does is fucking it's 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 just borderline fucking criminal. And then you still got these steel bros like, well, you just don't know what you're talking about. Like, is that the dude, new group? Get the fuck wait, out wait, of wait, here. Wait, wait. Is that the new group you just made up for him? No, nah, somebody in the chat said that the steel bros are angry today. <laughs> oh, the steel bros. Wow. That shit's wild to the me. The steel bros are angry today. Imagine being referred to yourself as a steel bro. Oh, I'd kill God. myself. Dude. Fucking and it's awful. like you're in our chat repping them. Like you gotta have no fucking life. But it's okay. See, Clem, I understand your your blood gets boiling. I get that. But we're our job is to convert. 
we're here to convert. Right? Oh, sure. We sure, want to sure. open these people's eyes, right? The steel bros. They're not just going to fucking, you know, waltz under our chat, hear us talk a sh- uh, talk shit, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, against their fucking favorite co-host here, and then just go along with us like as everything is fucking good in the world. You know what I mean? Like, we have to fucking present an argument. We have to show all the fucking mishaps and all the lies and all the deception, and we're doing that, dude. Uh, and if people still, at the end of the day... If they still have some shit to say or they don't agree with us, that's fine. You're allowed to disagree with yeah, us. Yeah, well, we'll see you on fine. the other side. They'll eventually, they'll find their way. They'll get there. Yeah, exactly. Everyone, they'll get sick of being lied to yes. and taken advantage of, and then they'll be like, you guys are right. Everyone runs a different race. Exactly. You know what I mean? So we have to let them come to this conclusion, you know, uh, because I guarantee, you know, the people who are team uh, steel to a boring show and and that side of things i guarantee they didn't just wake up one day and were you know hating steel toe like this is something that has it grew over time it grew and it festered sure. and then you start realizing all the lies and all the bullshit and all the hypocrisy and the borderline criminality that goes on with this whole fucking quote-unquote show and then you start to realize like hmm i can't be the only one that thinks this clem just like us dude a few weeks ago I was talking to you about this shit, and I'm like, bro, there's no way I'm the only one who sees the lack of fucking set production that they put into their sure. fucking show. Dude, the wrestling otaku. All of it. Bro. The begging. The begging, not paying child support, paying the co-host, ALS, begging. I mean, dude, where's where do you draw the line? Allegations. Allegations, bitch tits, all of it. You know, you, you, I just threw that one in there. I'm just kidding, but but the, the you know point remains. I mean? Yeah, the point still, remains. It's still, it's irredeemable shit. So, but watch Johnny though. Uh, the point remains, guys. It, look, we don't want to fucking. We're not going to force you to fucking hate Steel Toe. We're just trying to open your eyes, right? Whether you agree with us or not, that's fine. You know what, dude? I think I'm going to have a change of heart, and I'm going to be a toe bro. <laughs> You're a toe bro. I'm a toe bro. Wow. Yeah, you know something just about well, Aaron's voice. Hey. If you're a tow bro, I could pay you 50 bucks. Oh, dude. That, yeah, man. That sounds great. And maybe I'll go to Camden with a fucking sign that says fucking, I just need to shoot a bag, homie. Like, <laughs> for 50 t- I'll take my can, I'll moosey up there, and I'll shit in the woods. This is- yeah, that's the one, baby. And maybe I'll, uh, I'll take a walk over to Minnesota, and I could be uh, ALS Johnny's co-host. We'll start our own shit <laughs> yeah. called In the Taint. With Aaron Eamholters. <laughs> Fuck that, bro. And then Fuck. I'll have all these guys in here like, yo, you, you guys, you guys are crushing. You're crushing it, dude. Here's $10. Wait, uh, Ricky Garcia says, why don't you go after Kumia? Trust me, Kumia is on the list, dude. Dude, I'll get him in but, a but, headlock. Wait, 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 wait. Real quick. Thank you, Ricky. You just reminded me, too. The, one of the main reasons why I started to not like Aaron was because Aaron was supporting and promoting the likes of Gino Pisconti Aaron, uh, Aaron, Anthony Cumia, and Chrissy Mayer. Like, you know, anybody who supports those guys, I hate to break it to you, are not good people. Cumia fucking took an underage chick to prom. Cumia bit another woman, uh, another chick's hand. He didn't get the fucking nickname The Count for no reason. You know what I mean? Like, you don't just stumble upon the nickname Count and think that's a fucking good idea to run with. You know, Chrissy Mayer uh, steals Christmas presents. You know, so it's just like we're going after this is just now. This is just what's happening now. And this whole steel toe thing is happening. Uh, toe bros. Wait, uh, I dub productions or J dub production says toe bros uh, unite. We are all deflecting. Yes. Well, guys, just remember, if you're not having fun, you should be having fun because after all, this is a fun show. This has been a very fun show. Very fun show. Very fun week. Are we having fun yet? I don't know, dude. All I do know is we are in the paint, bro. Would you say he went hard in the paint? He went hard in the motherfucking paint. Chad ever break the law? Uh, Look, I don't know if Chad ever broke the law. I think he did, though. Uh, I, I haven't really, like like I said, dude, we're not on the team of picking sides. This is not a pro-Chad podcast. Like, we have to get one thing clear. This is not like Team Chad and Team fucking whoever else is against Steel Toe. Team... Nobody likes onions. This is team in the paint. This is team win by two radio. This is, we've been doing this for the better part of two years, just calling out fucking bullshit, nonsense lies and trying to open up other people's eyes, whether they like it or not. And at first people might fucking be hesitant to come over to the, to the good side, to the, to the Jedi, as they would say. Right. But eventually it happens. Right. I don't know what it is in people. 
they wake up one day and they have this fucking self-reflection moment and they wake up and they're like, yo, you know what? Those guys are right. You know, I'm tired of fucking getting scammed and getting gaslit on a daily basis. I'm tired of it, dude. So, uh, you know, fuck those guys over at, you know, whatever. Insert show here, Compound Media, you know, Gum Fridays, Steel Toe Morning Show, in hot, whatever the show is. You're like, what are you sticking up for? Exactly. Anyway, dude, what? These guys aren't your friends. They're not your friends. And they're creepers. They offer nothing. No substance. No values. No morals. The only thing they offer is their goals. Their monetary goals. Yes. And taking money out of your pocket and putting it into their own. To support, God only knows what, because Aaron's not even paying his child support. So yeah, out of fifteen thousand dollars, eight hundred of that what goes a, to child support. What a stand-up guy! Like, and you think it's because he doesn't have a job, or we're trying to hate their hustle? It's not about any of that. We respect their hustle, but they're not offering anything, and they're taking advantage of you guys. And we're still at this point of having to like talk about this. It's unbelievable. And it's not just you guys, right? Because it no, it's everybody. Well, it's ultimately mass, it's yeah. us. Right. Ultimately, it comes down to us where it's like you're watching the show. Right. I've sent you the link a few times before and you're watching the show. And then all of a sudden you find yourself fucking, you know, uh, getting intrigued or, or like listening to what this guy has to say. But you, you hit something. You said something really good there. Clem is it's like there's nothing going back into the show. There's nothing of substance. And we can only, you know, repeat that line so many times until people actually are aware of what the fuck is right, going on. And like hold accountability for it. You know, but you know, I, again, our job is not to fucking, and we're not going to convert. Like Rome wasn't built in a day, right? Our job is not to fucking wake people up today on this stream. It's funny, people think we're comedians, bro. They're like, you guys are just yeah, comedians, like, brother. Yeah. We ain't comedians. Yeah, we don't aspire to be comedians. <laughs> yeah. Imagine trying to be a comedian. <laughs> oh my god, fuck! I'd rather fucking, I'd rather fucking, I don't know, bag groceries at shop right than try to become a comedian. Yeah, no, like this ain't a comedy podcast. This is real shit. Although we do have fun. Because it's, it's, well, it's a fun show. It's a fun it's show, a buddy. Fun show. That doesn't very mean I'm show, like very uh, fun week. Eddie Murphy over here <laughs> right. dropping fucking people's elbows on comedy drops. Nor do like, you claim. No. To be, nor do you claim to be. No sir, dude. Uh, what this uh, uh, RS says? What uh, Steel Toe does in four hours? Uh, Preston and Steve does in ten minutes. Segment. Love Preston and Steve. Yeah, Preston dude. and Steve. Good is, reference there. Uh, they do in ten minutes segment where Steve kills it. Yeah, well, you know, th- and that's the difference right there. Uh, is that Preston and Steve actually offer something. He offers a, a good val- a good fucking product and a high value show. So therefore you can kind of get behind shows like that. Sure. Uh Jay And they don't beg their fucking fans no. for money. Imagine begging, dude. Again, Oof. imagine begging. Being funny on radio show podcast is natural tendency. It's not a claim to be a comedian. Sorry, personally. No, right? but we weren't talking about us with the people in the chat are assuming that we're trying to be comedians and we're not. That's all. Not saying we aren't funny. I'm just saying yeah, our well, goal is to not be com- comedians. That's if it. If our goal was to be com- uh, comedians, dude, we would we- write skits and jokes into our set. Exactly. Well, not only that, but we would we would jump at the opportunity to to get on a lot of these people's shows that have been offered to oh, us. Oh, exactly. Right? Oh, fuck yeah, bro. That would only help but us. We're staying true to ourselves. Yeah, that's why. That's important. Absolutely. And people get lost in that. Yeah. No. Well, in this grand scheme of uh, internet people, you know, clout's a big deal. Yeah. So they they jump at the opportunity at something like that, and it's like loose sight of what's really true. You Look, know? if you would have, you know, if you would have asked me this 10, 15 years ago when I was a lot younger, right, in my early teens or late teens, early twenties, I would have jumped at the opportunity to fucking do a lot of the things we've been offered, right? I would have done anything to to be fucking huge and fucking the limelight's on me and and all this shit right but as time changed bro you realize how much of a phony fucking industry uh you know mainstream hollywood is uh and that's you know i take pride in fucking doing it ourselves you know and and getting to where we want to go without the backing of anybody you know what i mean so therefore we could say what we want and do what we want like imagine if we were fucking beholden to stoney's bar and grill and we couldn't talk about certain things I'm just using them as, as an example, but Oof. like a lot of these shows, they, they, they're sponsored by Manscaped and fucking w- whatever else. They're, they're like, they're beholden to their sponsors. So therefore they can't talk about certain things that goes against everything that we fucking, uh, you know, hold dear, uh, to our hearts, bro. Exactly. And I'm going to say exactly how I feel right all the time. Freedom of expression. N- hold bro. nothing back. 
a lot of these guys they claim to have freedom of uh, they claim no, to be pro first amendment controlled by the almighty dollar brother exactly dude exactly and that's you know what a lot of people don't realize you know what i mean and you know if, if we can open up fucking three people's eyes right then it's job well done you know what i mean our our goal our job isn't to fucking wake up everybody you can't it's impossible but if we could do it to a couple people well then hey we did our part right clem absolutely right, absolutely so let's get back into this and, and it's like crystalia dude just because he's got allegations he never got charged but a hundred people are coming up with the same story like you should just disregard that right I mean, no. Well, it's, people do. It's fucked up. Yeah, people do. He still needs to be looked at. I'm sorry. Because they watch Chris D'Elia and they think they have this weird connection with Chris. So therefore, you know, maybe one time in the future, Chris and insert person here will go out and fucking get a drink together. You know, it's like, and they'll become friends and live happily ever after. Exactly. Right, dude. It's, it's like, that's like not going to happen. living in a fucking dream exactly. world. Yeah, right. Sorry. Let's get back into this, though, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, you know. It is what it is, right? We're going to fucking do what we uh, do. We're going to fucking call out the lies, call out the bullshit, and expose the fraudulent fucking behaviors that a lot of these podcasts present to these you guys. These podcasts. Uh, and this one being Steel Toe Morning Show. So Aaron is beefing with Nobody Likes Onions, and Johnny, his co-host here, again, Drove in on his own dime. I, I guarantee Johnny spent more money driving to Aaron's house than he fucking made here made on the show. Sure, bro. Gas with the inflation like, gas prices. It's like seven dollars a fucking Woo-hoo. gallon, dude. Uh so let's watch watch Johnny's reaction. We're gonna watch Aaron. Then we're gonna watch jo- a little bit of Johnny. We have a little bit more steel toe. We're gonna take a quick break after the steel toe coverage, and we're gonna come back. We have uh this week in shop. This week in shop. And then we have two bears, one cage, uh one cage, one cave coverage. And Tom Segura, I feel like uh, Tom Segura has been watching closely what we have been doing. So let's uh, get into the rest of this deal. So coverage. They're insane. They're out of their mind. They don't operate the rest of the way the, the way the rest of the world does. Well, what's going on? What could be wrong? It's just a simple misunderstanding. He knows. One of them tells bullshit the fuck off and they didn't take it. Well, what's going on? No, nothing happened. <laughs> That's the most amazing thing oh. about comics is nothing happens it is pro wrestling to the extreme. And the problem is when a guy like me who's But in- isn't that fucking your his whole shtick? Like uh, again, I'm trying to fucking get to the bottom of this. Aaron, I guarantee I could find 127 of your videos doing the pro wrestling thing, shitting on Opie, shitting on Chad. Bro, he puts it in the fucking headline. Right. You know what I mean? In the the what's that called? The title? The title, yeah. It's called something else, clickbait. Well, that's a clickbait yeah, title. Yeah, clickbait title. It's yeah. exactly that's what he what does. He does. Yeah. That's the yeah. pro wrestling And then he shit. makes the thumbnail. That's what I'm talking thumbnail. about. Yeah, right, bro. Right, right. So for him to and say- He's going to walk it all back. Oh, man. The guy, these people that are in the pro wrestling, man, that's just not for us. That's what you do. Right. That is your whole thing, Steel Toe. Like- Someone in the fucking chat just said if they don't hit the goal, the co-host doesn't get the full 50. I mean, that's just, I believe that's it. That's fucking pathetic. I believe it. That's sad, bro. Imagine that. Oof. Imagine if you fucking uh, keep your audience hostage the whole show trying to and hit this goal. stiff your fucking co-host. And then you come up $10 short, so therefore Johnny fucking crutches over here doesn't get his 50. That's terrible. <laughs> I feel like everyone needs to fucking hit this guy up, Johnny crutches, and just, let him know fucking. Yeah. Let's drop his cash app <laughs> in the chat. Everybody send them something. I'll send him fucking. If, if someone could find me this guy's cash app, I'll send him 50 right now. How's that sound? I'll send him fucking... I'll send him 50 and offer him a fucking better paying job over this Hell way. yeah, dude. We'll set up a video chat, have him on the pod. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep watching. In it for the fun, goes, oh, let's have a little fun. Comics go, yo, I gotta club him in the head with a fucking chair. And you're like, there goes the fun. And then you go, oh, I gotta leave. This isn't fun anymore. Where, where are you going? Oh, I don't know. I... You're right. I should probably stick around in this entirely friendly, fun nope. atmosphere. No, nope. you're all it's threatening to beat here. the piss out of me. I should stay here and see what we want to do next. <laughs> and then, and then, comedians and people who are in that world—they act like you're the weird one. They're like, ah, eh, isn't really fun for me anymore, guys. I'm going to take off. Like, what do you mean it's not fun? As they're trying to saw a guy's fucking leg off. Like, what do you mean we're not having fun? We're not fun enough for you. Oh. Sorry. I just just wanted to have a good time, and you guys are. Filming, you know, faces of death. <laughs> just not looking good. I don't I don't want to be here. So what's this all over? He said I'm not very good. 
I mean, I I hear that a million times a day. The I amount think of gaslighting. It. It's mind-blowing, dude. Or if, or if this bothers you so much, clearly you don't think you're very good. Just get better. You'll be fine. Oh man! So I want the I want those two to either bury the hat. And and in a perfect world for Aaron, Aaron would create a bubble, and it would be nothing but fucking praise towards Aaron, right? It'd be nothing but people giving praise towards Aaron. Aaron could do what he wants and shit on other people, but the second people shit on him, he would fucking make them out to be fucking some loony psychotic. That's the Aaron's perfect world. And I guess what? We don't live in a perfect world, Aaron. So people are going to talk shit on you. People are going to come after you for talking shit on them and for lying and fucking deceiving your audience. Like that is just natural. Like you put yourself out there online, dude. It would be ridiculous to ask anybody not to talk shit on somebody who talks shit on other people. Yeah, if you punch, you're going to get punched back. Exactly. It's just common sense. Dude. I mean, fuck, dude. It's not rocket science. You know, I like this isn't a fucking chemistry class we're running here. It's like simple math. It's simple adding and subtracting. You punch you get punched back. It's like infantry shit. Like you're an infant. I guess yeah, they are. They literally are like babies. People don't get the concept of that though. They think you know. I don't know what they think, dude. I I, I really don't know. I mean, maybe they're just brainwashed. I I guess really that's it. I, I don't know. Oh, they like being scammed by this guy. All right, let's, let's more power to you though. Let's cut this off. This is more Aaron ranting. We have more of Aaron ranting here, but uh, we're going to we're going to go to Johnny. Oh, here. Do you want to do more Aaron lies here? I love Aaron's lies, dude. You know it. You know I do. So, Aaron, I know you do. I Look do. at you cheesing over I there, you sandbagging son of a I bitch. I sure do. We have more of Aaron. Uh, <clears throat> Aaron claims that he doesn't like uh, like it when people raid chats. And by raiding chats, like if I told everyone in the chat right now to go over to, I'm just throwing uh, Brendan Schaub as an example. Go to Brendan Schaub's chat and fucking raid his chat. Aaron claims he doesn't like that. But we find instance and time and time again where Aaron is encouraging his audience to go over to Opie's chat to raid and fucking make fun of and talk to them about or talk to Opie about Steel Toe and try to get Opie to mention Steel Toe. So let's watch. This is Aaron. Uh, had his fans raid Opie even though he is against that. So uh, this is more fucking gaslighting and lies from Sir Aaron. Then we're going to watch Johnny and check out his show. Barry Watson says, uh, or somebody says, Mersh had a rough night last night. I heard about that. That's just so gay. Like, I'm sorry, guys, but if you're going to be a grown man on the internet, don't fucking do that to people. Like, that's just fucking gross. It's not, fu like, everybody wants to have a good time. They want to do a show that entertains people. I'll tell you one more time. And thank God, compared to other shows, we don't really get this. But, like, once in a while, someone will come in here and they'll, you know, our mods are good. They'll just get rid of them and go, mm -hmm. dude, get the fuck out of here. We're having a good time. Go somewhere else. But like, Censoring. to go to somebody like Mersh, who's honest to Christ, just wants to entertain the audience that he's cultivated. Mm -hmm. For you to go in there and go, oh, I'm going to fuck with them. I'm going to try and interrupt everything. Why not just go find something you like? I can't, it's interesting you mentioned that because... One month ago. Opie said that he wasn't going to talk about Opie and Anthony. Right. In 2023. I will tell you this. I was I was watching Opie before the show started. I like to watch Opie to relax mm -hmm. and uh, have a good time and have a nice laugh watching a great show uh, with a, a, a stellar broadcaster. You know, I get my cues from Opie. Right. And uh, I was watching him this morning. Somebody asked an Opie and Anthony question, and uh, Opie, was, Opie was right in there sticking to his guns. Oh, so he didn't talk about Opie and Anthony? He's like, I'm done with it? I'll... Check it out. Here I'm you done go. with Opie and Anthony. God. Here is Opie's stream. There we go. I'm going to put this so uh, in the chat, and you guys can join it as well. Uh, there you go. There's Opie's stream. Let's go over there and ask him about Opie and Anthony. So encouraging his audience right there to join Opie's live stream right there and kind of fuck with him when he's claiming he does he's not about that. Right? That's miserable. I mean, another blatant lie, though. Another lie. I'm by sure end. they'll brush this off, though, and so uh, with that bullshit. All right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to fucking run through the last uh, or the rest of the steel toe shit we have, because there's like guys. I mean, there's a lot left. <laughs> I mean, there's like at least ten clips. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out Johnny's stream, and then we're gonna go to let's see. 
We're going to go to the censorship from uh, Steel Toe and how they're censoring people. And then we're going to get to Opie's response to Steel Toe. And then we're going to get to Steel Toe's response to Opie. And then I think we're going to take a quick break, Clem, and smoke a cig, you know, catch our legs, get a second wind here, and then fucking uh, finish out the show. Let's how, do it, baby. that sound? Yes, sir. All right, let's check it out. Uh, so this is Johnny Crutch's dream. So, all right, before I even play this, Clem, have you seen Johnny fucking Crutch's stream at all? No. You haven't I seen haven't it. ever watched you it. You haven't seen it. No, sir. All right, so what do you expect? Uh, so now this is his own stream. He does it on YouTube, Rumble, and Twitch. What do you expect? Not much. Not much. I mean, if you're affiliated with fucking Steel Toe, what, what, really, what's your bar? It's pretty low. But it's, it's a low bar to clear. Doesn't I mean, Aaron just rip all of his... Uh, you know, monologues for Red Bar anyway? I Well, not his monologues. I wouldn't say monologues, but definitely a lot of his mannerisms. Like tendencies, yeah. Tendencies, mannerisms. Yeah, a lot of it, you know, uh, it could be, you know, pointed at, you know, uh, that he's ripping off and then, you know, kind of doing a lot of the shit that Red Bar used to do. I don't know. Uh, you know, that uh, you could see it, I guess, in a lot of ways, but then Aaron will kind of shit on him at the same time. Maybe. I, I don't know. I, I'm not really too caught up to speed with that. But let's watch this Johnny character, though. Johnny Crutches. This is his stream. And, uh, you know, I just want to... What I'm trying to do is, man, I'm trying to let Johnny know that there's a, a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, you don't have to be miserable fucking doing this shit, dude. Like, you could have... For lack of a better term, fun. This has been a very fun show. It's a very fun very show. Very fun show. Very fun week. So let's check it out. Well, tuned back into the chat. So there's that. He just looks depressed. Like he looks just fucking. He hates his life. Look at this. <sighs> this is rough. So that seems to be working now for a little bit. I mean, what the fuck? Woohoo, says no more. I, um, I, I gotta find a phone number or something. I have to, I, I have to bitch somebody out. So, I have to scream at somebody. Now. A lot of, uh, a lot of this clip is just him. Uh, there was trouble going on with his stream. I'm pretty sure. And, uh, but between his stream and Streamlabs, you know, Streamlabs OBS. Mm. And, uh, he's trying to, uh, call somebody from the Streamlabs department to call and bitch them out. And it's just a lot of him bitching. But uh, again, yeah, it doesn't seem like a good bit. Doesn't no, no. Yeah, nah. not only a good bit though. It's just like you know, lighten up a little bit. My dude. man's pretty lifeless here. It's like he he's going on air expecting like this is what people expect. Like he if he doesn't go on at two o'clock, that people are going to be like furious that he didn't stream that day. It's like bro, relax. It's going to be okay. The fix, algorithm will hit for you, buddy. Fix your don't worry. Yeah, fix your stream. And look, hey, I'll, you know, maybe you fucking talk a little shit on Steel Toe, your fucking viewership would go up. Go up, you're you know right, what I mean? You're right, right. We need him to be like the heel of 2023. Sure. How, talk about pro wrestling. How can we convert this guy to fucking on the fucking good I side here? I don't think it'll take much. I don't think so either. A hundred bucks? <laughs> yeah, double or nothing, baby. Double or nothing? Jake Paul, Tommy Fury style, double shit. or nothing, kid. Sign the contract. So this is Johnny trying to, uh, you know, get his stream ready. And, you know, a, a lot of this, I was going to make fun of this, but it's just like the more and more I watch it, it's like I just feel bad, dude. It's like we got to convert these people. Like that's our only hope. This fucking bullshit with Streamlabs. I fucking pay for this shit. Uh, reborn again, reborn again, says again. Bull. Again. Yeah, yeah. If it goes down again, I don't know if I'll be able to do I, 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 I was, I was in a good mood. I had everything ready. He's like falling apart. All right, so we have to reload all of my screens. If you'll bear with me for a moment, this is going to take a hot second. Yeah, I know the feeling, dude. That sucks. We had we just had to do that before our stream. We load the yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. Sucks. Shit. Don't, don't do a hype train. We have videos and stuff, but don't do a hype train for this. This is pathetic. <laughs> this is Party 100. Look, here's that David Chandler again. All right, so there's those links. We have to find out who the there's fuck this David Chandler is, dude. Somebody said that he's like their that, manager. Um, you think Steel Toe has a manager? That's what they said in the chat. Well, That's just hearsay. I'm not saying I believe it. 
I don't know if I don't know how much I believe that. Seriously, either. Rumble. Ooh, we're edgy. We're different. Could you at least work? Everyone in the chat the wants proof for the fifty dollar co-host thing. The only chat that uh, wants proof of the fifty dollar co-host. Yeah, thing? like where did that come from? I think chat. Uh, they, they said it right. They they. I'm pretty sure that either they said it or chat. I, I'm I'm pretty sure Chad had fucking talked to Corey Adam Comedy. I don't have physical proof. But, uh, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. You know what I mean? Like, it's like 95% fucking, uh, fucking confirmed that they do pay 50 bucks. I mean, they only make $300 a stream. So, why would it be so far-fetched to fucking think he pay only pays them 50 bucks? Dave Chandler is a family friend of Aaron's parents. Okay. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. All right. Uh, it was, yeah, so this was just something small. Like I said, I, we need to fucking separate and attack. Separate and attack. If, if you don't get anything from this stream, just understand that. Separate Aaron's fucking close constituents and then attack. Right? Not not a hard pretty concept. logical. Pretty logical, right? So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I do extend the fucking, uh, extend my fucking invite to Johnny. If he ever fucking decides to jump ship, there's a home for you, sir, and your ALS over here. On Win by Two Radio. All right, uh, so let's check this shit out, guys. We have a couple more things to get to here. I'm just trying to breeze through a lot of this shit because, I mean, I look at the time and it's like totally. Yeah, fucked. we're dwindling it down here. I mean, we still have some time left. It's only two, almost three o'clock. Three, yeah. three o'clock on the Eastern time. We got like two and a half hours left or so. Uh, but holy shit, dude! I mean, three hours and forty minutes on Steel Toe. That's pretty fucking remarkable, Solid, dude. And imagine it quick too. Imagine, dude, you tune into a show, you tune in them hour one, and they're talking about Steel Toe, and then you tune into them hour four, and they're talking about Steel Toe. Still fucking going, dude. Hey, at least fucking uh, feels like no time passed either. I know. It's like hour fucking five, almost four. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> crazy. Shit. Let's go. So wait. So we can meet your goal. Yes, hey, if you guys want to donate, we'll do an extra half hour of show. Just make sure to hit our goal. So look, the cans are looking pretty light today. Yeah, like what the fuck, guys? If you want us to hit our goal, we're going to need at least 30 bucks from everybody. Start hitting those uh, donations right now, guys. Let's see what we can do. Hit that song, Hombre. I don't have a song. I'll just put it on this because yes, I have sir, on the board. Dude. Yeah, let's keep that. Oh yeah, well, Wait, dude. Let's Citizen go. M. Citizen M is a. Uh, I'm not sure if he just got here, but he is a frequent flyer in the Steel Toe chats. Says at RS. Uh, did who already ban me? I don't know what that means. Did who? All right. Oh, he's asking. Hey, it's else. not scamming people if we acknowledge that we're begging. Okay. All right, hold on. Uh, thanks. Says check your Twitter, boys, with the two bucks. Appreciate that, man. Let's check the Twitter. Okay, we do have a notification. <laughs> oh, shit. Because they're taking your money and they're not doing anything with it. Wow. They yeah. say it's to maintain and fund the show. They haven't invested in the show in two years. Now, check this shit out. <laughs> oh, they're coming in. Let's go, baby. Who? The ch the Super Chats. <laughs> Are they? Yeah. I know we just got two from... So oh, look at that. Fuck, man. We're not even begging. Yeah, we're, ju we're just fucking around, dude. I'm just kidding. We're having fun. We're it's a fun show. Fun, Very fun show. Very fun yes. week. Yes. That's all I aspire to be is a fun fucking show. That's it, baby. <laughs> I want an extra half hour show. <laughs> extra. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. All right, check this out. We just got this uh, from Thanks over on Twitter. This is pretty fucking remarkable shit right here. Wait, where's my Twitter? Oh, God. What are you about to unleash on me, bro? Well, I just exit out of the live chat. Let me pull that back up, and then we'll, we'll go over to thanks. Holy shit, dude. What an excursion, huh? No, the problem is not that they give the money. It's what they do with it. Dude, Clem, it's okay. People are going to cope. It's fine. I know, dude, but it's just, you know, I know. they it, put it, words in your mouth. It infuriates you. I get it, dude. I, I Trust me. I understand because it infuriates me. But people, again, we're not here. Rome wasn't built in a day. God didn't create the earth in fucking a day. He, he needed seven, right? Sure. So th that's why we're here. We're like the fucking, the bridge gap, right? We're like, we're showing people that there's another way and that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that you don't have to fucking accept what you're hearing on a daily basis from Steel Toe, that there's another fucking, a whole new world out there, bro, to be explored. You don't need to fucking rely on Steel Toe Morning Show and their goal every day. It's not your responsibility. That's the whole thing. They put it on you and they make it seem like it's your responsibility. And it's then, not. And people get like, 
uh, they have they build these weird relationships because Steel Toe shouts him out in the chat, or he makes him feel good, or he makes you a moderator, and it's like you know, guys, you know we have to. It's time to wake up. I I can't like hold your hand through this whole thing. But let's check this out. Uh, this is from Thanks uh, over on Twitter. We're just gonna bring over the Twitter page here. This is pretty awesome. All right, so I don't know. It's just like a fucking picture of Aaron <laughs> with tattoos and fucking he's like a fucking uh, uh, a fucking carnival worker here with the balloon. So it says trending Twitter news and fake WWE beefs with other YouTubers and comedians. Bonus 30 plus minutes of show that you're held at 9.4. <laughs> oh, shit. Stoney's Bar and Grill gift card, not guaranteed. Uh, illegal monthly prize lottery show details and daily show. Oh my god! With a lot of math in order to swindle viewers, thirty percent of super chats are not counted in goal. Ha ha, sucker! I am a car. I'm a carny after all. April's forehead, uh, easy target. Uh, and it, it, the main point here is point of view. You're watching Steel Toe. Wow! Thanks. Wow. That is fucking. He just put that together. I think. That's fucking lit, dude. Let me give that a like and a retweet. Oh, we love that. That's fucking unreal. Wow, that's awesome, dude. Shout out to Thanks in the chat and on Twitter. Guys, if you have anything you guys want to send, we uh, you know, love that. Love that. We uh, you know, there every all our information is uh, below here on in the description of this video and all of our videos. Uh, you could hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, wherever is easier for you. And uh, you know, if it's definitely show worthy, like this fucking photo was, we'll play it on the show, man. Uh, we're just trying to get to the bottom of this whole steel tear thing and trying to uncover a lot of truths. I think I'm gonna cancel out a lot of what I had. Yeah, so I could cancel that out. All right, so this was you. You want to see Aaron fucking censoring people in real time? Ban- I hate that, bro. Banning people from like, imagine if we did that, Clem. Imagine if people were fucking talking shit and we were just like, "Oh, fucking get him out of here." Yeah, dude. Uh, I mean, I think that would go to show just how unprofessional they are. You know what I mean? You can all just censor because they're saying something that you don't like, right? So I'm gonna fucking ban you, right? Like, bro, you're on the internet, homie, right? You know what I mean? It's shit's gonna happen, exactly. <laughs> So let's watch this in real time. This is Aaron coping. And then, guys, uh, I think we're going to take a break right after this. Uh, it's only going to be about a five minute. We're just going to slurp down a cigarette real quick and then uh, take a piss. Come back, and then we're going to get into the uh, Aaron and Steel Toe breaking YouTube's uh, terms of service. We're going to try to call Midland Armory, possibly Stoney's. And then I think we're just going to slice out the Brendan Schaub shit, and we're just going to get into the Two Bears, Tom Segura shit, because I think he's been watching our fucking content. So let's watch. This is Aaron fucking coping and banning people from his chat in real time. So let's check it out. What a piece of shit. Um, That they would do that. Uh, I don't know, I guess. Yeah. So somebody uh, from that subreddit's really upset, and they're just getting really... They're just getting really, really sad that we're not. Yeah, we're not giving you the energy. Nothing they say is accurate. I, I told you. Like, here's what I told you. I told you that when you stopped giving them oxygen, they were going to get more and more desperate and sad. And that's exactly what they're doing. Oh they're getting God. really desperate now. Oof, that is a stinky cologne. Oh, so shit. I don't think stinky. we're going to be giving much more of it away. First of all, our, our... It's a stinky cologne, guys. It P.U. It smells. Holy fuck. He is something else, man. Well, I mean, we found out earlier that April, she didn't want nothing to do with this. So th- it, this is all a lie to begin with, right? We have to tie the fucking, you know, pieces together here, sure. right? This isn't it's Aaron's like a puzzle. This isn't Aaron's fucking, you know, uh, he, 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 he his come to Jesus moment, right? Where he's like, you know what? All of a sudden now, guys, I'm fucking, I'm the moral fucking champion. I fucking take the moral high ground in every situation that I don't need to get into the fucking mud. Uh, no pun intended to the butt shark. Uh, it's April in his fucking ear. She doesn't want to go through with She's this. She's wearing the pants here. She's wearing the pants. Whew, sounds about right. You know, it's it's unreal. So for him to say that, it's just another example of a lie. So, I mean, we could just we could play lies all day from Steel Toe. We could do a six-hour show oh on Steel Toe. Oh, my God, bro. We'd never run out of content that way. Dude, literally, we could probably do a six, seven-hour show on Steel Toe. 
And then this was Steel Toe uh, Reddit. So I think they were in our chat today. I'm not sure if they still are. Hopefully they still are. Shout out to the Steel Toe Boring Reddit. Uh, they are crushing it over there. And uh, this was Steel Toe Boring Reddit actually donated. I think it was like five bucks or ten bucks to Aaron live. And then Aaron kicks him from the chat. Wow, what a cocksucker. Uh, thank you very much to uh, Steel Toe Boring Show for uh, the 10 bucks. I appreciate that, buddy, but you're gone. Oh, because shit. Because you're being a dick bag. Uh, that's fine. I mean, look, if you guys want to hang on to that, go for it. But wow, look at... Steel Toe. Whoa, hold on. Shut the... up, Opie. Check that fucking out. Look how uncomfortable April is. Check this out. Fine. I mean, look, if you guys... Look at the fucking sip. He's slogging it back. Wow. Crazy shit. You just gave me money, so now I'm going to ban your ass. I'm banning you. Thanks for the money, but you're out. You're fucking out. Like he's an umpire. Go for it, but we're moving yeah. on. <laughs> you're uh, 335 away from today's Dude, goal. there's not a clip I can uh, turn on where he's not the mentioning the goal. Uh, if you want to charge that back, you want to get. I, if I can give it back to you, I will. I mean, your obsession no, is a little. Fuck yeah, if you, your obsession <laughs> is a little the cause. weird. Go yeah. ahead. Your obsession's wow. a little weird. You should probably move on for your own health. I don't really know nope. how much that's going to get you. This is healthy. I'm sorry. Look, look, man, you took a swing and you missed. What can I tell you? Onward and upward for our show. As far as what Marquis did, I or said, I think Kendrick is doing very well today. I think. Him and J. Cole have some good things. I cannot stand on. her voice. You know, I just don't know about number two. I want to rip my headphones I out. wouldn't put him at two or three either. Nope. Yeah. Yule Gibbon says those guys are so cringe. They really are. I mean, Ooh. Oof, I wouldn't want to. I'd rather be me than them. That's for sure. Bam Margera. <laughs> and then another Twitter regurgitated clip. Bam Margera that I seen on the Twitter fucking headlines. Uh, is drinking himself to death. Breaking news. Not a single original thought. So that was Aaron, real time, banning... Banning motherfuckers. Our fucking good friends at the Steel Toe yeah, Boring like Show. Yeah, like, you can't ban the Steel Toe Boring Show. They're the homies, literally. And then coping, saying, I'd rather be myself than them. Oh, cool, because you're crushing the game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I need to take a breather here, guys. Let's go on a quick fucking five-ish minute break, six, seven minute, five, six, seven minute break. Everyone, uh, this is the point of the show. We get up, stretch your legs, have a cigarette, smoke some weed if you're not already... Uh, we, Smoke weed every day. we have a great back half of the show. We're going to finish the Steel Toe coverage. We have the whole fucking, uh, their prize fucking show that they do. We have how they break the YouTube, uh, terms of service. And if nothing else, we have them lying time after time after time after time. So we're going to take a quick break, smoke a cig, and then we're going to come back, regroup ourselves, and we're going to finish out the second half of the show. Hopefully everyone's having a, a good time. And most importantly... They're having fun today. This has been a very fun show. Very fun show. Very fun week. Bob Levy uh, in the chat says, hey, boys, uh, great show. Got to get you two on some shows real soon. Hey, Bob, uh, we appreciate you tuning in, man. That's pretty fucking, uh, it's pretty dope, dude. We were just kind of talking about that earlier, man. Uh, so you might want to rewind that. I don't want to spend a whole fucking, a whole another five minutes. Segment. On, yeah, I'm going over on that. But I'm going to go uh, smoke a quick bogey, Clem, if you want to join We'll be back yes, here in sir. five minutes, guys. Don't touch that dial. We appreciate everyone tuning in. We'll be back in five. Stick around. Regroup in that time, and we'll see everyone then. Thank you for everyone tuning in thus far. We'll be right back. BRB.
We're coming back, guys. We're coming back. Thank you for sticking around. miserable and depressed are you tired of not having fun while the world passes you by well now you're in luck because thanks to the steel toe morning show we can all have fun again hey what do you mean we're not having fun we're not fun enough for you with countless hours of regurgitated twitter trends so katie perry we're gonna one start second with guys katie perry today don lemon could be gone oh yeah constant interruptions to beg and plead to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the like button. Let's get up to 200. Everybody take a, a moment. We're also about 20 subs away from 9,200. All right, everybody hit the thumbs up button. Let's get to 300 by 9 o'clock. And then let's get to 400 by the end of the show. What do you think? Everybody hit that old like button. And of course, how could we forget the infamous can rattling segment? Yes. Good job, Steel oh, Show. Shit. Guess what? There you guys go. You're crushing. It yes. is time about now to fire up the music. Oh, well, here we go. So let's see if we can knock it out. We are 145 away from doing overtime today. Uh, 55 bucks away from this morning's goal. Streamlabs, PayPal, Super Chats, memberships. Uh, let's knock that out. We got one hour before we rattle the cans and play the music. Alex never understood truly how to have fun until he found the Steel Till Morning Show. I never knew there would be a light at the end of my depression until I found the Steel Toe Morning Show. Now Alex watches Steel Toe Morning Show for nine hours a day and understands the true meaning of fun. Steel Toe taught us to have fun, and he could teach you too. Thanks, Steel Toe! Guys, we're having a fun show. I'm taking a page out of Gino's book. Fun. So that's fun. Fun uh, show! fun show today we hope you uh stick around for we're it we're coming back uh, we we're coming back share it. we hope you hit the like button like button's fun uh we hope you subscribe to the channel we got a nice little bump yesterday we'll talk about that not chaka hey. oh you are hey. a gay i'm Aww. shameless subscribe hey. to the channel we got a nice little bump I'm yesterday fucking we'll shameless oh all right now fucking stop it it's in the 80s and i'm losing my shit <laughs> stop it now we got to 9,100. I'm so happy with that number. That is fantastic to have 9,100. Don't put it back in the 80s like we started there today. He is beat red, you guys. I You're going am to kill him. full of sweat. You have to resubscribe. If you or a loved one is struggling to have fun, you may find the Steel Toe Morning Show twice a day. It's right here. <laughs> Make great. sure you consult with your doctor today. Do not watch Steel Toe if you're allergic to fun. Side effects may include nonstop smiling and uncontrollable urges to donate. We're coming back, guys. Thank you for sticking around to this uh, Saturday edition of In the Pain Podcast. Yo, yo. We are coming back now. Let's go. Go. Let's go. <laughs> but, 
Vlad the Dragon said, looking like laser tagging oh, there. Oh, we're laser tagging. Pew, 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 pew. Tea bagging, laser tagging, everything. If Steel Toe was our target, we would be laser tagging it all day. Lucky for you, Steel Tag is our target. Bob Levy for life. Metallica. Let's fucking go. Shout out to Bob Levy joining us on today's channel. You never know who's you never know who's gonna pop up on the streams. Last week we had Opie and Gino, and this week we got Bob. Man, Gino was here today too. Gino was here today. Yeah. He might have left after we were fucking talking shit on him, but maybe. <laughs> it's all right, yeah, he guys. He knows how to have fun, though. That's for sure. He knows how to have fun. This has been a very fun show. Very fun show. Very fun week. It's it's a fun fucking show, dude. It's all, it's all what we do. Steel Towers for life. Yes, sir, dude. You drop that rizzle on him. How's everyone doing? Everyone uh, enjoyed that little break, man? Everyone get their uh, fucking cancer sticks in? They're fucking smoking weed? Uh, how's everyone doing, man? Smoking that dope. Hopefully everyone's having a great Saturday, man. I know we are, dude. Holy shit. This has been a fucking great show. Top notch. I can't believe we've really spent four hours talking about Steel Toe Morning Show. Would you Let's say go, he went dude. hard in the paint? He went hard in the motherfucking paint. I'd say we went hard in the paint. Vlad the Dragon says, I smoke nonstop inside I live alone. That's, Dude, you know what, man? More power to you, dude. I wish we could smoke fucking inside, but it's like, you don't want to turn your walls yellow and yeah, fucking... turn into... It'll be a smelly, stanky ashtray. Although, it, like, it, it's like, I don't want that, but I do respect people who could pull that off. You sure, know what I mean? sure. You got to... Paint, bro. You got to use your, you know what I mean? Paint your ceilings. It gets yellow and stinky. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of work. It really uh, puts the... It seeps into the fucking carpentry. Puts the stank in the stank toe. Ugh. Um, I ain't want no stanky leg. Bob Levy loves love. Bob Levy's awesome, man. And and Aaron fucking, you know, turned his back on Bob, which was kind of a fucking low blow. Dude. Wouldn't expect anything less from him, though. Smoke green inside. Yeah, well, we do smoke green inside, but there's a way to do it. Like, we have to, like, overventilate fucking what we do. Uh, Anton says, I smoke inside and my house is fine. Wash your balls. I mean, I, how do you wash your balls? I mean, fucking. Well, we certainly aren't using Tom Segura's ball rag. No, we're to not. Wash our walls or our balls. Yeah, it's like just go outside, smoke outside. Dub says I smoke outside, and you know what? Sometimes you have to, right? Right now it's like fifty fucking something degrees. It's good to get outside. Yeah, you need a breath of fresh air. You want to fucking stretch the old legs out. You know what I mean? If you smoke inside, get a window fan. Exactly, you need a window fan, especially if you're smoking weed. That's what we do. We get the window fan, pop it in the window. And, you, dude, it's like a fucking super ventilation system in Absolutely. There. It's amazing. What's the thing? You stuff the dryer sheets into the toilet paper roll? Yeah, but th that's a little different. That's like if you have your last resort. You're trying to that's cover like it up. That's some high school shit right there. Definitely. I used to do that I've back in the day. I've done it. Uh, Aaron doesn't like anyone, even his, <laughs> even oh, his own kids. Well, yeah, that's sad. The super chats would beg to differ. Yeah, well, <laughs> 15000 a month, guys. Just Can't remember that. Can't pay my child support. Uh, let's see. Call me, um, what's that say? McCuntus? McCunta? McCunta? McCuntia. McCuntia. Sorry, my eyes are a little bad, guys. Uh, the steel toe always talks about. That steel toe always talks about. I don't know what that's referring to, but. All they always talk about is money. That's it. Yeah. And likes. Dry, uh, Om Om says dryer sheets spoof. Yeah, dude. Uh, we used to run that back in the day. The dryer sheets and yep. the fucking... Uh, the toilet paper fucking roll. It used to do good, dude. I mean, it used to serve its purpose. Yeah, absolutely. Takes that weed stank out. Josie Master says, love living in a state where it's legal. Uh, I'll smoke weed wherever I want. Hey, respect Hell to you. Hell yeah. Respect to you. Uh, are, someone says, well, call me McCuntis. Is that how you say my name? Call me McCuntis? Sorry, I can't see. Are, are you Mersh? I don't know who you're referring to. Am I Mersh? Do I look like Mersh to you? Come on now. We have higher standards here. Uh, Dub says, often true, not a drummer. DK says, uh, nah, Mersh sucks, bro. Don't watch Mersh. Yeah, dude, Mersh is, in, uh, Mersh is someone we're, we're going to have to look into as well. Uh, I mean, we found uh, Mersh sticking up for Chrissy and Gino and Aaron from Steel Toe. Mersh is sticking up for all these guys. So what does that tell you about him, right? If you guys all hate Steel Toe in the chat, then Mersh sticking up for Steel Toe, I mean, should tell you everything right there. 10-4. I'm just going to call you, call me McCunt. Call me McCuntia. I'm just going to call you, call you McCunt. Uh, DK says, thank you. Dub says, RTC. 
uh, XMMM212 says, Bob Levy is the goal. Yeah, well, you know, pretty accurate, I guess. Trying to catch up with you guys. Hopefully everyone had a good break, though. We have some more show to get into. We're going to go over... Uh, we're going to go over some more Steel Toe. We have a couple more clips. We have uh, Opie responding to Steel Toe. Then we have Steel Toe's response. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, the fucking furball. Uh, then we have Steel Toe's response to Opie. We're going to watch both of those. And then we're going to watch uh, the Ultimate Cope from Aaron, which was from yesterday. Uh, let's check the Twitter real quick. What Any a piece of shit. Anything popping off on Twitter? Got some notifications. All right. Nothing crazy. Uh, and then we're going to get into uh, the YouTube terms of service when it comes to running a lottery in your fucking YouTube streams. And then when it uh, refers to uh, selling guns. So we all know Aaron, uh, one of his sponsors is Midland Armory. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a gun manufacturer. And uh, Aaron pushes this fucking company. You know, as if it's nothing's wrong. You know, I'm pro Second Amendment just as the next guy. Al, I could probably speak for you as well. You're pro sure. Second Amendment. Fucking let the guns ride. Dude. Absolutely. But you can't do it on YouTube. You can't promote fucking gun sales. So we're going to actually call Midland Army, Armory here, I think, in a second. I don't know if the Steel Bears will like that, dude. Well, you know what? They're going to have to You better me. tread lightly, friend. Mm. Or I might go join the Steel Toe Morning Pod. You better dude. not, bro. I might. We'll have some fucking issues, 50 dude. bucks, dude. 50 fucking bucks, I bro. might be able to buy a new pair of Reeboks. Reeboks. You know what I'm saying? Can't believe you would cross me like that. Dude, you double, son of a bitch. Double cross and snaky motherfucker. All for 50 bucks. For 50, 50, 50. Uh, and then, guys, uh, after the Steel Toe coverage, we're going to do some Two Bears, One Cave coverage. Uh, I think Tom Segura has been watching our content, so we're going to see Tom's response. I made a clip uh, the other day. It was like probably like two weeks ago, honestly. Uh, and I made a clip that uh, you know Tom was talking about poor people and how they reuse washcloths. So Tom did a public service uh, announcement yesterday on Twitter, uh, kind of addressing the whole washcloth thing. So we're going to watch Tom and try to find out if uh, he's talking about us. And then we go into this Two Bears, One Cave live from fucking, uh, where were they at? Uh, live from Daytona 500. And uh, we're going to watch them kind of make asses of themselves. That, that, they're probably between Steel Toe, between Brendan Schaub, uh, Br uh Burt Kreischer, Tom Segura, I'm trying to think of anyone else major. Bobby Lee would be another big one. They're probably the five that, like, if we could create a Mount Rushmore and add one person to it, Bobby Lee would probably be on the outskirts, but it would be Burt, Tom, Aaron, and April, but that would just be one. It would just be one big fucking forehead. Frequent uh, flyers, for sure. Frequent flyers. Uh, Brendan Schaub would be number four, and then we would add Bobby Lee as, like, a small little statue at the bottom of Mount Rushmore. So uh, we have that coming up here, guys. But let's jump back into the Steel Toe coverage. Thank you for everyone who, uh, you know, stayed around and stuck around. Today has been fucking dope. We've been on air now for about four uh, hours and 12 minutes. We've yet to hit that goal. So make sure if you guys want us to do another fucking 26 minutes and 37 seconds worth of show, well, you know what to do. <laughs> um, all right, so let's get back into it, guys. I'm just kidding, by the way. If you don't have the money to donate, please do not donate to this show. I will feel fucking horrible if you do. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to hurt you. We want to help you. So we all know uh, one of Aaron's biggest fucking, besides Chad Zumach, one of Aaron's biggest guys he would talk about would be the Opster, Opie from Opie and Anthony, right? The legend. Uh, Opie this past week, guys, he he streams every day <clears throat> from his apartment yeah, 500 feet above New York City skylines or whatever the fuck it's called. It's kind of like a cheesy stream, but he's trying to adjust to the world of YouTubing, right? And a lot of people are asking him in his comment section, you know, what do you think about Steel Toe? What do you think about who are these podcasts? What do you think about this one and that one? I was even in Opie's stream yesterday at like 5 o'clock. I sent him 20 bucks for a super chat, and I asked him, I was like, yo, what's your thoughts on this whole Steel Toe thing? And uh, it, I, I didn't see this video. I wish I did because he didn't really say anything fucking groundbreaking that he said in this video we're about to play here. But essentially, he's saying Steel Toe is just another phony. So let's watch Opie uh, talk some shit on. Now, this has given me like a new, you know, f uh, found respect for Opie. You know what I mean? Before this, I, I just looked at Opie as like, ah, man, you know, you were, were, you were once like this fucking 
like radio legend, but now it's just like, uh, you know what I mean? It's, it's not what it used to be. And you're trying to recreate the magic, but as soon as he starts, uh, starts talking about steel toe man and shits on him the way he does. And what he says in this video actually is pretty fucking, uh, eye opening. So let's shout out to W for clipping this shouts out to W well, for this clip here. Yep. This OP clip. Yeah. He posted it this morning and he clipped it. This on the steel toe board Reddit. W man said win by two radio. I clipped that. He posted it this morning. Talking about Opie. Yeah. Well, this was from five days ago. This specific clip we're about to play. So I'm kind of confused. Oh, well, maybe he's got the clips uh, mixed up. Mixed up. Yeah. Because you didn't play it yet. No, a new he made a new clip. Oh, well, send it. If you guys Full have send, it, bro. send it. I'm, I'm curious to see. But this was from five days ago, and this was Opie's thoughts on Steel Toe. And uh, the title simply reads, Steel Toe is just another phony. Uh, and then we're going to watch Aaron's response to Steel Toe. So let's check it out, guys. Opie Radio. Steel Toe is another phony, another low-level phony. <clears throat> He's trying to get me on his podcast, and he was incredibly nice to me. And I didn't know anything about him. Like, ah, you know what? Maybe it's time to, like, maybe do some of these shows, right? And this guy was being incredibly nice. I'm a fan. I looked up to you when I was younger. All this really nice stuff. I'm so like, Steel Toe is in Opie's DM saying, yo, dude, like, it would be... We love you. We love you. It would be really great to have you on fucking our show, our Steel Toe show. You could help us beg for fucking uh, 100 extra dollars, and we'll pay you fucking <laughs> 25 out of that, right? Oh, they would love it. <laughs> they would love that, boy. But then we find out, uh, as soon as Opie, like, didn't respond or didn't pay him any mind or whatever the case was, Opie didn't get back to him. Steel Toe starts shitting on him. Opie saw that and said this. Oh. And then I followed him on Twitter. There, I, then I think there were a couple DMs. Got to get my story right. And then um, and I, I looked a little deeper. I'm like, you're trashing me on your... What are you doing? And then I told him, I called him out, and I, I think he said something like, my bad or whatever. And then I wished him... Uh, He's got the DMs. I wished him uh, all the best. I go, but I can't, I can't do your show. You're kind of two-faced. You were really, really nice to me. And then I did a little research and found out you were trashing me. But he's just another low-level podcast. Um, guarantee if you Google him, nothing comes up. Nothing comes up. His his claim to fame is beating up uh, other other podcasts. Woo! That is that is dangerous. I, and, 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 you know, OB, and I get it, right? You have to kind of say that. But, you know, it, I just hate that argument, guys. Like, I really... That was the first time I knew... Shut up, Jordan, Jim Norton. Anth How do I get this? Uh, Anthony and Jim Norton, everybody. But I just hate that argument from people. Like, they always, like, try to shit on people for talking about other people. It's like, that is the business, right? Like, sure. the business of entertainment is talking... Whether you don't have to talk shit, but as long as what you're saying is valid, it's there's valid. no problem, right? Exactly. You know, you don't have to necessarily talk shit, but as long as you're speaking facts and you're speaking about someone else, you're going to get somewhat of a boost. Like, that's just what it is. It's not like anyone trying to hide any, like, the secrets of fucking broadcasting exactly. or entertainment. Like, that's what the news does. The news talks about fucking the NBA and fucking what... You know, uh, Shaquille O'Neal did last week and fucking what Michael Jordan did this week and LeBron James and, you know, they talk about everything else that doesn't pertain to them, right? And that's like sort of what everyone else does. That's what Opie and Anthony, like we're based on. They talk shit on everybody. So I, I, I just, I, th that, I don't like that argument. Uh, and Steel Toe uses that a lot. Oh man, they just got to use us to fucking boost their clout. It's like, dude, you do the same fucking thing, dude. So, I mean, either you're a giant hypocrite or you're just a fucking moron. Uh, but someone was asking where they could send uh, the clip at, so I, I sent it. Just send it to our uh, Twitter, and well, my personal Twitter, and we'll check it out. Dude, I really got to stop smoking, bro. I got this fucking wheeze. That wheeze, bro. Well, it could be allergies <laughs> too. Clem, why are you putting your fucking cash app in the chat, <laughs> I'm just dude? fucking with people. Dude, I'm going to have to kick you from the chat, <laughs> dude. You're stirring it up, bro. Don't you ban me. Can you fucking put your cash app in there, <laughs> Wow, what's what's Steel Toe gonna think when they see that, bro? Well, I'm making fun of them. I'm clowning them. Yeah, but they don't know that. <laughs> they think you're serious. No, then you know what they're gonna Look say. At this. Look at this guy. He's asking people to send money to his cash app. No, He's a phony. You know what they're gonna? They have no room, dude. Because I'll just pull out the Shaka doll and blast them full blast. Wait, uh, 
Hold on. Uh, Om Om says, for two bucks, appreciate it, man. But he says, uh, will you please play Dr. Dr. Laura racist rant on Censored? I don't even know what the fuck that is, to be quite honest. Dr. Laura? Send that over to us on Twitter. We'll check it out. If we can play it without getting this episode pulled, we will. But if it's something like, like I don't know, Robert Downey Jr. doing blackface fucking some nut shit, then I don't know. Uh, send it to win by two Twitter. Yes. Uh, w yes. Yeah, send it to our Twitter and not actually win, don't send it to the win by two Twitter. Cause there is a win by two Twitter, but that is just like updates of like what we do when we're performing and shit. Um, send it to either my Twitter or Alex's Twitter, and then we will check it in. Uh, please don't give money. Someone says, yeah, don't fucking, yeah, don't give money. I mean, how fucking disgusting is that? Save your money. Save your money. I mean, if you feel if you if you have extra money, then do it. But even at that, guys, it's like ugh, save your shit, dude. Go fucking buy yourself a fucking Happy Meal, from you know what I mean? Do something. We don't need it that bad. Do, do a, an act of kindness. How about that? I mean, the option is there for you guys to to do whatever for. But like, I'm not. I can't like send it back to I you. I can't physically stop you. But it's like you know, I'm not gonna sit here and beg for it. You know what I mean? That's kind of ridiculous. So, all right, let's keep watching. This was uh, Steel Toe's response to Opie. Now, we just watched Opie go off on a tirade on how Steel Toe was this phony, a low-level podcast, and just, you know, talking shit about other podcasts, how edgy. That's what Opie's had to say about Steel Toe. What did Steel Toe have to say about Opie, you ask? Well, let's watch. I'm going to keep my eye on those DMs, too, see if anything comes in. All right, let's check it out. Steel Toe, Corey Adam, you fucking alleged pedophile, or not pedophile, molester you. Chester the molester with the fucking mustache. So this is Aaron going to be shitting on Opie. And uh, Aaron, I thought, claimed to be out of the business of shitting on people. I thought it was beneath him to shit on people. The pro wrestling thing, right? I thought that was fucking off limits to now shit on people. Well, apparently not, guys. He's right back uh, at it on Wednesday with his favorite Co-host Corey Adam, double chin comedy. Is he his favorite? Look at that double chin. Imagine fucking, like, yo, change your camera angle, angle, dog. Well, he's trying to show off the molester stash. Yeah, but it's like it's put, a flex. He's flexing. If I had a double chin like that, I would put the camera above my fucking head. Dude, you would just turn the camera off. Uh, yeah, there would, it would be an audio only podcast. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck. Let's let's look at the miracle <laughs> God hath made of Aaron, dude. Look at this shit, dude. Focus on him. No, we're going to focus on Corey. We got to take Corey down in order to take Adam down, dude. Look at this. Sad excuse of a fucking... Corey Adams, that molester stash guy. The mole- there he is, right there on screen. Yeah, he is hard to look at. That's true. The double. He's got the double chin rocking. He's got the fucking Xbox headset. He's got the fucking glasses from the Dollar Tree. He's got this fucking mustache like fucking Mario and Luigi. And he's going to, you know, hop on here and call himself a fucking proud co-host of the Steel Toe Morning, morning Show. Get the fuck out of here, dude. He's what, proud. He's a proud host. What am I watching, dude? I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone, bro. It's like, is this even for real life? This is inter- internet entertainment 2023. I guess, right? I guess this is what we've succumbed to. Is this what people, like, have accepted in their lives now? Like, they wake up and they're like, I can't wait for Steel Toe and Corey's double chin. I can't wait. Give we're me at, more double chin. We're having fun now. This is a fun it's fucking show. It's a fun show. fucking it's show. A very fun show. Very fun show. Very fun week. It's fun, dude. We're having fucking fun. Are you not having fun? I'm having a plethora of fun. You better be having fun. Dude, dude. I am. You better. I love it. I don't want to fucking catch you over there not having fun. Oh, dude, right? I'm having a ball if over not, here. If you're not having fun, dude. I'm at a Chuck E. Cheese ball pit, but not with Corey Adams, because we all know how that's going to Because you might try to touch dude. your butthole, dude. Oh, my God. No, there's no room in my grundle for your stash, sir. <laughs> so back off. Back the fuck off, brother. All right, let's check this out. Let, let's see what Aaron had to say about fucking Opie responding to Aaron. Uh, so Aaron apparently was out of the business, but hey, soon as they, soon as I'm out, they drag me back in. However, the saying goes, I don't fucking know. We took you down. And we're Check like, it out. Uh, yeah, no, I more donations. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, it's not how it works. Uh, e Graham says begging time. Yes, it's begging time. How do you not understand that? You got it, buddy. Need Trump with twenty says shut the f up. Karen said let's go overtime. All right, we got it. <laughs> 
There we go, guys. Call it a day on the chipping oh. in. We knocked it out. Every, in 30 dude, minutes literally, Clem, I'm like, sure that I, I said this earlier as a joke. It's every fucking clip, dude. Every clip I turn on from these guys, it's just beg, 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 beg. beg, beg. beg. It's crazy. They should call it the Steel Toe begging, begging Show. show. Right. Or just, just go to fucking Kensington Avenue with a little poster that you need like 10 bucks, and then it'll happen for you. That's all. Like, Why no. you got to bring it to the internet? Dude. How Taking about, advantage of all these people that have lost their way. How about this one? Go get a job. Oh, man. He go work. That, that's not going to work, dude, because, you you know, it's uh, time consuming to have a job. Well, then he can't do his podcast. Mm, then true. Day. True. His podcast is his job. See, it, it's ultimately up to the audience again. And, you know, we can turn on Aaron and talk shit on him to the cows come home. Right. But until we separate his audience from him and then his co-workers from him there's no winners here there's no winners it, sure. you know uh, chad zuma could talk shit all the live long day but until that happens we're gonna just be fucking running around in circles so that is my i think that is the goal that and that is the goal to separate the chat and separate the co-workers and then attack it's really the whole theme of today's show trying to give you guys an inside scoop of how to fucking do this but let's watch let's see what uh aaron had to say about opie that hurts E. Graham. He's not very happy about uh, the begging time being successful. Oh, yeah? I Look, man, I'm sorry. if I, I, I didn't know that we hurt so many people's feelings. It's really weird to me how many existing. people are just about asking. It's so weird to me that how many yeah. people's feelings, you know, it's so weird to me, man. You know, it's just so weird. Sound, I, I, I don't get it, man. It's just so weird. You sound like Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. No, but dude, it's just so weird, man. How people are just so, they're just so mad at us, man. It's so weird. I don't understand. I don't get it. Look at my face. I have a fucking fag face. My face looks like a fag. <laughs> <laughs> my mustache is fucking gay. And I have a double chin the size of fucking Antarctica. Don't it's forget so weird. the allegations. And the allegations. Yeah, I have allegations from the Minnesota fucking Righteous Network. But it's so weird why people hate us, man. And we just beg on the internet for fucking five hours a day. But it's so weird. I don't understand why people hate us, man. I don't get it. I just want to be liked. Fuck. You suck. I mean, they really, they have a tough time with it. I mean, if you look. You guys, if you guys want to come here and what do you ask, think it is. Do you think it's like jealousy or what? It is. It's they, they no. see our show, and it's not like a show that was anything. Hey, like hey, we didn't breaking news, like, clam! Breaking news. We're just all jealous. We are fucking jealous. Damn, dude. He cracked the code. Got us. He, he called got, us dude, red-handed. It's, red like, it's like Da Vinci's code. Called us red-handed, dude. Shit. We're fucking. Should we just retire now? Is it over? It's done. It's over for... All right, dude. All right. I guess so, man. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Fuck. No, you guys hurt my feelings. <laughs> Shit. We're fucking jealous, bro. I'm fucking That's jealous, it. dude. You're right, That's man. That's it. I'm jealous I'm of just... this. Imagine being jealous of this. <laughs> this power crew. If I was jealous of this, bro, I would jump face first off the fucking Empire State Building, bro. Oh, my face God. Face fucking first. Jesus Christ. Fucking gay wrists. Look at the gay wrists. I don't think I could fucking try to get my wrist to do that. And then it's just fucking. Yeah, His hands just going the opposite way. Why doesn't no one like us, man? Everyone's turning. We're on to you, Corey. And your alleged fucking crimes. We're going to catch all of you in action committing your crimes. It's only a matter of time before they expose themselves. Imagine tuning into a show and you're like watching a host like yell at their TV saying like, that they're gonna these guys? And saying that they're gonna catch him in the crimes. <laughs> wow. Mean, the jig is up, Corey <laughs> and Aaron. We're on the we're detectives, Corey. Like we're 1950s gangsters. <laughs> the jig is up, Corey. Stop uh, begging for money on the internet. Let's keep Anywhere watching. Else, we didn't get a rub from another thing. We just kind of built it. And they're like, fuck these guys. They're no better than me. I can do it. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, dude, none of us are arguing with you. Like, none of us are telling you you can't or you shouldn't. This is really upsetting you for some reason. And I, I, I mean, it's fun. We like it when you come in the chat and we can kind of pick on you a little bit. But uh, I, I don't know. It seems to be bothering you and causing you problems in your life. I, I would recommend you just leave it, like, you just let it go and move on to something else. It doesn't, it, it seems like unnecessary baggage that you don't need to be carrying. 
Uh, Granny Loves Anal says, Corey hurts me on a daily basis, so I'm used to it. It's just easy to hurt you, Granny. All I have to do is quote your shit back to you. I can't Not stand this that, one. He's also I cannot a stand this one. <laughs> he is. He's a, uh, he's a goddamn fan. Right right now to get, yeah, for me to get through. Drop. Where'd it go? God yeah. damn it. Is he wearing there an is. XFL hat? Like feds in your stream? Well, now you got it, yeah. bud. See? It's that's going to be Wearing an XFL hat. What a cornball. That sounds like My favorite good. one is still... Uh, and he's doing... Look at this. One of his. Look at this. I'll suck a dick to be a super villain. Look at this. He's doing fucking his own drops on his show. <laughs> look at Aaron's oh, face. Oh, He's shit. disgusted, dude. Yeah, look at his eyes. He's oh, beating out of the skull, dude. Fuck. He is disgusted. Wow. Why are you doing drops on my I show? I didn't even notice that Aaron had a shitty goatee. That's what this guy's name's about. Aaron's shitty goatee. He just He's trying to grow it out. Oh, wow. It's unreal, dude. Like, if you came on the show when we do the Skype shows, right, on, like, Tuesdays and shit, and you started playing your own fucking drops that were, like, not worked into the show in any way, shape, or form, I'd fucking hang up the Skype call <laughs> five seconds, bro. <laughs> and the fact that, I mean, look at this. This freeze frame tells it all right here. He knows he's fucking trying this fucking bit out. He thinks it's killing Look, and he thinks it's funny. He thinks it's crushing, yeah, he's dude. loving it. He's like, bro, I got him, dude. This is going to be fucking hilarious, brother. <laughs> yeah. And then Aaron's like, bro, you fat he's piece about of to shit. <laughs> like, throw his head through the wall. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, if I didn't have to beg for another forty-five bucks, I wouldn't. Be <laughs> I wouldn't here. do this. <laughs> Damn, <dude. laughs> we're just watching what it all on Ravel Live. What a yeah, bitch. It, it is a train wreck, dude. You shave that dirt off your fucking face, dude. Yeah, it looks like shit. Dude. Yeah, oh my god. Oh god. He Help looks me. like fucking who's that super villain dude from the X Men? Oh my god. Ah, uh, super villain. From yeah, the yeah, dude. He's got the yellow fucking suit on. Oh my god. Wolverine? No, no, he's a villain. Oh, it's not Mysterio because he's got a fishbowl head, <laughs> but it's a guy like Mysterio and he's got a fucking goatee. His is a nice goatee, though, because yeah. he's an animated cartoon, Character. but it's like Aaron seen that and was like, oh, I'm going to grow a goatee to try to seem more manly. Right. And just didn't work. Yeah, you just look more like a bitch, dude. You look like a fucking tool. You look like a fucking. No, it's not Nightcrawler. You look like a, he looks like a 15 year old fucking trying to get hit in puberty for the first time. Exactly. Check it out. Well, I mean, he's gonna talk shit on open, and that's what we're trying to get to. I mean, there's no people are getting. Hold on, time out, time out, time out. Make you. People are now guessing in the chat. See what you have done now, Clay. You you talk about X Men. I'm gonna find it. You talk about X Men, and now everyone is guessing in the chat, and they're all fucking trying to fucking figure this out. So let's figure it out together, guys. We're gonna figure this out because Alex has this great idea of uh, a supervillain from X Men who grew a fucking mustache that looks similar to Adam or Aaron rather. Let's call him Adam. Uh, don't take them seriously, M. Okay. Uh, I thought you meant Corey is uh, re- retoed. No, not toad. I'll find it. Is it uh, Vindicator? Corey is a blob. That blob. I get Corey's the blob. Yeah. <laughs> That's a super villain. I'd pay to see. That was an easy, easy comparison. Mr. Hey, is it Mr. Sinister? Uh. No, it's not Mr. Sinister because his costume's not yellow, but his goatee is kind of similar. No, the villain, villain. Zill- okay, villain. Yeah, he was in the episode with the Juggernaut in the animated series. Fuck, man. Kane? No. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. I don't know, guys. We need help. It, you would only know it from the animated cartoon series. Well, Aaron M. Holt's shitty goatee he says... Aaron trying to grow the goatee because April said she was attracted to Red Bar's beard. Ooh, that's breaking news. I didn't know that. That's pretty interesting. Is it Sabretooth? No. It, I, I got I to just find his name. It's the guy from the Asgardian Wars X-Men comic book. Dude, this is a deep cut, bro. I know. Man, this better be worth it. The payoff better be fucking blow my socks off, man. Because this is like a huge left turn. Granted, the show is about taking left turns, but nonetheless, we're get yeah, Google it, Google it. Well, if you couldn't find it, what makes no, you think I, I found? Could... I found it. I'm saying I brought it up on my phone. Well, send it to me. Send it to me. Full send. Time. Too late. It won't. <clears throat> Someone says. Oh uh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, Gargamel. I don't know his name. I got, the, I got the picture though. Send it. How's that? Now, granted. His beard. I know, I know. It's morph. Someone says is a lot better. 
Chat, dude, this better be crazy. It's the guy on the left. All right, you sent it? Now, his beard is nice. Yeah, I sent it to your messenger. So now, who is this now? This uh, is someone who Aaron thought he could be? No, it looks like he just seen his beard and was like, you know what? I could grow a beard like that. Like the thin goatee with the hair on the bottom. This guy. That guy, yeah. That Yellow costume, fucking goatee, <laughs> and a little pube chin strap, dude. I can see it. You see it? That's Aaron M. Holt That's right Aaron there, right there, dude. Aaron M. Holt, everyone. Al. Hey, we appreciate it, man. Jack and his swag. Jared Fogle. Yo, he does look like Jared Fogle. Yeah, that's the running joke on the fucking boring show. But, uh, all right, guys, are, are we all are we all caught up, Al? You good? Yeah, we're good, buddy. We're good. All right. And let's the, we got the blob and the Asgardian wizard, so get, we're good. Let's get back to the show. How's that sound? I like it. All right, uh, so Aaron is going to be uh, rebutting uh, Opie in this instance. Opie was talking a little shit. About Aaron, and Aaron is going to say this. Let's watch. A supervillain. Right. Uh, uh, That's kind of crazy. He's, he's just having that. fun. I, well, I heard I that mean, first. Oh, okay. And then right. saw the go see. Is. Otherwise, oh, it's just, it's just kind of, it, it's, it's wasted energy, I think, at that point. All right, Corey, I'm going to open these up. Somebody, uh, somebody decided to get a little lippy. Uh, and we're going to play that last. We've got we got a bunch of other Opie clips. We we try to check up on Opie uh, every week or so or every two weeks. We try to check and see what Opie's up to. And uh, Opie decided to take a little quick 60-second uh, 60, 60 uh, shot at Steel Toe here, which uh, I, I got to be honest with you, fair enough. I mean, certainly we've taken our shots at Opie before. But uh, Opie, when he fires back at Steel Toe, is usually kind of you know it's it's real quick, it's in and out, it's like uh, where, where's the where's the drop? Why would I get involved with a Steel Toe? Exactly. Yeah, I mean well, that, I gotta, that's uh, what Opie. Yeah, but it. I guess we must have bothered him more lately. You know what it might be, Corey? Because the first clip, the first clip, he's talking about who are these podcasts. Opie has two clips. He's talking about who are these podcasts, and then he's going to talk about Aaron. So that was just a setup. Now this is Aaron responding to Opie. Let's watch. Well, you, you ain't getting that. God damn it! Well, I was going to cast you as Matthew McConaughey and her as Kate Hud and Anthony as Kate Hudson, and now you're fucking. It was going to be so good, Opie. Damn it! Well, at least he's done talking about Opie and Anthony. You know? Yeah. It's just oh, good sick burn, Aaron. Sick burn. Uh, so then, you really got him. Opie said a few days ago that Joe Rogan is now not. Before we thought that he was just kind of annoyed by Joe Rogan. Apparently now, uh, Joe Rogan has moved from annoyed to he's on Ho Opie's uh, hate list. Now you remember uh, wrestling otaku put us on the bitch list. Joe yeah. Rogan is now on Opie's. Hate list. And again, I gotta say too, uh, once we got on the hate list of Otaku or whatever his name, Otako. Yeah. Whatever yeah. his name is. Yeah. Uh, I went through and looked at some of his YouTube videos. Did you? And I do I do have to apologize. He did crack me up. Like it's pretty funny. Uh, I, I like yeah. Otaku. You're I really, lucky. He's like, I, I didn't like when you showed it to me that first, like that lucky. first day that I like was interacting with it. I didn't think I liked it, but after watching a few of them, like it's pretty great. And I don't even care if it's a work or a shoot. It's good. See, I put uh, I put Opie and Wrestling Otaku in the same place. We can have some fun together. Fun! Think. He said fun. Uh, Eric Nagel says, we didn't even get the movie that was paying to use ONA clips, and he refused when everyone else signed off. Oh, what a dick. Come on, talk shit on Opie, dude. Jeez, Come on. Is that real? Just because you Come on. don't need the money doesn't mean other people don't need the money. It probably would have been nice and he wasn't even going to... He didn't even have to be there. All he had to Yo, do was one of my biggest fucking things clips. with this fucking That's Corey Adam guy, dude, is he cannot shut the fuck up. This is Aaron's show. He just keeps going. Dude, if Aaron fucking... Now, this is one thing I will... like. This is not like my defense of Aaron in any way, shape, You're or form. picking up for Aaron, dude. No, I'm not. You're converting. No, not. You're converting. Yeah, dude. but maybe I am. <laughs> with, with the Steel Toe Worship <laughs> show. But essentially, what happens is, Corey, for four and a half hours, every time Aaron seems to be like on a roll and he's like fucking feeling himself, Corey fucking has to interject. He's throwing and, little jabs? Not, not, not even jabs. He just fucking interrupts. Aaron and it's like dude shut the fuck up bro you get paid 50 bucks like you're no not one cares. you're not helping you're not important you have allegations you should be lucky fucking you're even on YouTube bro <laughs> not in jail just fucking <laughs> close your computer and get the fuck off the podcast because you're a disgrace homie yeah pretty much bro. oh my god dude he's got three chins now holy Tri shit triple chin Corey. look at this thing bro it's like growing by the second and I'm not this is no like live editing here but look we got one chin 
What? Like, that's just neck fat. Then we got a second chin. Then we have a line. A line right here. That's the real chin. And then this is the real chin. Holy fuck, bro. How about you fucking exercise, dude? Lay off the KFC, Corey. Shit, something like that. Fuck. I mean, how does this... I never understood how broke people fucking are fat. Like, I don't get that, You gotta dude. have time to do something. Like, how do you have money to eat? Like, <laughs> shouldn't you have ramen noodles? Like, like that should be your the extent of your diet. And oh, the- man. It's all the sodium in the noodles, dude. <laughs> Fuck, Making bro. a comeback on your chin. I have a fucking McFlurry. My ass jiggles for a month. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus, man. I mean, this is sick, bro. This makes me, like, physically nauseous to look at. Yeah, that $50 went straight to uh, Wendy's 4 for 4s and Biggie Bags. Yes. Let's keep watching this fucking shit. Frick move. Just sign off on it. That's it. That's not, man, there's got to be just some, like, some crazy, like, did, did one of them fuck each other's wife or something? Wait, I mean, hold on. What's be- going on in the chat here? Ste- we got a lot of steel bros going on. Clem, yeah, get, what's going happening? on, what's, going on. What's happening? What's happening? I don't think Corey respects Aaron. Steel okay, bros nothing. are harmless. Okay. We that's prefer nothing. steel towers. Okay. They need a bow flex machine. What's the, what's the issue? What's what's everyone fucking enraged about? So is, is there a problem? Everyone, I mean, are these steel bros really fucking losing their marbles because you have somebody talking shit on their fucking hero? I don't understand. Corey's neck inflates when he feels threatened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like that fucking dinosaur in Jurassic Park. Roach Ogan in the chat. Look at that. Corey doesn't have a double chin. That's a pouch he stores extra chicken nuggies in, like a squirrel. <laughs> Did someone say that? That's great. Yeah, someone said that. That's hilarious. Uh, Snubnose say he's a new one. What's up, <laughs> Snubnose? My boy. I, I, I just, I just, I, I glanced over at the chat, and this is why maybe I shouldn't have the chat up. But I just seen Steel Bro. Come on, Steel Bros, you gotta like the Steel. You know, we don't want fucking. You know, them, we don't encourage arguments here in the chat. We're just, you know. We're having a fun show, guys. You know, just have fun. It's we're having fun, dude. <laughs> Fuck, you're right. Steel bros. Get out of here. Let's keep watching. There's some crazy <laughs> bad blood there. Gotta be something Like, what do you, like, on. like, like, okay, check it out. I, like, obviously, you're not a big fan of the old radio station we used to work for, right? right? Like, but if they came up to you and they're like, hey, here's a bunch of money. We're Garth Brooks, you definitely are right Steel on Joe it, dude. Back in the radio days. They will come around. And you don't even have to fucking talk to Gary. Here's, you would sign that shit so fucking quick? Not only would I sign it, I would also talk to Gary. And I would also say, well, for this amount of money you're paying to use all these Steel Toe clips, do you want me to voice track some stuff for right, them? Do you want right, me to come right, in and right, come on, some to Get to Opie. I'll, I'll come in. And you we don't care about any of this nonsense. Again. Yeah, that's business. That's, oh, Speaking of which, I got something that uh, somebody just texted. Mr. Approach will just hit me up about this because uh, this is something that I said on my show like a few weeks ago. And they're like, did you ever tell Aaron that? I'm like, you know, I don't know that I ever have. What's that? So uh, here's a fun radio story from yesteryear that I don't think you've ever been privy to. All right. I got a fast. This is like this. the come on, grab Get me and like make me sit in the office. So uh, we're whatever. Opie. fucking with the we don't care thing. about really you, Corey. No one. And it just never seemed your show. Relevant, but I was saying I knew this guy was kind of a he just he arranged goes. the soundboard and t- shut up on that till right now. Now th- I will tell you this. Ah. This is that's very funny if you're a program yeah. director. If you're yes. the owner of the station, it's kind of a dumb fucking move. But right? Yeah. All right. Well, now that answers that question. I think he didn't like it because I always shit on the other jocks when that would happen. I was like, you guys. None of no, you. No, he said he liked it. He said See, it look, fires you up. He likes to get you fired up. You're funnier that way. Yeah. That's what he said. So yeah, I let him finish his thought. Like, dude. None of you guys do live radio. You don't need to do this. You can leave it the way Fat I do it. Fat people always do that. Dude. Do they always the try to fucking knobs. none of you give you their two cents and cut you off. It's like, bro, you're already uh, you're already big enough, man. Yeah, God, like, yeah, you're taking up enough space. <laughs> let me get my fucking point across. Yeah, then. dude, let me talk. Jesus, man, Christ. You do anything, just leave it the way I like it. I get it. Yeah, and it was it was like it was something that like I remember I would come in because he he made me promise not to tell you right. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, fine, whatever. Right, come and on, get so, the OP. Dude, dude, you like, don't care about this what? shit. I said thanks for your loyalty, cunt. <laughs> whatever. It was super. All right, come on. Of Literally overpay the again. I forget, like come on. No clue. Uh, Here we go. What do you isn't want? that a great? Isn't that a great little member berry from yesteryear? That is kind of fun. 
All right, I've got Joe Rogan on Opie's hate list like Howard Stern, and I've got Steel Toe, just another phony. Yes, play that one. Opie. Play that one. In fact, Charlie, let's don't... Go, let's go Opie. Let's keep on track. Like, yes. We can always go to Rogan. Let's keep on track. Long right, time so I'm agreeing with you, fatty. Uh, Opie talking Steel Toe for a minute. All right, so this person wrote in and said uh, that they're not going to listen to Steel Toe anymore yes. because of Oof. making fun of Opie. And Good. Very sad to lose them. Well, Toe is another phony, another low-level phony. He was trying to get me on his podcast, and he was incredibly nice to me. Right. Oh, how dare you be incredibly nice to a guy you idolized. Ready for this fucking story, Ope? This is where I need to spank this little boy and put him back to bed. Oh! My oh! Is that a sexual innuendo? I thought you were out of the game, Mr. Moral High Ground, you nah, fucking dude. lying son of a bitch. He's, we got you again. He's, him and Ope are going to box. I hope so. That would be <laughs> interesting. I don't think Opie would whoop his ass. Dude. Wow. So Aaron, uh, wasting no time, uh, as soon as he's out of the Chad Zumach business, uh, the second he's out of that business, he goes right into talking shit about Opie. Some moral high ground you got there, my friend. Let's keep watching. Let's watch his fucking tirade. So now I guarantee this. If Opie claps back, which he won't, but if Opie decides on a fucking crazy whim to clap back to Aaron, right? Aaron, and if, if Opie comes at him hard, like like just demolishes him, Aaron's going to be, oh, man, dude, that guy's just a fucking mental lunatic, bro. We don't need any of that. We're fucking, we're having a fun fucking show. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. It's like, bro, cut the clip where you're talking shit Sh on everybody. Everything, dude. It's only smack talk. It's like My video on It's the boy who cried wolf. Yeah. Straight up. On this is gonna do way more views than what does Opie's steel toe video have? It's probably one of his bigger ones in the last week. 790. That is higher because he usually does four or five hundred. So Opie doing pretty well. That's interesting because uh, he's saying there because Opie used Steel Toe in the fucking title that Opie has more views now. It's like, dude, Aaron, I hate to break it to you, but you're not some sort of fucking influencer, bro. Like you got yeah, nine thousand subs you're, on YouTube. Yeah. You're not on Opie's level. I, like I, I love people with small shows. Like thinking like their sick burn is making fun of other people with smaller shows. Just because they have like two thousand more subs on YouTube, it's like yeah, and it's like maybe like they just got established. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not, well, you know, it's just it's fucking. Or like, maybe the channel's new. Who knows? Whatever the case is, right. it's like, bro, you have no room to talk. It's like if you had a hundred thousand subscribers, I'd be like, all right, well, maybe you have some validity. Yeah, two thousand is not a flex. You no. know? Well, he's got nine. Nine. Even point that, two. like, it's, it's not, not a flex. Right. It's no. not a flex. Talk to me when you're at like fifty k. Right. Then we could then like, we'll talk about entertain. Exactly, the, yeah. Bro. Exactly. So let's keep watching. Using Steel Toe's name like a lot of people. Let's put the facts out there, cunt face. Whoa. On why Aaron was uh, is shitting on you now. You treated me like a piece of dog shit. I reached out to you. I was very nice. You're right, Ope. I was very nice to you. And, and you agreed to come on the show. And then you got scared because someone said, Whoa. and by the way, someone didn't say, you went and started obsessively listening to the show. I heard you say some quasi-offensive remark. His quote was, you said, yeah, Opie may not be very funny, but at least he has a, a great family. And I'm like, that's a fucking compliment, you dimwit. Did you think you were the funny one on that show, you delusional red-haired prick? Wow. So he's going to play up. He's going to play it up now and say, oh, yeah, Steel Toe, he was, a, he was really nice to me. Yeah, until you were a prick. And then you were a prick to me. And I was like, Oh, I got to tell this story on the show. Again, I can make fun of Opie for this one. And then you started saying more wacky, wild shit. So we started having more fun with you. And uh, you said... Scott, oh, oh, my God, I can't You said that uh, I'm not funny, but at least fun. I have family. I don't think I want to go on your show. I'll revisit you in the fall. It was that dismissive, I'll revisit you in the fall, where I'm like, dude, this isn't Opie and Anthony anymore. You're not that fucking guy who can just go... Out of here, please, peasant. I'll revisit you later if I feel like it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to sit around like some cuck and wait till the fall till you reevaluate my status in the Opieverse. Now I'm going to break your balls a little bit. And that's where we are now. I have no problem with the relationship. Yeah, but I thought you'd do a fun show, Aaron. It's, I thought it is. Oh, dude. You know, we're having fun. Is everyone having fun? It's crazy, dude. Uh, W said, Al, uh, goes back to what you said last week about how annoying it was when YouTubers have to flex their subs. Yeah, they love doing that. 
it is annoying as fuck. It's like, bro, all right, you got 4,000 YouTube followers. Like, we have that on fucking TikTok. You know what I mean? It's like, it's it's all the fucking same. Stop flexing on me. Art Young says, Steel Toe got a boost uh, for Bubba Love. He is a name dropper. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's not, you know, it's, it's not really anything shocking. What... The thing that we're trying to highlight here is the amount of gaslighting he does. He acts like Steel Toe acts like he does nothing wrong, and that's what bothers me, dude. It's like, you know, nobody's perfect, right? Like people are subject to to mistakes. We're only human, right? Everyone makes mistakes, but it's like the the fact that you go around life thinking that no matter what you do or what you say or how you fucking carry yourself throughout this world is fucking gospel. And that couldn't be further from the truth, bro. Just admit your fucking shortcomings and move the fuck on. If if you bit off more than you could chew with Chad Zumok, then just fucking then admit it, dude. Say it then, and move on. Yeah. We wouldn't be here today doing Talking fucking five it. hours, five fucking hours on this shit. Damn. I mean, look, we don't need this, man. I mean, look, yeah, it, is the new, uh, YouTube numbers, uh, do they fucking go up? Sure. Uh, whether that's uh, a direct result of Steel Toe, I have no idea. But what it does is it aliens the rest of our fan base, Spotify, Google, fucking Facebook, Rumble. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the the we talk about, you know, other fucking people, Joe Rogan, Brendan Schaub, and they actually hit us in the algorithm a little bit more on the rest of the channels, right? So, it, you know, the fact that he can't just fucking admit to himself, admit to his audience that, look, I fucked, I fucked up, guys. I fucked up, but from here on out, I'm going to take steps, and I'm going to try to not fucking get myself into these situations before. Guess what? We would respect him more. Way more. Way more. And none of this would even be a thing. No, not at all, dude. I mean, minus the begging. We probably shit on him for that. Yeah. And the set. Those are the only two things. And the racism. But it's like unreal, bro. It's like you got to fucking, you got to fucking act like we're all the fucking crazy ones when it's like in reality bro look at yourself in the fucking mirror dude you're nothing but a fucking two-bit fucking comic that fucking you're a scared little boy dude you're a scared little fucking man so yeah that, that, i mean that's just I'm, I'm just trying to highlight the hypocrisy here of him shitting on opie when he has claimed over the past week he's out of the shitting uh pro wrestling business oh well that's news to me so that didn't take long so that is Steel Toe with Opie. Now we're going to try to... Uh, I have the NLO beef, but you guys can check that out for yourselves. Uh, the NLO was exposing <clears throat> um, Steel Toe for running scams, Clem. Now, we mentioned the scams earlier, right? Absolutely. Breaking the law, okay. Breaking the law, breaking the law. And Mersh actually started to get involved. Mersh from Revenge of the Cyst and um, ROTC... Damn, this whiskey's coming back up on me. But um, Mersh is now getting involved and calling out Patrick Melton. Uh, so here, let me put this up on the screen. Then we're going to play the clip, and then we're going to read YouTube's terms of service and see if he's breaking them. So let's watch the clip first, and then we'll read what Mersh says. They, they're lying and grifting their fans really, really hard, and, and I give them an ultimatum. I dare them to do another prize night. I dare him to do another prize night. At you this won't. point. You know, if you're not breaking any laws, do another one, dummy. Do another one and see what happens. So so people could actually contact Minnesota or St. Paul, Minnesota about this prize night. St. Cloud. Or Minnesota this- Attorney General, you can contact the Federal Trade Commission. You can contact the FCC. They're breaking about four different uh, regulatory bodies, federal laws. And if you're in a state, um, particularly like Florida... Uh, that has really. I'm all looking. Of, all right, so that's a clip right there. It, it, it resets itself. But then Mersh started to get involved. He retweets the clip, and Mersh goes on to say, Super gay at Patrick Melton has absolutely been garbage. I met him at Reservoir Bar in uh, Weiber. So I think that's maybe Michigan, Ann Arbor, Weiber. I don't know what Weiber is. 10 years ago, and he was an absolute douchebag. Uh, if you guys are resulting or resorting to uh, this level, you've lost the plot. May a thousand fold worse come to you at Chad Zumach. So that was pretty interesting to see Mersh kind of turn. And then this was from uh, a couple people. I think I seen Muttering John over on Twitter post this. But this was Mersh uh, reaching out to the authorities when uh, fucking who was it? Uh, Pod Awful and uh, Porcelain were coming after him. Mersh actually uh, actually reached out to the authorities. This is Mersh's fucking, like, uh, police report, I guess. Oh, shit. 
That's real. From Mersh. Uh, Smursh. What the fuck's his last name? Mersh. Mersh Comedy. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Saturday, April 4th, 2020. The first link is a thread. So this is him. Yeah, so this is him. I could put this in the chat if you guys haven't seen this already. I'm not going to read this whole thing. But essentially, he's he's ratting on Pot Awful and Porcelain for, I guess, making fun of him. Wow. And he's and he's posting links to their shit and, and referencing things. So, guys, I mean, you know, for the people who uh, like Nightwave Radio and RTC and Daywave Radio, like... You know, it's time to maybe open your eyes about them. I mean, we had a couple people today say, you know, why don't you look into Mersh a little bit more? Maybe that's something we have yeah, to... Yeah, we'll have to take a look at. ...look into. What the fuck is this? I don't know why I just got a fucking pop-up there. Here's a link to Alan Powell's Twitter account. I have also attached a screenshot of him <clears throat> stating explicitly that my sister and ex-girlfriend should be raped to teach me a lesson. I have also provided a screenshot. So, yeah, it's just, it's Mersh fucking, I'll post this in the chat if if you guys haven't seen this. You could read it for yourselves. The whole fucking uh, police report from Mersh. Damn, dude, shit's getting real. Yeah, dude, this now, is real life. And now it's starting to get, it's starting to heat up. Shit. The last couple days, really the last week has been nothing but fucking heat, as uh, they say. Them heaters. So that was Mersh. And then I think Chad Zumach responded with some bullshit. And everyone's responding now. This is going to fucking, this is only going to carry over, man. I mean, this isn't going to go away anytime soon. But so we, we heard fucking Patrick Melton refer to YouTube's terms of service with the prize night and the lottery, right? So I brought up YouTube's, YouTube's terms of sermon, uh, service. Uh, and their consent policies and guidelines. So let's go through it, and let's see if Aaron is actually breaking any fucking rules. And this is only from YouTube. This is not... I think he is. This is not a state thing. This is not a federal thing. You know, this is only YouTube. YouTube rules. This is only YouTube rules. So let's see if he's breaking any YouTube rules by this, by these standards. It says, all contests run on YouTube or that use YouTube are subject to the below rules. In addition, your contest cannot be run and conducted in a way that conflicts with our privacy policy. The content also cannot conflict with YouTube's terms of service or community guidelines. YouTube does not allow contest. YouTube does not allow contests to be run through ad units. If the contest conforms with the below rules, you can use contests through your content on your platform. <clears throat> so it says general restrictions, number one. You're solely responsible for your contest. All right, pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, your contest on YouTube must comply with all relevant federal, state, and local laws, rules, and regulations, including U.S. sanctions, which I don't think they are following and abiding by. Fuck no, Minnesota bro. State. They're just throwing it together. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And disguising it as a fucking giveaway. But, Absolutely. But really, they're not... They're making people fucking pay for it. They're so it's not a give. Giveaway. Exactly. They're, they're paying. They're they're having people pay whatever amount of money, two hundred and fifty bucks or whatever it is, a hundred bucks, and they get entered into the prize to and, and, like for a chance to win the prize. But they disguise it as, oh no, that money that you fucking send us, that money doesn't go for your uh, you know entry into the prize night. What that money goes to is two stickers. So okay. I don't know what's worse. I don't know if the um, money doesn't go to the entry or that you're selling me $10 stickers. Like, who's buying stickers these days for 10 bucks? That's insane, bro. I mean, what are we talking yeah, about here? The, well, I guess that's the inflation stickers, huh? No, but even before inflation, <laughs> like, I think they've been selling... that. This is, like, their fucking thing. So, uh, yeah, people have to donate, and or, uh, when you donate, now you have access to uh, an entry into their contest. Pretty alarming shit. And then not to mention, too, that they're reselling their Stoney's gift cards. That's awful. Uh, then uh, number three says, your contest cannot infringe upon or encourage the infringement of any third-party rights or the participation in any unlawful activity. Uh, so, okay, any third-party rights or, okay, I think they're, they skate on that one. You cannot ask the viewer to give all rights for or transfer the ownership of their entry to you. Okay, that makes sense. They don't want their viewers to have access to their entry, so therefore then Aaron can just use that entry and then just pay himself, essentially. 
Uh, your contest must be free of charge to enter. Don't forget to check your local lottery laws. Okay, so that's a big one right there. Again, now they disguise the free of charge entry by giving you the stickers, right? But... I mean, that's if that goes to court, bro, that's fucked. It's done. It's done. Yeah, yeah, it ain't working. People could see right through that, judge specifically. You and any third party may not manipulate metrics on YouTube service to uh, misrepresent genuine viewer engagement with the YouTube service. These metrics include numbers, views, likes, dislikes, or subscribers. So that's something that they do, I think. Um, you know, when they're saying like the channel, fucking subscribe to the channel for the prize night, blah, 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 blah. That's manipulating the fucking algorithm. I would say so. That's fucking half of their show is them asking for donations and asking for likes and followers. Yeah, but specifically on the prize show. Mm. I'm speaking of. You cannot associate or affiliate YouTube with your contest without YouTube's prior written consent. That's pretty interesting shit. I guarantee they don't do that. You cannot associate or affiliate YouTube with your uh, without YouTube's prior written consent. This rule prohibits, among other examples, ex, uh, ex, ex, expressly, ex, I can't read right now, expressly, expressly stating or doing anything that suggests that YouTube is involved with or has endorsed your contest in any way. Mm. I don't think they're getting written consent. I'm not sure. Call me crazy. I don't know. Your official contest rules. Here we go. Number one. You must have a set of official rules, which, A, include links to YouTube community guidelines. They don't do that. And indicate entries that don't comply uh, will be disqualified. Uh, B, state all disclosures required by all applicable uh, federal, state, and local laws, rules, and regulations, including U.S. sanctions. Okay, that's pretty fucking crazy shit. Yeah, so, I mean, there's no way Aaron goes to YouTube's TOS here and reads all this and abides by all this, right? I mean, no. I think it's no. safe to say. I could read. I could keep reading this shit. He's a habitual rule breaker. But it's not like, you know, he's not doing this. I, I can guarantee that. I don't even know what half this shit means. Do you think yeah, Aaron is fucking... Yeah, uh, radio stations rules. That's what Ricky said. I mean, probably, yeah. Because I, like, I don't even know what half this shit fucking is even entailing. So do you think Aaron is spending the time of day to fucking... Learn what YouTube's TOS is when Bro. it comes to fucking these giveaways. He's a fucking dunce. No way. Yeah, so I'll post this in the chat, too, if you guys want to read it for yourselves. These are the rules and regulations for YouTube uh, lottery giveaways here. We'll post that up. Um, pretty fucking interesting shit, Yeah, man. it's wild, dude. Pretty interesting I wouldn't shit. put anything past them, though. We've said that before. All right, now we're going to get to the last Steel Toe clip, and then we're going to have to move on. Uh, let's see. Where are we at with time? We're at the five-hour mark. It is about 4 o'clock. We still have about an hour left to show. I want to do this clip on Steel Toe, and then we're going to move on. We're going to do two bears, one cave. We're going to check out Tom Segura, possibly checking out our content, and then we're going to wrap it up, dude. Uh, and this has been a fucking another fun show, this Al. Very fun show. Let's go, baby. Very fun show. Very fun week. But, great, uh, fu great show. Let's hit this last mile and stride, buddy. Uh, let's check this out real quick. Uh, lottos never enter for money. Oh, I never enter for money. There you go. Om, om I know that from experience. LOL. Sabatai Lopez says, they are going to have a live event at Stoney's. Not oh, this is something I wanted to bring up for you guys. The live event at Stoney's is sometime in August. I am willing to drop, as it sits right now, like 500 bucks to anybody who can get me footage and you could you could fucking play this clip back, you know, and fucking hold me to my word here. I'm willing to pay five hundred dollars to anybody who can get to Stoney's and give me some live footage of Aaron performing comedy. If, if you could do that for me, I might even take the trip out to Minnesota <laughs> myself. Hell yeah! But I'm, I'm just saying, if anyone's out there and somehow I can't get out to Minnesota in August, then uh, you know we'll have to fucking we'll have to pay someone to do some fucking detective work for us. How's that sound, now? I'm um, dude. I, you know I'm with some detective work. Uh, Ricky Garcia uh, with the two bucks. Appreciate you, man. Well, one ninety nine technically. Uh, hey, uh, at the end it was fun. LOL. Hey, man. At the end, it's a fun fucking show. This has been a very fun show. Very fun show. Very, very fun. fun week. Can do on Stonies. DK says. I don't even know what that means. Can do on Stonies. I think he means he can go. Can go on. Can go to Stonies. Yeah. 
Whoa, look at that. So, uh, J-Dub Productions, Ricky Garcia has been turned around. He is now an ex-Steel Bro. Let's go, buddy. Welcome, Ricky. Welcome, Welcome to the fucking club, dude. Oh, wait. No, he says nope. He says nope. He says nope. Hold, hold the fucking phone. He says nope. Oh. Huh. Well, Ricky... Well, we'll be here. We'll be here when you're ter- when ready you to reach convert. the finish line, buddy. We'll be here for you. Let's see. With a cocktail in hand and a Buffalo Blue Burger. It was fun, though, other. he says. It was fun. It was fun. Hey, at least you know how to have Thank fun, you. Rick. Uh, DK just said he can do Stonies for you. Oh, okay. All right. Well, hey, listen. DK, I'll, you can hold me to this, man. I will fucking pay you. Uh, it's in August. I I don't know how, how. I don't know if I can. Can I say that I could pay somebody on YouTube? I guess I could. Right? I think you could because he's doing a service for you. He's doing a service, right? Yeah. He's, he, I have a job for him, right? So I can I could disguise it as a job. So Ricky, what we'll do is you could hold me to this, and uh, what we could do is fucking you get uh, some footage of Aaron performing comedy in August at Stoney's. Hey, and then uh, you're five hundred dollars richer, my friend. Bling, bling. So let's set that up, because there's a lot of people that would want to see, like, see oh, that shit. But the dude, only, th- the only yeah. stipula- the only stipulation I have is you can't fucking release it to to the Reddit. Like, I, like I have to be the only sole person with that Set footage. It to you first, first, sure. I have to comb through it, make sure what we have is fucking grade A shit, and then we could kind of. Not well. All right, we'll we'll pay you for your service, DK. Don't don't sweat it, dude. We will pay you. All right, uh, let's let's watch this Steel Toe clip. This is a clip I made. I post to the Reddit, and uh, again, this is just going to kind of recap everything we've been saying here today. The amount of gaslighting and coping is what pisses me off, man. So check this out. Uh, a lot of people yesterday were fucking with Steel Toe. I'm not sure if they're here today, but if you were watching Steel Toe yesterday, you've seen Aaron was getting very frustrated, as was April, and uh, you know he's going to just do more coping, lying, gaslighting, all the above. So really, it encapsulates everything we've talked about here today. And kind of puts a stamp on it so we can move on from this Steel Toe saga today. How's that sound now? Let's go, buddy. So let's check it out. Steel Toe copes. Steel Toe gaslights. Steel Toe lies. He's a liar. And if anything else, he censors. So let's check it out. He's going to be kicking people out of his chat, lying and fucking... Chocolate and peanut butter, says Triple N. Getting people banned. Let's check it out. Uh, Lemmy with two bucks says, I would also (laughs) like some attention. Oh, well... Who's this little Lammy chick, dude? There's Holy fuck. Attention. We got to get her separated from him. I can't imagine just watching a really good show and be like, excuse me, I'd like to bring everything to a screeching halt with a personal question that only I'm wondering about. DK, if you have Twitter, DM me. I was me. a dick to you earlier, but answer yeah. my question. Send me, a, send me a DM. Who knows? Uh, Shlomo with 499 says, how do you explain the hypocrisy of attacking Chad then running and beh- hiding when he swung back? Now pseudo-threatening lawsuits. Oh my god, you bought all that shit? Oh, Shlomo. Wow. Five. Did we not watch last Damn, week? just blasted him. But did we not watch last week when Aaron was threatening fucking oh, yeah. lawsuits? Well, I'm gonna need a lawyer call. Ex- dude, so... Fuck you. Oh my god, the amount of fucking the audacity. crazy, dude. This is wild shit to watch. Bucks. But Shlomo, I've said this numerous times. I've been very consistent about this. I make fun of people. And uh, open your ears and you hear me. I'll say this one more time because I've tried to explain it and dumb people still don't get it or they're trying not to. I make fun of people. I play their public performances and I make fun of them. When somebody else goes to your children and your family and shit like that, that's when I say, you know what? That's a line I don't cross. That's a personal thing with me. Rape threats are another thing I don't do. Wash your hands. Wash my hands. Yep. I'm done. I can fucking tell you this guy's speech. Find one time where I ever threatened a lawsuit. It never Last week, bro. What do you mean? You got to be smarter than that. Changes every day with him. I mean, to be able to be tricked by people like that, you Obviously, said it, bro. Things, to be able to see, like, like there's a difference between making some fun of somebody professionally instead of, like... He was on fucking, uh, with Bob Levy, the Shuley Network. He was on with Bob. He was arguing with Bob. And he he was pretty much telling Bob, uh, this was Friday, last Friday. He was like, uh, Bob, you gotta, or maybe last Thursday, whenever it was. It was one of those two days. He was saying, Bob, you guys have to watch out because uh, I didn't want to get you involved uh, for the blowback that's coming on Monday or Tuesday. Speaking about this past Monday and Tuesday. We got a hashtag going. Justice for Corey Adams victims hashtag. Justice for Corey Adams Dude, victims. Dude, I'm going to blow man. that up on TikTok. Yo, start that on Twitter, TikTok. TikTok let's yeah. get that fucking pop and let's get that moving, dude. He got beat up by a 15-year-old interstellar, interstellar fella. But this is crazy. Bob Levy, you smoking, Bob, someone says. Yeah, but th- this is wild shit, man. I mean, he was on the show. We have the evidence. You can go back to last week's show and watch it 
our show I'm, I'm speaking of, we have the evidence of him saying he's there's something coming down the pipeline. Lawyers are getting involved. So, uh, again, lies, lies, lies. Can't. I, dude, I really can't, dude. I just can't stand this Yeah, shit. dude, it's silliness. It's crazy. Personal attacks yeah. on your kids and Look, shit? He didn't, so, nobody I'm personally attacked your kids, I'm bro. Shut up. I'm tapping out of, like, mentally ill, psychotic shit. We're all mentally Fathers ill. All hundred so of us today are mentally ill. So much. I'm not going back to that place. It's hear that, guys? You're all mentally fucking place. unstable. I'm sorry. Uh, so, yeah, and then I gave him the answer, and he still doesn't accept it. Uh, Lemmy, I need, I need you and Balls Deep to be better. Uh, right now, bounce him. Wow! I answered his question. He didn't listen to me. He didn't kicking him out of the chat now. He's not the kind of guy we want. Anymore Jesus Christ! On this show, uh, just start get a little more aggressive there. Uh, this is unbelievable. This stuff is not hard to understand. Yeah. Uh, there we go. One thirty. Yeah, Lemmy's right. They all got really butt hurt that we decided to move on because they went too far. No, and that's now, not it. You know what? Are, what are you gonna? Nobody's do? butt hurt, Aaron, Aaron, but you. Ment mentally ill kids like that. It all right. These people are like, oh, you don't want to be as mental as us anymore? Where'd no. you go? <laughs> like, just yeah, it. God forbid people decide they don't want to be mental with you. They want to go be a happy person. I cannot else. stand it. If you voice. consider like, being oh, mental, hey, calling them out for their really bullshit, mentally. I guess we're all mental. I guess we're all fucking nuts, yeah, right? I mean, it's such yeah, a cope, bro. Yeah, you're mental, bro. Yeah, so, of course. Calm down. Of course. Sorry, what's your, like to, what's your uh, mental instability? Speak in honesty and truthfulness. Makes me a fucking psycho. I can't get over this, bro. I mean, they, like, but again, it goes back to, I said this before, like, Aaron does have some big fucking cojones, dude. It's like, he's willing to come on stream day in and day out and just lie to everybody. I you think know? he's just a moron, dude. Honestly. He might be. That that might be true. Shit. Let's keep watching. Wait, let's see. Bob Levy, uh, I can't believe he changed this story. I'm shocked, huh? Yeah, dude, I mean, he was on your guys' show threatening lawyers like i mean what are we talking about here uh it's time for a lawyer call he's threatening fucking lawsuits i'll never and lawyers. forget that because you don't say Wait, it's a lawyer call he, bob levy says he texted me uh about the blue back uh insanity yeah dude it's crazy bro uh, the, the the quickness this guy fucking just changes his shit dude it's, it's unreal insane, well he thinks dude. he well because dude he treats his audience like a bunch of fucking morons he i know everybody's fucking and he takes dumb, their money and he takes their fucking what money the dude fuck? we have to put an end to this guys we yeah, have to put insane, an end to this insane dude bob levy blowback yes hashtag blowback bro uh yeah i mean that's all he was threatening for like the better part of fucking a week and a half Blowback is coming. Blowback this. Blowback that. Bob Levy, we want to separate you from the blowback. This is all Chad and Kevin, but the blowback is coming. Lawyers are coming. Lawsuits are coming. Oh, no. dude. But then he's going to say fucking, oh, if you ever thought that I meant lawyers and lawsuits, you're fucking mental. Yeah. Fuck you, bro. We're all mental. Fuck you and your fucking don't what ass a cop fucking out. wife. Piece of shit, dude. Look and at she's this She's wearing the pants. <sighs> People give this guy fucking their hard-earned money. That's what's the sad part. One day there's going to be a documentary done about this thing, and I can't wait to watch it. What's he no, even going to really say? It's appropriate with you guys. Why don't you want to be a part of that? Yeah, Bob Levy says, so he texted me as a goof. Or not. Yeah, I mean, but he's just a fucking idiot. Me? That's what he would have you to believe. He doesn't even that, know what he's trying to accomplish. A victory and this and that. I'm sorry. I let you have that. I let you have it and said, go ahead and feel that way. And you went, no, it's not enough. Why don't you pay attention? Brown candy, yes. Just hide the people. Don't time them out. Now yeah, they're I mean, censoring people. They don't, they're not happy here. They don't need yeah. to be. I need Jack a drink for this, nice bro. This is like really pissing me not off. Not at all. You guys are the ones melting down. I'm really sorry about it. You, I mean, I hope that you live a better life eventually. But if this is what you like, then I don't know what to tell you, buddy. You're melting down. You're coping. Oh, yeah, like we're said, coping. coping. Hey guys, that's good, dude. Cheers to fucking uh, mental illness and fucking coping. Oh my How god, bro. Oh. Mm -hmm. Blowback incoming. Can't wait. It's on that, you. I'm sitting here doing got? my show. No, I was going to say that beer she's drinking is almost as big as her forehead, but uh, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. From today's goal. And watch this. This will drive you nuts too. We're going to knock out our uh, goal today and do an extra half hour. Another clip. I'll they're talking about their goal. I can't get a clip uh, yeah, that they're not. A lot not. of people in the chat just going re. Yeah, a lot of reads. I think that's probably the most uh, appropriate response. Oh, shit. My Mother navigation popped stuck up. stuck in a small room together doing it. I was clipping together. this out yesterday. You guys driving small. somewhere. You guys are having a tough time right now. And Sorry. I get it. I get it. We, we backed away. We went and did our own thing. 
it's really hard for you guys. Uh, you lost your prize fish. And isn't that how most people learn a lesson, too? Is like yeah. we walked into a room where we kind of assumed everyone's having the same fun as us. Fun! Yeah. And then once we realized... <laughs> More fun, people, guys! People so much fun we're having. We decide to leave the party Christ. and He's... take the party with us. And now they're like, oh, yeah. what? You don't want to be this way with us? I thought we were having fun, guys. Yeah. We Ew. literally say to them, we go, yeah, you guys are really way too mental for us, so we're going to tap out. Right. And they're like, but why don't you come back? Because you're not fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, well, deceit we're not having fun, I guess. Disgusting behavior. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're having fun, I apologize, baby. apologize, but this seems to be bothering you a lot more than it's bothering No, it's not bothering us, dude. Uh, watch our Perry interview. It was great. The thing. only thing that bothers me about it at this point is that I have to keep explaining myself. Don't. And that's why I... I, I well, then you're doing a disservice. If, you're, if you don't have to fucking bring this shit up and you don't have to address it, you're doing your audience a disservice. They pay you. They're the patrons of this show. And you offer... you. You're obligated to give them yeah, an they're explanation. Like the directors, yeah, dude. I, I I can't take this anymore with these two, dude. I know they're just con artists for real, for real. But see, there's people in their chats on a daily basis that are like, "Yeah, man, those guys are fucking mental." The Steel Toe Boring Show and Chad and Bob, Kevin, they're all fucking nuts, dude. You guys are the right like, ones. They're like brainwashed. Here's money. They're brainwashed. Take my money. Straight up brainwashed. Like, Jesus Christ, guys, get a hold of yourselves. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess they're just having. So much fun now. I, I and, don't know. and then he just like changes his outlook on shit from whim to whim. Exactly. It's like it's and it's just all facetious bullshit. And it's he thinks it's like not being documented for no, some reason. No, dude. Everything that goes on the internet gets documented. It's home. forever, brother. Yeah, it's forever. People don't forget. I don't know, man. But uh yeah, let's just say there's like ten seconds left I don't on this. Like that. Like addressing these people. Yeah, don't explain yourself. No, guys, if you're a mod in here and you see the word Chad mentioned, you j just ban him. Uh, Whoa! From knocking it out today, guys. If you're a mod in our chat and you see the word Chad, ban. just ban him. Con uh, censorship. That should be off. Yeah, uh, content censor. That should be on a T-shirt though. If you see Chad the word ban? Chad, just ban. Ban. <laughs> yeah, that would be good, dude. That would be good. Fucking a Mega Mind. You really fucking. We. Uh, this is gonna be hard, but we really gotta separate you from him. I think we can get to Corey and Johnny. Like, I think those will be easy. Corey is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but Johnny, I think we can get to, like, right off the bat. Quick, yeah. It's going to be her. It's going to be hard to get her away from him, but it's going to happen. We're going to separate the two and then have everyone turn on you, sir. He's like, I mean, uh, people were saying this this past week. He, he is like the, the new stuttering John. And imagine being referred to as the new Stuttering John. I, mean, I, I would I, want to kill myself as well. I think that's putting them too high on the pedestal. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? At least uh, Stuttering John had somewhat of a, a career. Fuck, man. But What's guys, that book of Mice and Men, Lenny? He's like Lenny yeah. from Of Mice and Men. That's uh, that's gonna do it for our fucking steel toe coverage, man. We went fucking five hours and fifteen minutes covering. I'd Aaron. say that was hard in the paint. Holy shit! Yeah. Uh, Would you say he went hard in the paint? He went hard in the motherfucking paint. <laughs> Clam, uh, you want to catch up with the chat real quick? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I'm saying like you want to like read some chats out. Sure, me? sure, sure. Where did I leave off? Just start anyway. I just said, are we having fun yet? Bob, I uh, appreciate thought you, Bob. He could play Bob like a fool, but Bob knows better. You hear that Levy said you're not funny from 3BZ? We need a pool installation live stream. Yeah, Bob Levy. Said yeah, Bob, Bob, when's that pool coming, Bob? When's that pool coming? Get it come. D Man69 says that marriage won't last long. Someone please give Johnny a better job. He deserves it. Yes, and we're gonna give it to him. Chad won this battle. I'm sure his stepfather's really, really proud. Real quick, uh, W man, I see you with a question. Win by two. When was that? Uh, this clip that was from yesterday, and that's on the Steel Toe Boring Reddit. Bob Levy says two weeks. All right, we'll see. We'll see when that pool's coming, man. I'm looking forward to it, dude. Looking forward to it. Ah, <laughs> oh, mom said AIDS. <laughs> fitting, very <laughs> fitting. shot, dude. Very and a uh, great show, guys. Insult the stutter. Yeah, it is an insert. Insult the stuttering John. Stuttering John's fingernails. Wow. What a great show this has been so far. Great dude. show. Man. I love it. It's a fun one. It is fun. That's all we do, bro. So we have fun. We're having fun here. All right. Uh, I'm trying to debate on what where I want to take this. I mean, we only have like a half hour, and there's a lot of two bears. Uh, where do I want to go with this, Clem? Should we play the two bears? 
Or should we just play the Tom Segura, kind of give our recap, and then we'll kind of get out of here? That sounds like a bet. All right, so you don't want to get into anything too, uh, yeah, too in depth. Yeah, because I got to get out of here more like five. We don't have a uh, five out and five more hours to do. Yeah, all that would be nice, but we don't. Yeah, right. I, I got a lot going on tonight. So I guys, uh, a couple weeks ago, so um, we're gonna kind of switch gears from the Steel Toe uh, saga. So if you're if you're here only for Steel Toe, uh, this is, I mean, you might want to find your way out. If not, stick around. We only got about maybe twenty minutes left of show but uh this one was pretty big too i think this goes hand in hand with everything that we're, we've been doing over the last couple months clem <clears throat> so uh we I, I make clips throughout the week and i try to like stir some shit up right like i'll, I'll make fucking not clickbaity titles but i try to read through the fucking bullshit that these comics are, are putting out tom segura burke kreischer fucking brendan shaw bobby lee i mean the list goes on right and uh, the the biggest one I've seen of recent time is Tom Segura and Christina Pajitsky. Their marriage is kind of in the fucking shitter. I mean, we've seen it time and time again. Uh, yes, they proved that. The way Tom looks at Christina and talks to her just with like pure and utter disgust, uh, I mean, leads me to believe that their marriage is on the rocks. So I've made a clip, um, and th- this really doesn't have to do with their marriage per se, but this has to do with uh, Tom and, and Christina. They did a Your Mom's House podcast, and Tom was uh, you know, talking about how washcloths are for poor people. So I made a clip. It went viral on YouTube. It went viral on fucking semi-viral on TikTok. And we have a response from Tom. And I feel like Tom, you know, whether he you know, indirectly or directly seen our clip, I mean, that remains to be seen, but the fact is, we I feel like we got him talking about this sure. washcloth incident, because, I mean, that's a lame-ass take. It's an L take, bro. People use washcloths. Like, you don't... I didn't see any other clips about this go viral either, bro. Right. So... So, I mean, I was on it uh, from Jump, and this was Tom kind of addressing it. And then we're going to watch... Let me see. Do I have anything else loaded up in the chamber? I mean, I do. But this is kind of where we're going to... Uh, I'll do the two bears, and we'll just show uh, Joe Rogan used to drink his own piss. How's that sound? That sounds good. All right, so this is Tom addressing the washcloth incident. Let's check it out. So I've received a remarkable number of messages uh, over the last few days um, from just countless poor people about the use of a washcloth in the shower. And, um, you know, it's kind of well-known. It's what pores do. And I it's what pores do. Podcasts, and so many people are upset. I mean, really, really upset about it. So it's like, how do you how do you wash your fucking? He just fists his own asshole <laughs> with a bar of soap. It dude, wouldn't be surprising. for all the rest of his family to use. Of course, totally normal. And I get it. You know, it's part of their lifestyle or something. So I'm in a hotel. I decided I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to use a washcloth, and I'll report. On what happens when a wealthy person uses a washcloth. So he, he's going to play this off as a bit. And, and there's a part two to this video. I'm not going to show you guys because he plays it off as a bit. Like it's, it, this is like Dude. all, all to him. I mean, all this is to him is just a laughing fucking gag to him. Right. But for us, it's shown his detachment from reality. Exactly. They to call people uh, fucking pores. If you use a washcloth, like that's fucking, it's L take Tom. Yeah, L takes huge L, and he's he's riding it. He's but, riding that L. But bro. the but the W in all this is that we. I feel like I really true truly feel like we, we unveiled the bullshit, and I'll we say, got him yeah. to make a fucking video and, in a I hotel know. addressing That's, this washcloth. I don't think it came from anywhere else, dude. He probably that TikTok probably popped up on his FYP. Either TikTok or YouTube, because it's on right. YouTube right now. Right, right, with right. With like seven, or maybe only like two million. I don't even know. It's definitely got over like 500,000 views. For Shit, sure. bro. So Tom Segura uh, addressing the washcloth. Now, we're going to jump into this. Uh, that was just a little setup to the Two Bears, One Cave Live from Daytona 500. And there's a couple uh, interesting clips that we're going to pull from this Two Bears incident uh, that I want to show. The first one being Joe Rogan Drinks His Own Piss. Now, that was the title, originally the title of last week's episode, but we just didn't have time because of all this Teal Toe coverage, much like today. Uh, but we're going to watch a, a few clips of the boys. we got about four or five clips loaded up. We're going to watch this. We're going to call it a show, guys. And Let's we, do it. Dude. We appreciate everyone who tuned in, everyone who did uh, you know, uh, hook us up with a super chat today. That's been fucking awesome. Uh, we just appreciate everyone sharing the show and spreading awareness, man. This sh- this show has been growing the last couple of weeks, and it's been really fucking awesome. Popping to see, off, dude. dude. It's been awesome to see, dude. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. 
Yeah, so thank you, uh, everyone who tuned in, everyone who shares the show, everyone who likes it, everyone who participates in the chat. Like, that's really all we ask for. As long as you keep the chat going, you keep everything fucking interesting and, uh, you know, above board. And, uh, you know, obviously, we can't forget. How could we forget? Just keep it fun. I mean, right? I mean, that's what this show is all about. This has been a very fun show. Yeah, honestly. Very fun show, very fun week. Disagreements or not, like, y'all are our people, so we love you. All right, so let's jump into this. This is Two Bears Live from Daytona. Let's uh, uncover some crazy shit here from Tom and Bert. I would say Aaron and April are, like, our number one now, like, of, of our hate list, I guess, for lack of a better term. Then right under that's Brendan Schaub. But then right under Brendan are these two fucking lying pieces of shit. So let's watch Bert and Tom from Daytona reveal a lot of craziness. Let's watch. We're live. Yeah. Welcome to a very special live episode of Two Bears, One Cave at the Daytona International Speedway. Yeah. I'm Tom Segura. Along with me is my co-host. You can see his new... Real quick, Dubby, uh, DM me uh, on Twitter. Uh, the, the Twitter link's in the bio here. But uh, DM me. Special... Razzle Dazzle premiering March 14th only on Netflix. Give it up for all 323 pounds of Bert Kreischer! All right, so this is the intro. They're live from Daytona. This is a first for them. They think this is their crowd. They're they're more right leaning comics now, right? So they gotta go get in where they fit in, right? Daytona, NASCAR. I mean, that's as right leaning as right leaning can get, bro. Right? Like all these people here in this crowd are not vaccinated. They think Joe Biden's a big stiff, right? They're Team Trump all the way or DeSantis. It's it's in Florida, so they're definitely Team DeSantis. Oh my God, we're fucking assholes. But uh, so so Tom and Bert are now pandering to this Florida crowd. I gotta say, having people in front of them. Elevates the energy of the podcast because normally they're like, "Hey guys, I give you uh, that." No, I up? yeah, I, I mean this is just that. the intro, but it's step up from the norm. Yes, right now I'll I, give it. I will give credit where it's due because I think this podcast fucking blows. But we're off to a hot start. Uh, let's watch. So this is the first clip, and this is where we're going to find out. Bert actually is going to admit that Joe Rogan used to drink his own piss. So let's watch. <laughs> and it was magical. Those last, but like five minutes is just so intense. Even watching qualifying yesterday, the first round with uh, with I think with Ryan and 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 Bubba Wallace, I was watching that. That was fucking thrilling. So that's my 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 thing is to get so drunk that I black out. Yes, this is highly possible, right? Oh, let me tell let me tell production. Hey, your mic is open. We can hear your mic. Close your mic, any. Thank you. So, Jesus Christ. You can sell, by the way, fucking anybody anything. What do you mean? Because I feel like... Right, bush light. Like, yeah. You know, tuning, Imagine like, drinking a bush light. Yeah. Tuning into the yeah. last... I'm like, all right, I'll give it a shot. Dude, this... I, I, don't, I don't know the right way to say it, but this is what life's about. Go, eventizing your life. Having a moment where you spend your Sunday in Daytona at the 500 and getting up early, having a cold beer when you're not supposed to, before you brush your teeth, before you take your blood pressure medicine, getting with your friends and, and getting that one guy that didn't want to have a beer to have a beer. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is what life's about. These moments are what I this live my life for. I am so excited. I'm missing my daughter's uh, <laughs> something. I don't know. All right. But it doesn't matter. It Who's going to remember matter. some coronation in Girl Scouts? You'll remember the Daytona 500. You'll definitely remember the So, day. Bert, again, we've been on Bert uh, the better part of a year uh, for being a shitty fucking parent. Why does he sound like he's dying here? Well, I mean, he's fucking 10 bush he's lights wasted, deep. Yeah. Bush latte. But... Bert, again, missing his daughter's fucking ballet to be fucking podcasting with Tom Segura at the Daytona 500. And, you know, uh, what he's saying, you know, I do, I can get behind a lot what he's saying, but the way he's going about it, 
putting his family off to the side while going off and partying. Like, he's saying one thing, but then doing another. Yeah, don't you remember when, like, two months ago when he was like, I miss my fucking family. Yeah, with Chris Stefano. Yeah, remember he that? He fucking openly just Dude, bawled that on that show. Dude, the lamest yeah. fucking shit I've ever seen. You know they talked about it, too. Like, yo, we're going to make it uh, an emotional episode, like, about our families. All right, man? Thanks, says in the chat. Oh, wow. I thought Bert just uh, sucked as a comic, not as a person. Uh, this is eye-opening. Yeah, dude. Bert Kreischer, dude, addicted to Xanax, not a good family man. And, uh, you know, that's what really really what we haven't uncovered so far is those two things. But those two things in general. I and mean, just because you're a party man, like, that's one aspect of you. Like, being a comic is deeper than that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he he's... Hasn't proven, and I, I get, you know, we kind of, like, get on Bird a lot, but, like, I don't see anything, like, any appeal. Like, I used, to, when I was a drug addict and alcoholic, like, I just lived like Bert. You right, know what I mean? Right, and, like, right. he doesn't offer me anything that, like, where, oh, this guy's hilarious. Like, I just don't see it. And he's a piece of shit. And he lies and makes things up. So, I just, I guess that's why we hammer him. Tom to me just seems out of touch with reality, and well, Tom, Tom is too big now for his own good. Yeah, he's gotten too big, uh, and not yeah, like, in I the literal like sense. He used to be funny, like well, he used to be funny, and he used to be a little bit more down to earth. But the fame and the fortune, it, and now that he lost he's out weight, of touch, dude, he, dude, everything, bro, everything that goes along with that, man. And he's lost this weight now, and now he feels like he can pull any bitch, right? And he's like, you know, being shitty towards Christina, which is, you know, probably warranted, but still, you're married. It's like fucking... You're div- stuck with that, Divorce bro. her or fucking stick with it. Stick with it, exactly. You, you, know? made, you, you dug that bed, now lie in it, lie you know? it. So, all right, let's check it out, man. Uh, this is Bert admitting that Joe Rogan used to drink his own piss. Let's check it out. There was a part of me that was yeah. like, how fucking memorable would this be, Shelby? <laughs> like, you were like, Bert drank his piss on stage. You know, right? Rogan used to drink his piss. What? Joe Rogan used to drink his piss. Because he's all- Joe Rogan used to drink his piss. And even Tom's like, dude, what? Like, what? Chill. Like, chill the fuck out. <laughs> you know dude, what I mean? Don't be hating on my the Papa Rogues. Not in front of a live audience right. where we oh can't my edit God. this edit shit out. out. Yeah. Joe Rogan, let's let's listen to that again. Joe Rogan used to drink his own piss. There's a part of me that was yeah. like, how fucking memorable would this be, Shelby? <laughs> like, you were like, Bert drank his piss on stage. You know, right? Rogan used to drink his piss. What? Joe Rogan used to drink his piss. Because he's always doing, like, whatever the new... There was a fighter who drank optimal morning. human trafficking he thing is. He said your morning piss had the most vitamins in it. Uh-huh. So Rogan, on radio, drank his piss. Swear to God. Swear to God. I will say this. Almost everything that he does, like, ten years later, everyone's like, oh, yeah, of course you do that. Dude! Now, if that was anybody else, dude, anybody, I mean, fill in the blank. Mark Norman, Sam Morell, fucking... Chris D'Elia. Chris D'Elia. Anybody. If anybody was found out to be drinking their own piss, the, these two would make fun of them, right? Oh, because it's Anybody Rogan. would make fun of them, but because it's Rogan, the exactly. sucking. Yeah. Exactly. Verbally. Oh, man, Joe Rogan, dude, I mean, yeah, that's weird if you don't drink your own piss is pretty much what they're saying. Uh, 1053, Bert's still a bad dad. Let's check this out. 1053, Bert is still a bad fucking dad. Let's, let's listen. To, I, I haven't, this came out like two weeks ago, and I haven't watched it since, so... Hopefully these clips hold up. I thought this uh, podcast that was pretty fucking eye-opening to me. So let's watch. Great business. Man. Do you think when we go to heaven, God's going to look at us and go, hey, man, you couldn't have just said, a, like, one thing about me? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it but had to be luckily, all cocksucking jokes. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, like, most people don't, you know, back him up too hard. It's just a few. <laughs> you think he's just let down on everybody? By the time people get to heaven, he's like, yeah, 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 I know, I know. You didn't believe me. Let's just yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> You're a decent person. Did you kill somebody? All right, you can get in here. That's why I support priest blessing young boys. Yeah? Because I plan on going to heaven, and they just lowered the bar by five feet. It's an old joke. Wait, I, were you an altar boy? No. No? No. Did I, you ever get, were you tempted to? No, I know. I never, my parents weren't into that. I did, uh, I did my communion. I didn't even do my confirmation. You didn't get confirmed? No, did you get confirmed? Yeah, of course. I don't think this is the right time stamp. No, no, no. I don't know why these time stamps aren't lining up. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's why. Wait, hold on. What's your confirmation name? I don't remember. (laughs) I don't remember. (laughs) Hold on. Let me, let me make sure these time stamps are lined up. I don't know why they wouldn't be unless they re-uploaded this video, but 2718, let's check it out. At 27, 18, we're going to have Bert wants to outlive his kids, which is a pretty fucking crazy thing to admit. So if this is not the right timestamp, I got I don't know if we're going to be able to do this because 
I don't, I mean, I have it written down, but I guess I fucking maybe, I don't know. I don't know what you happened. You botched it, Dave. I did. I fucking fumbled it. That really affects things. You can't have the same impact. If you die as George Byrne, right, yeah, this you don't it. have the same impact as dying as Patrice. Yeah, but you, yeah. No, you yeah. don't. You're right. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm, yeah. Do you want to die soon? No. I want to live forever. You want to live forever. I want to outlive my kids. <laughs> That's such a fucked up thing to say. Yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know I'm broken, but like, I want to outlive everyone. Why? I want to be ready to die. I want to be like ready to die where I go. Bert minutes. has this weird thing, dude. He's like obsessed with death because like everything in his life right now, I mean, is going great. So he, he doesn't want to leave this fucking materialistic world behind, but that should tell you everything about Bert. All he cares about is the materialistic things. Not he's not a fucking you know uh, a guy uh, you know with spiritual background or with spiritual beliefs or like live and let live sort of guy. He cares about his next fucking fix and how he can make the next dollar to fucking keep parting his fucking ass off. Because when the party's over is when Burt Kreischer could fucking it's gonna wither away on him yeah, too. Yeah, and it's gonna be a sad day for he's gonna he's gonna be like Bam Margera of, of comedians. I feel like like just going down like you used to be on top. And now you're going down a road of self-destruction. You know right. what I mean? I could totally see that shit. Now, we're going to jump ahead here. We got two more clips at 4050. Uh, Clem, you remember we covered two weeks ago the Adriana Chechik fucking uh, oh, clip? The, the intellectual podcast threesome. And that's another clip that kind of blew up on, on YouTube and, and fucking everywhere else. Yeah, we caught them red-handed. And we co- we covered it. We're actually going to find out Leanne, Bert's wife, <laughs> actually is fucking very displeased about uh with Bert Ooh. about that podcast. So let's check it out. 4050 uh Leanne was pissed at Bert for doing a podcast with a porn star Adriana Chechik. Check it out. I'm going to relax. I'm going to enjoy the night. I I enjoy a day like this for me. It's like the Super Bowl. Yeah. Super Bowl is so much fun. I got way too high at it. Do you remember when we went to that uh, basketball game and, we, and I got way too high? Yeah. I, I didn't speak for the first half. I did the same thing in the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. We did that uh, Warriors um, game. Warriors Cavs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You were you were super high. And skinny. You were. I was skinny back then. God. Can you imagine if I had just kept on that? You can. Do you think I'd still have the same career? Yes. Really? Stop with this nonsense. Do you think if I quit drinking on the first time we did Sober October that I'd, I'd be where I am today? Yes. No. No. Yes. Guys, would you still like me if I quit drinking? Oh, I got to find this, dude. They go, no. This is wild. If I cheated on Leanne, right. would you still have my back? Yeah. I love these guys. They're like, yeah, fuck whores. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people think that's disguised as a bit. Like, oh, he's just joking. He would never fuck, you know, uh, anyone else rather than Leanne. But it's like, dude, there's time and time again where Bert fucking. Yeah, you wouldn't put it out there if it was all joke. Dude, he jokes. Or not, not even jokes. He he brings it up all the time how he fucking bangs hookers and is in the red light district and fucking is in strip clubs and fucking is chilling with this model and that model. Like, dude, it it's not. It wouldn't be shocking if Bert has cheated on Leanne. That's not multiple a good look times for anybody. Multiple times. Oh well, I it's comedy. Shit from the fucking Adrian and Chetrick podcast. What kind of shit you get from fucking Leanne? What'd she say? Oh, I get you guys something. Did everybody watch the Adriana Chechik podcast? We did. No, not everybody. Okay. Oof. So she came on. She was fantastic. If you haven't seen it, it's great. She's awesome. I'm super honest. Yeah. And we're, we're it's Valentine's Day night. Oof. <laughs> what a we're bad watching, day for uh, that. Greece with Isla, and I show her the picture of Adriana, where, where you sent me, where she's trying to like yeah. lick my balls while I fuck her. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, it's hard to explain, and so. Leanne goes, oh, is this, is this the, the podcast that I'm getting all the comments about? And I went, what? She goes, everyone's in my comments saying I, sh- I need to be offended. And I was like, what snitches? Yeah, there's snitches. Listen to a podcast and then go right to my wife and go, you should hear what Bert said about you. I was like, you motherfucker. It's like, Bert, again, you put it out there online, bro. It's like just a matter of time for Leanne's going to see you, it. You can't have a podcast and expect zero blowback. I mean. Like, come on, dude. But I feel like, again, though, this is like something from our doing, bro. Like, we covered it. We made clips about it. Yeah, they it blew, blew up. up. 
And, and now all of a sudden Leanne's asking Bert, like, yo, what the fuck's going on? Or at the very least, people saw our clips and then reported back to Leanne. And now Leanne's fucking in Bert's ear. Sure. Like, yo, why are you fucking Bro, when you put stuff stars? on TikTok, dude, and it's about like something like Tom Segura and it blows up. It, it's like it becomes a trending video about Tom Segura or Bert. So like when they open TikTok, it's likely one of the first fucking things they see. And it might not be your exact video, but it could be somebody that stitched a piece of your video that showed them the the ball wash the rag the wash rag or the cheating right only right, right. you know what I mean and so yeah it comes full circle that they're actually talking about it on this fucking podcast and that's crazy to think about because they'll never give us any credit no they'll never say because it'll be dude. a lift exactly but it's just funny that you're the only one that made clips about that shit that blew up and now they're addressing it right that blows my mind. Yeah, dude, it's, it's very interesting, bro. I think at the very least we are making an impact and getting a lot of these, uh, a lot of people to just uh, at least at the very least thinking, think, yeah, thinking exactly. And that's all we want to do is exactly. just have people fucking think. But uh, like they put it out there themselves. Like we're not insinuating anything. We're yeah. just thinking stuff that they said that they're doing and saying and just reposting and, it. Yeah, and they're fucking. Uh, defense is well, it's just comedy and we're being funny, but well, it's like, and they always hide behind that. It's right. like, at the, okay, so if I kill somebody and say it's comedy, then you know, am yeah, I good? You're just Gucci, bro. Right? Yeah, like, like I don't advocate Xanax to children. It's all good. It's like, where do we draw the line, guys? Yeah, come on, it, that's fucking horrible shit. It's 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 a it's a poor excuse. I think. Oh, it's just for comedy. I'm not in the business of canceling comics or canceling jokes. That's not what it's, it's about. No, but exposing these people for their wrongdoings is what it's about. Exactly. It's, exactly. it's like dangerous, you know? I could really give a shit about Bert and Leanne, but it's just not a good look. And and when you take into account everything else his shtick is about, you know? Well, it's like, what kind of example are you setting for the fucking people and the youth that are watching you, bro? Right, which is a shitload of people. Crazy, dude. Yeah, and that's the thing, bro. The, these guys' uh, platforms are fucking astronomically, ginormously fucking huge, and it's like the the extent of their reach goes beyond, beyond. just fucking what they're talking about. Insane, dude. And people are are. I mean, some people are kind of nuts, and they take. Uh, what these guys are saying and take it literal and then they act it out in their own lives and that's what we need to stop and that that's what needs to be addressed and that's why we address it right if someone's got to do it dude all right so this is the last clip of the night guys 52 10 bert is miserable with leanne which is you know not shocking but let's watch a 52 10 and then we're gonna get out of your guys's hair we appreciate you guys spending your saturday with us what a good fucking show dude let's end it on a banger Hopefully it's the right timestamp. If not, then I don't know what I'll the just fuck. fucking fuck. Fuck. I just fucking. I don't fuck want it. them hanging. Yeah. Is anyone going through menopause in here? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? It's you're 59. You're 50. 50. Leanne's 52. We we're in the hot tub. She goes, I ain't got my period yet. And I was like, Oh, we're having a baby. And then she was like, I'm going through menopause, fuckhead. And I was like, Oh, great. I got an old lady. <laughs> She's what your old I'm, wallet, right? She's my old wallet. She fits good in my back pocket. I'm stuck with this woman for the rest of my fucking life. Stuck with her. Yeah. Yeah. I love her so much. If she cheated on me, I'd kill her. Yeah. Then I'd kill my daughter. And that's a real thought right there. I'm stuck with this woman for the rest look, of my yeah, look life. At, look, Tom looks concerned. Well, because Tom knows this is not a bit. It's not a bit. It's right. not he's a joke. Shoot, he's shooting the shit with them, dude. He's like, yeah, he's like, dude, like, yeah, tell me how you feel, bro. I'm here for you. Oh, my you God, bro. This is a live podcast. And they're in Florida. They're in Daytona. The first thing they're going towards or going uh, after is like a, probably a strip club where they're going to be pampered with the most beautiful women in Florida. And he'll just forget about Leanne. And uh, Tom will forget about kill Christina. his fucking family. Like what? Yeah, dude, it's wild shit. You, and you, you know? know when you get drunk as shit when you drink 15 beers, like the truth starts coming out. Exactly. You know what bro. I mean? The, yeah, this is scary, dude. Yeah, dude. This is why, you know, Burt Kreischer's up there on our list, dude. He, and, and Tom, they're not good people. Oh, well, dude, it's just comedy, But bro. it's just comedy, Clem. Yeah, yeah. yeah, stop being a hater, you fuck. You, yeah, like, dude, come on. And this is a week-to-week -week fucking thing. Like, it's every week it's something new. Yeah. And it's getting worse yeah. and worse and worse. Uh, Dub with the three bucks. Impressive stream. Entertaining. Thank you. Well, hey, Dub, Thank that's the least friend. we can do. That's what we try, man. We try to just provide entertainment for uh, the better part of five, six hours. 
and uh, take everyone's minds off the craziness that's happening in today's world. So this is the last clip. Let's see how uh, Bert is going to get out of this, and then we're going to get out of your guys' hair. We appreciate everyone sticking around to the very end. This stream has been fucking unreal. Uh, we appreciate everyone in this chat today. Shout out to yourselves. Uh, let's get through this clip, and then we're going to get out of here. Let's do it, buddy. You kill your daughters? I'm not going to be a single parent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to raise two kids by myself. What's the matter? Nothing. We're good. Everyone's over my shoulder. How you doing, sir? Are you guys checking for drugs today or just bombs? Just bombs. Perfect. <laughs> so Bert was talking to a cop there. I think that's kind of where the clip ends. He's itself. a cop. He's not, he's not well, let's see. Let's just play like another 15 he's seconds. Get on the job. <laughs> need a heavy. All right. So that's really where the clip ends. So uh, if. You guys didn't get that. nothing else. Bert is a horrible father, terrible husband, and he disguises everything that he does in the disguise of, oh, it's just for comedy, guys. But that's it, guys. Uh, Tom Segura, Bert Kreischer, not in a good way, man. We're going to continue that calling it out. brutal. I thought it had some hope, honestly. Clem, final thoughts on uh, today's show. Dude, uh, Steel Toe, Scam Show. Bert Kreischer, sick in the head. Tom Segura, out of touch with reality. You know what's amazing, dude? We did almost six hours today. And we're crushing life. Well, we're crushing life, not only that, but we did six hours and only covered th three technically topics. three people. That's <laughs> yeah. insane, That's bro. great, dude. I love it, though. We're, we're dedicated. We're finding our stride. Thank you to everybody in the chat, man. You guys were awesome today. Uh, no, Clem, we're not finding our stride. We're having fun. We're, well, well, yeah, you're right, dude. Show. We're just having fun. Very fun show. Very fun week. So fun. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Uh, if you are just, if you're new here today, we sh uh, we usually 11 a.m. Eastern time is our normal times, but next Saturday, Clem, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but next Saturday, we will be changing the time from 11 a.m. and we'll probably be going live at about 6.30 p.m. on Saturday. So there'll be, there'll be a time a change. time change. Yeah, we're crushing life, bro. Come on. He says easy there. He said easy. Yeah, like, come on, dude. Yeah, we're crushing life, but homie. Uh, so yeah, next Saturday we'll we will be uh the, the times will be changed from 11 a.m. to 6:30 p.m. same day Saturday, but just uh, a different time. So we will be back here next Saturday. And what we're gonna try to do for our new members here that's the whole reason why I set up the memberships on our YouTube is uh we're gonna do an extra stream uh one day a week probably on a Tuesday. It's gonna be less extensive. Uh, you know, a less extensive stream than today's was. It's not going to be six hours. It'll probably be more or less like two and a half hours, three hours, somewhere in that ballpark. So uh, if you are a new member today or you're thinking about signing up to our channel, uh, you can expect, uh, you know, a uh, an extra show starting. I think we're going to probably try to stream one day this week. If not, it would definitely be starting uh, by the 1st of April. We're going to get that all situated and ready to go. And then plus anything new that we do, music-wise or anything video-wise, like, you guys will have the uh, early access uh, with that. So we appreciate everyone today. Uh, this was a great show, man. We uh, uncovered a lot here. Aaron and April, man, are still up to their scheming ways and their lies, and we're going to continue to uncover it every step of the way and call it out every step of the way. Shout out one more time to the Steel Toe Boring Show. Yes, sir. They're crushing the business. Shout out again to everyone in the chat. We appreciate you guys. Uh, but this is going to do it, man. It's the worst part of the show, and that is the end. So uh, one more time, man. Uh, this is going to be it, dude. So I appreciate you, Clem, um, for sticking around six hours. Dude, always, bro. Second mic crushing over there. And yes, don't let anyone tell you different. You are crushing life. Crushing life, baby. Uh, but that's going to do it for us, guys. Thank you for sticking around. Have a great life. Life crushers. Have a great rest of your weekend. Have a safe Saturday. And enjoy the rest of the evening. But uh, that's going to do it, guys. For myself, John. Alex. Peace. We'll see you next Saturday, guys. 630. Peace out. The 630.